Chapter 41 Intermediate Spiritual Stone The snake's skin and fangs chinling on the giant snake were given to Tang Mo. He was going back to the base. And he would have no shortage of resources by then. On the other hand, Tang Mo was about to go out and have nothing. Which made him uneasy. The giant snake was so big that at the end of the Tang Dynasty, Qin Ling only had to carry large pieces of meat to cut it. And all the other bits and pieces were thrown away. The two of them spent a long time cooking the meat and storing it in Tang Mo's space. There were various types of meat, including barbecue and steaming. It was also convenient for Tang Mo to change his taste. The stocks that had been consumed in the space these days have become full again due to the supply of snake meat. Those in the late Tang Dynasty and Qin Ling who couldn't hold it anymore sat on the ground and ate vigorously. It was really a great blessing to be able to eat such cooked food in the apocalypse. Moreover, the meat of the exotic beasts is very fresh and tender. No worse than farmed poultry. Coupled with the rich seasonings of Tang Dynasty, the final taste and texture are simply amazing. So fragrant that it makes people want to devour their tongues. In the end, Tang Dynasty and Qin Ling packed the things that they couldn't hold or eat in their own backpacks. In short, they were determined not to waste them. Waste is shameful. Waste is a crime. The strange beast that had been blocking the two of them was killed by them. There was really no need for the two of them to stay here. Instead of waiting on the mountain, it was better to return to the school so that they could respond to any news as soon as possible. However, after all the aftermath work was taken care of, the sky had already darkened. The two of them discussed it and decided to spend the last night here before leaving. The cave was very large. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he used foam flooring and quilts to make two beds in the cave. They were far apart, and the two of them rested peacefully. But today the two of them had just confirmed their relationship. And when they were in the same room again, the atmosphere became subtle. Tang Emo and Qin Ling each sat in their own seats silently. No one has experience, and no one knows what to do now. But obviously this is not a good place to make some progress. Rest early. Good night. Qin Ling was the first to blush. Got into bed and lay on his side. No longer looking at Tang Emo. Tang Mo's face also heated up. But he slowly stabilized his emotions and sat there cross-legged. Preparing to complete a major event before leaving. That is to absorb the intermediate spirit stone. Soon, spirit stones will become the currency circulating in this world. Judging from the exchange rate of intermediate spirit stones. They can be exchanged for a lot of food. But obviously, for Tang Emo, nothing is more important than his own strength. In order to avoid long nights and dreams, she still wanted to replace things with attribute points as soon as possible to feel more at ease. In the same way as she absorbed the red primary spirit stone last time, she still put the spirit stone in the palm of her hand. But this time, he had to use more force to crush it. When the blue crystal liquid inside slowly flowed out, Tang Emo closed his eyes and felt the energy flowing into his veins and even moisturizing his internal organs. Even though there was not much liquid flowing out of a crystal, the huge energy contained in it made Tang Emo feel that every inch of his body was getting stronger. Blue represents agility. But the crystal brings not only an increase in attribute points, but also a strengthening of the user's body. The effects brought by the previous primary spirit stone were not very obvious. But the changes brought about by the current intermediate spirit stone on Tang Mo's body were almost visible to the naked eye. Tang Emo opened his eyes and touched the obvious muscle lines on his waist and abdomen, feeling extremely satisfied. No wonder the intermediate spirit stone was also fought for in later generations. What it brought was indeed enough to make people jealous. Turning on his ID watch, Tang Emo checked his latest attribute values. ID, late Tang Dynasty. HP, 21. Strength, 22. Agility, 43. Mental strength, 57. Space, 0. Comprehensive strength, 143. My comprehensive attribute value actually exceeded 100. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he was pleasantly surprised. In his previous life, his attribute value reached 100, probably a year after the end of the world. At that time, she had already experienced dozens of battles, large and small, before she improved her attribute values little by little. In this life, I absorbed two rare treasures and two spirit stones, and through continuous practice, I finally achieved a comprehensive attribute value of over 100 in school. Tang Emo hadn't checked his attribute values since he absorbed the elementary spirit stone last time. His attribute values were growing abnormally fast. However, she was not surprised. Because the aura of this cave was so abundant that it was difficult to ignore. And exercising one's mental strength here 
would get twice the result with half the effort. And these days, she is not only training herself hard at all times, but also fighting several battles. Combat is one of the most effective ways to improve one's attribute points. But what surprised her the most was not this, but the changes in her body in space. Tang Mo felt his body and felt that every muscle seemed to be under his control. He had 100% control over every part of his body. And have your own space. She found that after the spirit stone was completely absorbed, her space actually expanded a little, although it is not very obvious. The place where I could place my items freely is slowly being squeezed, but now it is loosened, leaving a little space. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he roughly sorted and estimated that his space is now one square meter larger than before, when absorbing exotic treasures before. Perhaps the late Tang Dynasty didn't pay much attention. My physical fitness was so poor at that time that even if I strengthened it, I wouldn't see much effect. At that time, all the attention was on his comprehensive attribute value, and he didn't pay much attention to the fact that his space actually expanded a little. The changes in the primary spirit stones were too small to be noticed, but the changes brought about by the intermediate spirit stones now brought Tang Mo into a huge surprise. The space can be increased through spiritual stones or exotic treasures, so more things can be stored in the future. This undoubtedly makes his trump card a little thicker making it easier to survive in the apocalypse. However, she was only happy for a short while before Tang Mo calmed down. She had not forgotten the embarrassment that her knife could not even cut through the skin of a giant snake. There are mountains outside the mountains. And there are people outside the people. Qi Ling's attribute value should have exceeded 200 now. So how many masters are there in the outside world? Tang Mo knew that the alliance would soon open the combat power rankings. And by then the top 10 with the highest comprehensive attribute points in the country would appear on it. At that time, he will know how strong the real strong are, and how big the gap is between him and them. Tang Mo's eyes were full of expectation. After making his bed, Tang Mo lay down, and the two of them fell asleep quickly after a tiring day. Chapter 42 Going Down the Mountain Early the next morning, Tang Mo and Qin Ling had another full meal of roasted snake meat, and then went down the mountain together. The two of them planned to go to Qilin's dormitory first to take out the food he had put in the dormitory, and then go to the cafeteria to spend the last days before the fog cleared. Traveling around the campus, Tang Mo discovered that in just a few days, his classmates had escaped from being chased and preyed upon by alien beasts. A small team was formed to hunt down the lone alien beast. Unfortunately, this crocodile-headed alien beast was still bound by the mist, and was full of mucus, and could not be used as food. While Anyang led the team to hunt down the strange beasts, he also rescued all the surviving people in each dormitory building and gathered everyone in the cafeteria. It was precisely because of this that at the end of Tang Dynasty, when he followed Qin Ling back to his dormitory, he didn't see anyone else. This is my first time in the boys' dormitory in my life. Qin Ling took Tang Mo's hand and smiled at her. It's really not the case. Tang Mo shook his head seriously. You? Qin Ling raised his eyes originally wanting to tease Tang Mo, but who knew that this girl was not only not shy, but also had other stories. Be lenient if you confess. Severe if you resist. Qin Ling stretched out his arms and put his arms around Tang Mo's shoulders, holding her tightly in his arms. I used to help the professor with experiments, and occasionally I would go back to the graduate school to ask for something from my senior brother. The purpose was achieved, and Tang Mo was happy. Graduate school is different from undergraduate school, so it is naturally much more relaxed. Humph! Qin Ling still said that the baby was unhappy. When he arrived at Qin Ling's dormitory and opened the door, he discovered at the end of Tang Dynasty that the university where the rich man and he went were not the same university at all. Qin Ling's dormitory is a single room, although it is still in the dormitory building. The decoration inside the door is obviously not of the same level as everyone else. There is a large postmodern style cabinet, a double bed, dark wallpaper, and a large sofa in the room. This is not for school, but for enjoyment. However, unlike the boys' dormitory imagined in the late Tang Dynasty, Qi Ling's room was extremely tidy, with nothing superfluous. Even after leaving for so long, there is still a faint fragrance of cologne that has not dissipated under the smell of dust. Qi Ling entered the house. His cabinet was unlocked by fingerprints. After opening the cabinet, he found that it was full of packages. Neatly placed there, Tang Mo knew exactly what was in the package. Two bottles of mineral water, some beef jerky, and some compressed biscuits and candies. After a rough estimate, there must be more than 60. 
Can't you take these with you? Tang Emo looked at the big cabinet and felt suspicious. Whatever I take with me, I must go back to the base. The house is in chaos now, so I have to be there as soon as possible, Qin Ling said and darkened his eyes. His family has many people and complex relationships, and many things are not that simple. When I get home, I won't need these things. These are all reserved for you. I don't know if I will starve or be bullied if I am alone outside. Qin Ling pinched his little girlfriend's face. If he hadn't known about Tang Mo's ambitions and ambitions, and that she was a smart person, he would have really worried about letting his girlfriend go out for a year. Don't worry. It's good if I don't bully others. Tang Mo slapped Qin Ling's hand away and smiled meaningfully. Fortunately, the mid-level spiritual stone from before expanded my space a little. Just enough to hold these things. Otherwise, I don't know how upset she would be if she saw these things today and felt helpless. After collecting everything into his own space, the space in the late Tang Dynasty became saturated again. Then the two people left the dormitory and walked to the cafeteria. They did not deliberately avoid the strange beasts along the way. There were not too many strange beasts in the school. Generally speaking, they only appeared alone. So they did not pose much of a threat to the two of them. If possible, they really hope to have more so that they can collect more crystal stones. But that's it. The two of them also got four spiritual stones along the way. Two pieces of red, one green, and one white. Qi Ling were all thrown to the end of Tang Dynasty without any explanation. Tang Mo was speechless. Why did she feel like she was going shopping with a rich second generation? What is it about feeling a little happy and refreshed for no reason? This might be a woman. What Qin Ling meant was that he was taking Tang Emo out to collect some crystal stones in the past few days, so that he could accumulate some capital for Tang Emo in the future. However, Tang Emo knew that such an opportunity was gone for the time being, because the fog would clear tomorrow. When they arrived at the door of the cafeteria, they entered smoothly. Nowadays, there are many people coming in and out every day, except for the door being closed at night and being guarded. The door is open during the day. The nearby strange beasts have been cleared away by Anyang's leaders a long time ago. Even if they do come again, they will not be afraid of the large number of people in the cafeteria. The most important thing is that people are no longer afraid of strange beasts. Courage is the biggest gain for mankind in this month. The second floor of the cafeteria was already overcrowded, and there were many people sitting and resting in the lobby on the first floor. It's winter now, and everyone is bundled up in the last of their clothes. Those who had not prepared winter clothes put on one coat after another to keep themselves warm. The late Tang Dynasty had already foresighted the changes in weather. At this time, she and Qin Ling had already changed into warm and thick assault clothing, and both wore Martin boots that were convenient for exercise and warm. It turns out that there were not many people in the warehouse where Tang Dynasty lived, mainly because now everyone knows that there is a small door in the warehouse. If a strange beast breaks through the door suddenly, Sleeping there without any defense is really insecure. When Tang Emo walked into the small warehouse, he found that the people living in the warehouse were all his old acquaintances. Professor Tian and his son and daughter, Tian Shershur and Tian Jin were resting inside. Unlike other people who travel lightly, Professor Tian has a lot of books and equipment piled around him. These are the most precious information he has obtained in a long time. No matter how others try to dissuade him, he insists on keeping them with him. What's wrong? Professor? Seeing Professor Tian lying weakly on the cold ground, his face thin and pale, Tang Emo asked hurriedly, Dad is sick. He is old and in poor health. Coupled with the cold weather, there is no medicine for this condition now. Tian Shershur lowered her head and held Professor Tian's hand with her thin fingers, hoping to spread the word. Go get some warmth. Where's the medicine? Doesn't the school hospital have medicine? Qin Ling said. At that time, An Yang and everyone moved back. And when Qin said that in exchange for the food she gave everyone, the medicine would all belong to her. I begged her, but she didn't give it. Tian Shershur continued. Tian Jin next to him felt depressed and hit the wall hard with his fist. His father is so ill. His sister is still hungry. And he, as the mainstay of the family, can't do anything. As a man, he feels really aggrieved. Chapter 43 Meeting Professor Tian Again When Qin! Tang Mo's voice contained rare anger. When Qin blacklisted her before, but she didn't think there was anything wrong with it, let alone get angry. But now that Professor Tian was dying of illness, the fact that when Qin took so much medicine and refused to save him really instantly ignited the anger of the end of Tang Dynasty. When Qin can ignore others, 
But Professor Tian is different. He is a kind person to Wen Qing. At that time, Wen Qing begged Professor Tian to enter the laboratory to conduct experiments. In the laboratory, Professor Tian also took great care of Wen Qing because he felt that it was difficult for a weak, seemingly, girl to be alone by herself. Even if Wen Qing later told her that she had space. Professor Tian not only did not let her get help, but also warned all the senior brothers in the laboratory not to contact Wen Qing privately to ask for things. How could she be so cruel to an old man who was so kind to her? Seeing the huge fluctuations in Tang Dynasty's emotions, Qin Ling stood aside and held her hand. In this case, I will contact someone to send some medicine. Qin Ling thought of a way. He could see that Professor Tian was a very important person to the late Tang Dynasty. It's okay. I have the medicine. I just feel a little. Forget it. Tang Mo took off his backpack, reached in, and took out some cold medicine and anti-inflammatory medicine from the space. He took out two bottles of mineral water and some instant noodles and biscuits from his bag and handed them to Tian Shershur. This is medicine. And there is some food. You give it to Professor Tian. And you and Teacher Tian divide the rest. Teacher Tian was naturally referring to Tian Jin. Okay, Doc, thank you. Tian Shershur hesitated for a moment, bit her lip, and didn't ask anything else. She just lowered her head and took the thing, although she didn't show it on her face. Her trembling hands when picking up things meant that she was not calm on the surface. Father is saved. After all, Tian Shershur is only a 20 year old girl. The events of these days have made her breathless and she doesn't even dare to cry. I'm afraid that if I cry and get knocked down, I won't be able to stand up again. Tianjin looked at the things Tang Emo handed over. His eyes turned red, and he knelt down in front of Tang Emo. He knew what the food and medicine meant now, and how precious they were. Tang Emo, we will never forget what you have done for our family. I really don't know how to repay you now, but if one day you are of any use to us, I will not hesitate to die. Tianjin's words were so serious that Tang Emo was shocked. I hurriedly helped him up and comforted him for a few words. And that was all. She did all this to repay the debt she had owed without asking for anything in return. Because Professor Tian and his family were in the warehouse. The space in the late Tang Dynasty was not very convenient to use. Although the matter of space will be exposed sooner or later. After all, everyone will go their separate ways tomorrow when the fog clears. And she doesn't want to cause more trouble for nothing. He used his backpack as a cover and took out two small quilts. One was thrown to Tian Shershur and asked her to place it under Professor Tian. The other one was folded up, and she and Qin Ling sat on it, leaning against each other. She knew she could go out tomorrow, so she would just make do with it now. Moreover, his arm was still quite warm. Tang Emo hugged Qin Ling's arm tightly and felt his heart warm up. Can you contact the people at the Alliance's Research Institute? Professor Tian is currently studying the sudden changes in soil and animals during the famine era. Some progress has been made. There should be breakthroughs in planting and meal replacement in the future. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he didn't know how much hardship Professor Sita had to go through before he entered the institute and made such a big contribution later. In this life, she wants to make this journey simpler. Planting and meal replacement? After listening to Tang Mo's words, Qin Ling looked at the books and instruments next to Professor Tian and his eyes suddenly lit up. Just because he is trapped here does not mean that he does not know the situation outside. His family has been spending a lot of money to find valuable researchers. Everyone knows how valuable such research is in such an era of famine. Don't worry. Leave it to me. I guarantee that their family of three will be taken directly to the base on the day the fog clears, and they will have no worries about food and drink. Once this was done, it was not him doing Tang Emo a favor, but Tang Emo doing him a favor. He has been outside for too long. Being able to contribute to the family is one of the capitals for him to return and establish himself. Qin Ling turned on his watch and immediately contacted the relevant people. He wasn't surprised why Tang Emo felt that he had some connections in the alliance. He didn't tell Tang Emo or ask. But there seems to be this tacit understanding between them. Just like Tang Emo should have known about it in the first place. In the evening, Professor Tian and his family received the food distributed by Anyang including a quarter of a steamed bun per person and finger-sized sweet potatoes. Looking at the size of the sweet potato, Tang Emo understood that when Qin was just holding on, and her space was almost exhausted by her, because of the presence of outsiders, it was not easy to eat snake meat in the late Tang Dynasty and Qin Ling Mountains. So they had to make do with mineral water and biscuits. Qin Ling pouted unhappily, but Tang Emo touched his head to comfort him symbolically. 
since the two confirmed their relationship. Qin Ling's temper has become softer and softer, and he often acts coquettishly towards the end of Tang Dynasty. Tang Emo didn't think there was anything strange, but was happy and enjoying it. She has a cold temper and won't act coquettishly if she is used to being alone. Qi Ling's behavior gave her a warm feeling, and she even began to imagine that if she had such a greasy home for the rest of her life, it would be unimaginable happiness. Besides, she had seen in the newspaper what Qin Ling looked like in her previous life. Compared to the cold and cruel Qin Ling, she hoped that he could always be her little boy, even if he could only relax for a moment in front of her and do whatever he wanted. The night passed quickly, because the weather was too cold and everyone had been hungry for a long time. So they had long since lost the energy to make a noise. There was a dead silence, as if no living person existed. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he held Qin Ling's arm tightly with both hands and put his head on his shoulder and slept peacefully. Most of the cotton padded jackets that were taken out to cover the two of them covered Tang Mo's body. Qin Ling's long legs were curled up in the cold, but there was a happy smile on the corner of his mouth. Early the next morning, Qin Ling and Tang Dynasty were awakened by a burst of noise. Qin Ling slowly opened his hazy eyes, and his first reaction was to look at the people around him. When he saw Tang Emo also opening his eyes, he kissed her gently on the brow. Have you slept well? The voice of the young man who had just woken up had a unique hoarseness, which was very nice to hear. What's wrong? Tang Emo rubbed his eyes. From outside, it seems that the fog of mystery has cleared. Profound. The calmness of the two people was in sharp contrast to the noise outside. Professor Tian and his family had already gone out because of the news outside. At six o'clock in the morning, they woke up Qin Ling and asked them to go out together to discuss the matter of the fog lifting. But at that time, Qin Ling just put his index finger to his mouth, shushed and shook his head gently. Is it okay to eat wontons in the morning? I want to eat wontons. Qin Ling looked at the end of Tang Dynasty with wet eyes, like a puppy. He knew that the late Tang Dynasty couldn't stand him being like this. Good. Tang Emo agreed with a smile, and moved his hands up to rub his pretty face. Chapter 44 Parting Qin Ling and Tang Emo finished their breakfast slowly, then packed up their things and walked out of the warehouse door holding hands. All the survivors in the cafeteria, or all the survivors in the school, were gathered on the first floor of the cafeteria, noisy and noisy about the fog dispersing outside. A large amount of news exploded in the watch all morning. With the appearance of strange beasts, strange beasts have appeared in the outside world. In other words, the strange beasts in the fog have broken away from the shackles of the fog and run freely outside to harm the masses of people. Compared to the panic of the people outside, the mood of the people in the school, who had been trapped with the strange beasts by the fog for a long time, was somewhat indescribably complicated. I am afraid of comparison in everything. I have always thought that I am the worst, now that the whole world is miserable with me. I am now more accepting of this world that has become a purgatory. Everyone gathered here has only one purpose. And that is to get out of here. They haven't been home for a long time and haven't seen their parents or relatives. Now the people outside have been relocated to various survivor bases. So everyone in the school naturally wants to go to the survivor base where their families are. I am going to S base. If anyone is going to S base, you can come with us. We will also have someone to look after you on the way. If you are going to other places, Please form your own team. Anyang is used to being a leader. So he naturally has to be the first to speak out in the face of such a big matter. When Qin stood aside and rarely spoke, she had already contacted the person in charge of Base S and made an appointment to send a helicopter to pick her up at noon. Base S is the largest base where the Alliance headquarters is located. And Qin Ling is also going to that base. For example, some people with powerful family backgrounds are picked up by helicopters. As the best university in the province. The students in the school are naturally crouching tigers, hidden dragons, which is not simple. A person with special abilities, like Wen Qing who has space farms, and can grow crops will be warmly welcomed by Al-Qaeda even if she has no power. Judging from the attitude of the base contact, Wen Qing knew her importance to the alliance, so she no longer likes Anyang. She feels that finding a rich second generation official, or something like that in the alliance based on her own ability is a real match. As soon as Anyang's words came out, the people in the cafeteria whose original destination was the S base were overjoyed. Over the past few days, Anyang had long become the pillar of their hearts, and they naturally felt a sense of security when they were with him. On the other hand, those who did not go to S base began to lament. Now that the outside world is full of strange beasts, who knows if they will survive until the day of the base? 
Should someone pick you up at your home? Tang Emo asked Chin Ling. Well, I just received the news that the helicopter will arrive at noon. And Professor Tian and his family will go with me. Why did you change your mind and come back with me? The Chin Ling family was always paying attention to what was happening on his side. And as soon as the fog cleared, arrangements have been made to ensure the safety of Chin Ling Mountains. Go back and work hard. Maybe I will surpass you next time we meet. Tang Mo held Chin Ling's hand without letting go and pulled him towards Song Qing and Li Lan Lan. Seriously? Where are you going next? Chin Ling asked as he followed. I don't know. I haven't thought about it yet. Anyway, I won't let myself be idle. Being comfortable makes people regress. At the end of Tang Dynasty, she knew that Lin Yi and Wen Jianju were living in Base S. She also wanted to go back to see her mother, but she couldn't. It would be difficult to figure it out once she went back. Even with her current strength, even participating in some tasks was restricted by Lin Yi. She didn't want to be a little rabbit raised in captivity. So she could only say sorry to her mother. Tang Emo, you're back. Li Lan Lan watched Tang Emo squeeze over and hugged her happily. Tang Emo sent a message to her roommate when she left. So the two of them were not very worried about her safety. This is this? Li Lanlin's gaze slid towards the hands held tightly by Tang Emo and Qin Ling. With an ambiguous smile in their eyes. This handsome guy looked familiar. Hello everyone. Let me introduce myself. I am my boyfriend at the end of Tang Dynasty. My name is Qin Ling. Please take good care of me. Qin Ling introduced himself generously. Smiled with a harmless look on his face. Put away the tail of the big bad wolf. And turned into a harmless little white rabbit. After Li Lan Lan and Song Qing introduced themselves. Tang Emo changed the topic with a blush. Okay. Stop talking about me. Where are you going next? I, Song Qing just started to speak. But was interrupted. Ching Ching. I've found you. Come with me. An Yang pushed through the crowd and came to Song Qing and the others. After learning that Wen Qing would no longer act with him, An Yang felt a little disappointed and felt that he had lost his mobile granary, but also felt a little lucky that he could do what he wanted to do without caring about anyone's color. No, thank you. Song Qing politely refused, with obvious alienation on his face. Let's go together. There are many of us. So it's good to have someone to take care of you on the way. The first thing An Yang did after getting rid of Wen Qing was to come to Song Qing. Is this a deep affection or a lack of care? An Yang did an incredible job. Tang Emo shook his head in his heart. Emotional matters were really too complicated. Before, he thought he could bring them together to make up for the regrets of the previous life. There were so many stories involved in the relationship that outsiders could not intervene in. Even if she was reborn, she would not be able to understand these complicated things. Fortunately, she and Qin Ling were relatively simple. Otherwise her head would be really big. No! Someone will come to pick me up at home. Song Qing still refused. Hearing what Song Qing said, An Yang was stunned for a moment. He didn't know that Song Qing had such a background. The look in his eyes was a bit complicated. And he couldn't tell whether it was regret or something else. At the end of the Tang Dynasty, I didn't know that Song and Qing dynasties had this background. It was really well hidden. An Yang was considered a very sensible person. But it was boring to continue talking about this. So he nodded and left. Tang Emo, take your boyfriend and me to the S base. Song Qing sent out an invitation. Lan Lan and her had different destinations. Otherwise they could have gone together. No, we have other arrangements. Please pay attention to your safety. We will see you later. Tang Emo smiled and refused. And then said goodbye properly. Every farewell in the apocalypse must be serious. No one knows whether this is the last time we see each other. At noon. The sound of helicopters landing gradually came from the playground and on the roof. And then waves of people with weapons came to the canteen to pick up the people they wanted to pick up. Everyone watched them leave with extremely envious eyes. No matter when. Being rich, powerful and powerful can make people live safer. More dignified and more decent. Almost all of the people who came to pick them up were armed with guns. This also made people who had stayed at the school for half a year realize more deeply that the outside world was really different from before. When Qin Ling left, Tang Emo didn't go out to see him off. So their goodbyes were as simple as good night. After all, farewells to people you will definitely meet again don't need to be so grand. Parting is for a better goodbye. We will see each other again. They all know it. Chapter 45 A New Beginning The people in the cafeteria quickly left one after another. They have been trapped here for more than half a year. The beautiful ivory tower of the past is like a prison for them. 
and it is full of dangers. The prison where he died. No matter how dangerous the outside world is. No one wants to stay here for one more second. Tang Emo was not in a hurry to leave, but called his mother. The fog around the world cleared at the same time. He was not ready to go back to his base to find Lin Yi. He was afraid that she would be worried. So he had to make a call. As expected, Lin Yi immediately became angry when she heard Tang Mo's plan on the other side of the video. She had been worried about her daughter for half a year. And now that she was finally able to see her, Tang Emo said that she would go out to practice if she couldn't go home. Which Lin Yi couldn't accept. Experience? Thinking of the terrible things outside. Lin Yi burst into anxious tears. Mom, don't worry. I'm very powerful now. Really? Tang Emo comforted his mother here. I promise you. I will go back when the baby is born. Okay. Lin Yi's belly is only four months old now. And it will still be half a year until the baby is born. For the sake of her mother's mood, Tang Emo temporarily comforted her. Lin Yi was wiping her tears there. She knew that she had a girlish temperament. And no matter how hard she tried to persuade her, it would be useless to make up her mind. Emo Emo, I am your Uncle Lin. If you really don't want to come back for the time being, you must protect yourself when you are alone outside. If you encounter danger, call Uncle immediately. Don't be afraid. Uncle will take someone by plane, and they will be there soon. When Jianchu squeezed in from the video, he has lived by himself for more than 40 years, and has regarded the end of Tang Dynasty as his own relative. He is very protective of his family, and as one of the current leaders of the alliance, he understood Tang Mo's choice, and praised it from the bottom of his heart. Only a child with such pursuits can really do something in the apocalypse. All he can do is protect and support. Although he can completely protect her like a delicate flower. What Tang Emo has to do now is what he really appreciates. I'll go too. Lenny shouted while wiping her tears. Honey, please don't go. I'm powerful and can protect Emo Emo. You take good care of her at home. When Jianchu said weakly. No, I want to go. I will go even if the baby is born on the plane. Lenny insisted leaving no room for doubt on the issue of the late Tang Dynasty. Okay. Okay. Let's go as a family. Sesame paste. Two. Let's all go. Wife manager Yen when Jianchu immediately agreed. Pucci. Tang Emo was so amused by their words that his stomach ached. Sesame butter was a Labrador raised by her mother. She often chatted with Lin Yi. So she knew it. After a lot of instructions, Tang Emo finally hung up the phone. Although he said he was impatient. His heart was warm. She now has Qin Ling, her mother, her unborn younger siblings, Uncle Wen, and Sesame Butter. There are people and dogs waiting for me behind me. It feels so good to have a home to go back to. Even if I have to face more cruel things next, I am not afraid anymore. Love makes people braver. Maybe that's what it means. While there was no one around, Tang Emo tidied up his space again. The original space was already filled to the brim. Later, after the upgrade, the extra space was filled with supplies taken out from the Qinling dormitory. Now there is no any extra space is gone. As usual, Tang Emo stuffed two bottles of mineral water, some biscuits, bread, candies, and some daily necessities into his backpack. She didn't team up with anyone, but chose to set out on her own at the end. In fact, there was no specific destination. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he recalled the place where the famous exotic treasure was born in the previous life and wondered if he could pick up anything. I can't remember much else. The only thing I remember is that there was a desert flower in City B. The person who got the flower at that time took 12 intermediate spiritual stones from it. 12 intermediate spirit stones with different attributes already have 120 attribute points. But why would anyone pay this price to exchange for that exotic treasure? It was because that exotic treasure had the highest attribute value discovered at that time with a spiritual attribute point of 100 points. That was a year after the end of the world. People at that time already knew the great role of mental power. And a mental attribute value of 100 points was a critical value. Beyond this value, the performance of mental power would reach a new level. Of course, the effect of an exotic treasure with an attribute value of 100 is not just that. The energy contained in it can greatly enhance physical fitness. This was already discovered when the intermediate spirit stone was used at the end of Tang Dynasty. 100 attribute points and physical enhancement are only for ordinary people. But they also have a very important effect for the late Tang Dynasty. That is to expand the area of the space. Last time, an intermediate spiritual stone with 10 attribute points increased her space by
by a full square meter. And Tang Dynasty did not even dare to imagine how much space an exotic treasure with 100 attribute points could increase. The desert flower was replaced by a family in her last life. 12 intermediate spiritual stones is not only a small amount for an individual, but also for any family. They spent all their money in exchange for this desert flower in order to cultivate a genius in their family. Lin Yu. At that time, people already understood that the development of all attribute values was not the right path. No matter how high the overall attribute value is, it will not be as powerful in combat as someone who develops only one aspect of attribute value. The comprehensive attribute value combat power rankings are only ranked according to the size of everyone's attribute values. It does not mean that the one ranked first will definitely be able to beat the 10th. There are too many things to consider, such as the person's physical fitness, muscle coordination and flexibility, etc. There are also this person's equipment and weapons and his strategic thinking. These are all considerations in a battle. Lin Yu was a very famous figure in his previous life. He was originally a genius in mental power. After having that desert flower, no one knew how powerful he was. The use of mental power all depends on personal understanding. And Lin Yu is undoubtedly a genius in understanding. If only I could get that desert flower. Tang Mo fell into fantasy for a second. But soon woke up. It was a legendary treasure from the previous life. And she still had no such illusions. However, City S is right next door to City T where she is currently located. Due to the huge changes in topography, it has now turned into a huge desert. Anyway, she doesn't have any destination now. So it's not impossible to go there and have a look. The map function on the ID watch can ensure that under the current circumstances, Tang Dynasty still has accurate reference objects and directions, so that he will not get lost. Tang Mo made up his mind quickly. He put on his backpack, tidied his clothes, walked out of the school gate, and walked in the direction of City B. Chapter 46 Dangerous Bus When he walked out of the school gate, Tang Mo looked up at the sky. The sun is so beautiful in winter, and the sky is bluer than before, just like it was a long, long time ago. Looking around, the earth is no longer bare, but covered with large expanses of green. Countless towering old trees and young bushes of grass sprouted from the ground, breaking through the hard cement bricks and digging out patches of fresh soil. Those plants grow densely and wantonly, without any intrusion from outsiders, as if they should exist by nature. The air became fresher due to the coverage of green plants, and Tang Mo became a traitor to the world in this moment. She forgot about the people who were struggling between life and death, and she forgot about herself, who was always facing danger. She felt that what was happening to the earth was not the end, but purification and rebirth. Taking a deep breath of fresh air, Tang Mo took long strides. Her top priority now was to find the nearest base to deal with the treasures in her space. The fangs and skin of that giant snake are useless in your own hands. But if sold to the Alliance, they will become the most deadly weapons and life-saving defensive equipment. The Alliance's headquarters is in City S. But all bases across the country are controlled by the Alliance. Each base has a complete trading place and task release place. It is the most complete industrial chain and controls the lifeblood of the country. Tang Mo checked and found that the nearest base was only 20 kilometers away from her. It would be no problem if she walked there by herself. She didn't have to worry about food. But the strange beasts she encountered along the way were a bit troublesome. Now those strange beasts have just dispersed from the mist. And many of them are still in groups. If she encounters one or two, she won't have much problem now. But if she encounters a group, she will be in trouble. The fog was gone. All the mucus on the alien beasts had disappeared. Both the vision and sense of smell had increased significantly. And Tang Mo no longer dared to compete with a group of alien beasts. Still too weak. If you were stronger, you wouldn't have to be so timid. Tang Mo's original plan was to settle in a small base along the way and complete tasks to make himself stronger. While approaching City B in the general direction, it seemed that he could only be more cautious. Tang Mo tightened his grip on Pafong. D. Suddenly, a car horn sounded from behind. Hey! Go to the Huacheng base and exchange for food. Can you get in the car? A bus came quickly from behind Tang Mo, And the young man leaned against the window and shouted. Modified buses like this can be seen almost everywhere in the apocalypse. Taking people back to the base. There is no time and no stops. It depends on luck to meet them. Watching base. At the end of Tang Dynasty. He thought about it in his mind. But he had never heard of it. But for her. It was the same wherever she went. So she simply got in the car. The driver was a strong man, 
with colorful arms and a bald head. When he saw Tang Emo getting into the car, he stepped on the accelerator. Hi, my name is Ali Yen. I specialize in selling tickets. The price is low on the way back. Just give me something to eat. The young man sitting by the window near the driver introduced himself. He looked to be in his early 20s, about the same age as the late Tang Dynasty. He had a professional smile on his face, but he seemed to have been working hard in society for several years. He is not a simple person. Tang Emo concluded in his heart. Any base bus driver or conductor is not a simple person. Tang Emo knows this very well. A place where good and bad people are mixed is always prone to accidents. Especially now that social order has been disrupted. Tang Emo took off the bag, reached into it, took out the half pack of biscuits he had eaten before, handed it over, and paid his fare. Ah Lian looked at the half pack of biscuits and was pleasantly surprised. Compared to other instant noodles and wild grass dumplings, this ticket from Tang Emo was very expensive. Ah Lian was immediately attracted to this girl with a dark face wearing a hat. In order to avoid some trouble, Tang Emo put on a hat and applied some dark foundation on his face. In a good mood, he pointed to Tang Emo the cleanest seat behind him and said, Sit down and we'll be there in 10 minutes. After Tang Emo sat down, he looked around and saw that besides himself, Ah Lian and the driver, there were four other people in the car. A beautiful woman wearing over-the-knee boots sat next to a pot-bellied, bald, middle-aged man carrying a suitcase. There was also a middle-aged woman leading a little boy. Compared to the pair of middle-aged men, the mother and son looked much more shabby and embarrassed. The word hunger can be written on the face. Tang Emo withdrew her gaze and pulled down the brim of her hat, preparing to close her eyes and rest. But before she could get her, but on the hot seat, the bus suddenly stopped and the bus stopped again. Two men, one tall and one short, came up from outside. There were no signs of hunger on their faces. After the two people got in the car, they gave Ah Lian a piece of dried meat and then looked at everyone in the car. This look was extremely purposeful and aggressive, making Tang Emo very uncomfortable. Moreover, they have a special smell, which is not bad but makes people feel disgusting. The two people did not go to the back of the car, but sat across the aisle from Ah Lian. Tang Mo's peripheral vision had been focused on the two men, and her sixth sense told her that there was something wrong with the two men. Don't move! Suddenly there was a bang and the tall man took out an arm-long watermelon knife from his arms and pointed it at Ah Lian. The short man also rushed to the middle-aged man behind and held his neck with a fruit knife. The young woman screamed and ran away from the man beside her, sitting further away. Apparently, the two men, one tall and one short, had already calculated that the only ones in the car who were in danger to them were these two men. Tang Emo held up a phone in his hand and calculated how long it would take him to pull out the knife and stab it into the tall man's stomach. If Ah Lian and the middle-aged man were killed, none of the remaining old, weak, women and children would be able to escape. Tang Emo understands the truth of dying lips and cold teeth, so she will not sit idly by. But Ah Lian, who was pointed at by the knife, was surprisingly calm, as if he didn't see the sharp knife that was only about 10 centimeters away from him. Instead, he slowly zipped up the bag carrying the collected grain and put it away. On your own seat. Tang Emo looked at Ah Lian's calm face and unconsciously loosened Pa Feng's hand. No! I still have some good things! I'll give them to you! Don't kill me! The middle aged man behind him was used to living a pampered life. He had never seen such a scene before. He threw the box in his hand to the ground and softened himself first, his voice trembling. At this time, the bus was driving in a green forest. Suddenly it breaks suddenly, and everyone leaned forward before they stabilized. Chapter 47 Entering the Base Just before the tall man had time to recover, the bald driver, who was still in the driving seat, pounced on him. I don't know when a sharp three-edged bayonet suddenly appeared in his hand. With a huge inertia, it was inserted fiercely from the back of the tall man. The length of the knife was very long, and it penetrated the tall man's body and blood spurted out from the wound, splashing all over Ah Lian. Even in the late Tang Dynasty, which he had lived for two lifetimes, he had never seen such a surging scene with blood splattering. But Ah Lian sat there calmly, just wiping his blood-stained face with his hand. Hu da! You are really careless. You stain my clothes every time. Do you know that the water in the base is very tight now? Ah Lian complained to the bald driver. The tall man's body gradually softened, and the driver casually left him aside. Don't come here. Otherwise I will kill him. 
seeing that his companion was easily killed within a few seconds. The fat man who was holding the middle-aged man was completely panicked. If I want to kill you, I'll kill you. The driver wiped the knife in his hand nonchalantly and walked towards the other gangster. His slow pace was like a devil in the eyes of the fat man. And death was approaching him step by step. I, I really did it. The fat man's body was trembling at the same time as the middle-aged man he was holding hostage. After struggling for a few seconds, the fat man seemed to have made up his mind and stabbed the fruit knife in his hand fiercely into the middle-aged man's body. I don't know if it's because he's not very skilled in the business yet, but the fruit knife didn't penetrate the middle-aged man's vital points. Instead, it made the middle-aged man struggle more intense. The woman sitting on the other side tightly covered her child's eyes, while the coquettish beauty who came with the middle-aged man also shrank back, trying to reduce her presence as much as possible. At this time, everyone no longer knew what they were more afraid of. Seeing all this, the driver and conductor with unchanging expressions seemed to make people more uneasy than the gangsters. The blood splattered in front of his eyes did not stop the driver's pace. He walked slowly but firmly to the trembling fat man and gave him a blow with a knife in his hand. After the middle-aged man next to him gained a brief freedom, he quickly covered his wounds and ran away from the gangster. Hey, do you want bandages and medicine? I'll give you the box in your hand in exchange. The driver pointed at the middle-aged man still holding the box in his hand. Apparently, he had been coveting this box for a long time. Okay, I'll change. I'll change. The middle-aged man's eyes were full of reluctance, and he slowly released his hand and pushed the box out. At this time, even a fool knows that his box cannot be saved. The driver was very happy with the food of the man in front of him. He picked up the box, took out some gauze and other things from his pocket, and threw it on the ground. I turned back to the driver's seat started, and started the car, all at once, as if nothing had happened. At this time, Ah Lien put the bag on his body again and counted his, tickets, without looking like he was surviving the disaster. Perhaps the impression left by Tang Emo on Ah Lien was too good, and his calm reaction just now was too hard to ignore. Ah Lien turned around, smiled harmlessly at Tang Emo, and patiently explained something. Those who make our money are used to encountering extremely similar things every day and they no longer make a fuss about it. Tang Emo nodded. In today's world, those who can run a bus are indeed not ordinary people. Today's people's hearts are not as old as they used to be. Morality and justice have long since disappeared without a trace. Who has the guts to earn such money without some real strength? They are not good people either. Do you smell the stink on their bodies? It is the smell of our kind. People nowadays are crazy if they want to live. All the end didn't speak clearly, but Tang Emo understood it. In these days when there is no food and drink, in order to survive, people are willing to eat anything, whether it is soil, paper, cotton or similar. As long as people have eaten human flesh, they can no longer be called human beings. They are more terrifying than alien beasts. In order to survive, they dare to do anything. Like devils coming out of H. L. Tang Emo nodded towards Ah Lien to express his understanding. Ah Lien did not take action in this battle. But Tang Emo had a certain assessment of the bald driver in his heart. The comprehensive attribute value may not be as high as his own, but his strength must be extremely high. If it were him, Tang Emo would review the battle in his mind. He is not afraid of these two people. But if he really wants to deal with them, it is indeed easier than the bald driver. Ah Lien did not participate in this battle. But judging from his calm attitude at the time and the driver's respect for him, Ah Lien was probably even more powerful than the bald driver. People in this era only respect the strong. This is an iron law. The 10-minute journey didn't take long. And the bus soon stopped at the entrance of Watching Base. Get off the car in a moment. You can come with me. I've been staying at this base for a long time. I'll be your guide. How about I charge you half a pack of biscuits? At the end of Tang Dynasty, he didn't know or understand why all Lian's attitude towards him was very different from that of ordinary people. At this time, Tang Mo had short hair and a peaked cap covering his eyes. His face was dark and basically unattractive. Okay. Deal. She was planning to stay in this base for a while. And she also wanted to find the Alliance Exchange. It would not be a bad thing to get to know more people and have a guide. The passengers in the car came down one after another and reached the gate of Huacheng Base. Now is the early stage of the establishment of the base. All major bases accept survivors for free and provide a certain amount of meals every day. In the later stage, Tang Mo knew that in order to enter and leave the base, 
he had to hand over one or two crystal stones. Daily meals can only be exchanged for completing tasks. There is no free lunch in the world. The beautiful woman has separated from the middle-aged man, and they are standing far apart. After all, the middle-aged man who lost the box and was injured is nothing more than a burden to him. Can so many people live in the base? Looking at the flow of people coming and going, Tang Mo couldn't help but have some questions. Watching base is nothing more than a small base. Even if it is a base, it only has an area of two residential areas. However, a high wall was built outside, and some towers were built at the four corners of the high wall, so that the situation in the distance could be seen. There are people guarding the city gate 24 hours a day, and the guards all have guns in their hands, which makes the people in the base feel very safe. Nowadays, vegetation grows wantonly, and the ecological environment has been greatly changed. Many buildings in the community have suddenly grown into towering trees, and the tops of giant trees are crumbling, and there is no way to even repair them. Chapter 48 Alliance Exchange There are not many buildings left that can accommodate people, but now people have reached this point. They don't care about this anymore. They can just pull a piece of cloth and sleep on the ground. Regarding Tang Mo's curiosity, Al Lien seemed very ordinary. People who enter the base for the first time are always shocked by the scene here. It's different now than it was in the prosperous times. But many people's mentality has not yet changed. It was not like she had never seen a base before at the end of Tang Dynasty. But the watching base was the smallest and most crowded one she had ever been to. So she was a little curious about it. Al Lien was directly at the door and distributed the harvest with the ball driver. The two people each get one third of the harvest. And the remaining one third has to be handed over to the base. After all, the bus is now shared. After following Ah Lian into the gate of Watching Base, Tang Mo finally understood how common Ah Lian was talking about sleeping on the ground. The base has long lost the appearance of a community. Instead, it looks like a huge forest park with only a few intact buildings left. But more of them are endless grass and trees. How long do you want to stay here? Ah Lian asked Tang Mo. Half a month. Tang Mo thought for a while and said, She needs time to deal with her things and carefully prepare for the next goal. The base will provide food every day. There are three ways to live. The first is to rent in those intact buildings. The daily rent there is not cheap. The second is that there are large and small tents on the grass. The rent is paid by the day. And just a little food is enough. The third type is to use the sky as your bed and the earth as your bed. However, you are a girl. So try not to do this. Ah Lian introduced Tangemo in detail and thoughtfully. Now, not long after the alien beasts were born. The crystal cores were still very precious. And no one wanted to waste every attribute point. So the crystal cores had not become a currency circulating in the market. How do you calculate the price for a room in the building? To be honest, Tang Emo had just come out of school and didn't have a rough estimate of the strength of the people outside. She was somewhat unsure whether her current attribute values could protect herself. If he had a choice, Tang Emo still wanted to make his life safer to the greatest extent possible. It doesn't matter to her whether the environment is good or bad. She has lived in mud and dirt before. But safety is important. And she wants to live a few more years in this life. 10 pounds of rice or food equivalent to 10 pounds of rice can live in that house for a week. Or use the crystal core as a commission. One crystal core can stay for a month. However, I advise you that even if you are lucky enough to get the crystal core, don't spend it. It is most cost effective to use it on yourself. After hearing this, Tang Emo nodded silently and said nothing. Did you see the two small villas over there? These are the two best houses in the base. One is the Alliance Exchange, and the other is the Alliance Mission Center. There will be two houses like this in each base. They are used to receive tasks in exchange for food and crystal cores. And then sell some valuable things. If you need to, you can go there and see for yourself. Following all the end's eyes, Tang Emo saw the most important destination of his trip. The watching base is not too big. It only took about 15 minutes for Ah Lien to take Tang Emo around the base. In addition to a few houses and the exchange mission center, there are tents and people sleeping on the grass everywhere. There are many stalls on the roadside. And there are some miscellaneous things on the stalls. Household appliances, clothes, luxury goods, even RMB. These stalls have everything. People put everything they have in front of them, hoping that someone will pick one of them in exchange for their next meal. What do we eat in the base now? What do we do with water? Tang Emo asked Ah Lian. It's easy to eat now. Many of these unnamed plants now have fruits. 
as long as they are tested by research institutes and are not poisonous. They can be made for everyone to eat, although they are a bit unpalatable and have almost no nutrition. But at least I won't starve to death. As for water, the Alliance has now distributed a purifier to each base. After such simple purification, the water can be used as domestic water, bathing, and washing clothes. If you drink, drink less. It won't kill anyone. Of course, if you drink too much, you will still die. The corner of Tang Mo's mouth twitched. Why didn't she realize that Ah Lian had such a hobby of telling cold jokes just now? After delivering Ah Lian's reward for being a guide, Tang Mo parted ways with him. Ah Lian lived in a tent area, but it was obvious that Tang Mo did not intend to live in a tent as well. She walked into a residential building that seemed to have relatively good facilities and easily found the administrator sitting leisurely on a chair in the lobby on the first floor. Are you looking for someone? You're not allowed in here. The administrator didn't even raise his eyes. He had seen too many poor people coming to this building looking for relatives and friends. No, I want to live here for half a month. How much will it cost? The administrator looked up and saw the tall, ordinary girl in front of him. Ten kilograms of rice. If you don't have it, food of equal value will do. Tang Mo neatly took out ten kilograms of rice that he had prepared long ago from his bag and handed it to the administrator. There are still a few junior crystals like her, but each one has an attribute point, and she can't bear to use it. The fat administrator was a little surprised when he took the heavy bag of rice from Tang Mo's hand. He weighed it in his hand and knew that it was enough. He found a bunch of keys from the drawer and handed them to Tang Mo. Upstairs on the third floor. Turn right and go to the fifth room. If you need anything, come to me and buy it with food. Taking the key and going upstairs, Tang Mo found his room. After opening it, he looked around. The most basic layout is one bedroom, one living room, one kitchen and one bathroom. The basic furniture and facilities are all there, although the sheets and quilts are not new. There are signs of cleaning. It was a cheap hotel in my previous life. Tang Mo nodded with satisfaction. She had never lived in a building in her last life. I simply cleaned the room again and replaced the sheets, quilts, and pillows with those in my own space. I changed out of my clothes, went into the bathroom, and took a shower. Then I put all the clothes that had been replaced for such a long time and had no water for cleaning into the washing machine and cleaned them. Then I went to the kitchen feeling refreshed and ordered myself a bowl of noodles. The tap water at the base can be used for bathing and washing clothes but the mineral water in this space still needs to be used in the pond below. The current base can only filter domestic water, and she is worried about eating it. Of course, this is not a problem for those who are dying of thirst. Mild poisoning is not taken seriously by anyone, as long as he doesn't die for a while. That's all. Everyone wants to live one more day. After eating the noodles, he took out the clothes from the washing machine and hung them to dry on the balcony. Only then did Tang Mo lie down on the bed with peace of mind ready to catch up on his sleep. It has been a long time since she slept in a bed. The bed is simply the greatest invention of mankind. It makes people feel at ease and happy. Let's wait until he wakes up to talk about the rest. Tang Mo slowly closed his eyes, sunk his whole body into the soft quilt, and fell asleep. Chapter 49 Making a Transaction When Tang Mo opened his eyes again, it was already evening. The sun outside had set, and the night had turned the world into a misty color. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he packed himself up and prepared to go out. The most important thing was not done, and the end of the day was not complete. She was used to taking things with her, leaving almost nothing that belonged to her in the room. But we still have to lock the door as usual, and we still have to do it on the surface. Just as Tang Mo locked the door and turned to leave, he turned around and suddenly met a pair of big eyes. It was a girl in a white nightgown, about 14 or 15 years old. She was leaning half out of the half-open door next door. Her big eyes were looking at Tang Mo intently. And she was holding a baby in her hand. Some tattered teddy bears. Hi. I'm the new neighbor. Tang Mo greeted the girl friendly. The girl obviously flinched at Tang Mo's response. But she still stared at Tang Mo from a distance without saying a word. Those eyes were very pure. Tang Mo didn't see any unfriendliness in them. But he didn't care about the girl's silence. He smiled and prepared to leave. Xiao Mo. Why did you open the door in your pajamas? Come back quickly. A woman carrying a basket suddenly appeared in the corridor. The woman's actual age was not very old, but she looked to be in her 40s or 50s. The clothes on his body were tattered but refreshing. 
but the yellow and thin skin on his face could not be concealed no matter what. Following her daughter's gaze, the woman saw Tang and Mo. I'm sorry. My daughter has mild autism and doesn't communicate well with others. I'm disturbing you. The woman quickly bowed to Tang Emo and apologized sincerely. It's okay. I'm new here. If I have something else to do, I'll leave first. Tang Emo said something and left. This woman's dress and sallow complexion did not look like she could live in an apartment. There was something very wrong with that child. And Tang Emo put a question mark in his mind about his neighbor. But the most important thing at this time is to go to the Alliance Exchange. Tang Mo's curiosity has always been limited for things that have nothing to do with him. The location of the Alliance Exchange is very close to the apartment where Tang Mo lives. These relatively well-preserved houses are all in this area, which is clearly separated from the tent area on the other side. This Alliance Exchange is as impressive as ever. Arriving at the entrance of the exchange, even Tang Mo, who had seen it countless times, couldn't help but sigh. The villa has been renovated in a Chinese style, with some solemnity and solemnity, and there are even a few stone pillars with words engraved on it at the door. You have to know how much effort the Alliance has wasted by having to do such a facade project in today's world. However, at the end of Tang Dynasty, he could understand why the Alliance repaired the exchanges and mission centers in each base so carefully. In a dilapidated world, there is a sacred and perfect place left for people, which at least gives people some hope. It is much better than being full of desolation. Spiritual encouragement is actually a very useful thing for people. There were very few people in the exchange in the evening. Just a few. Dozens of square enclosed spaces were drawn around the hall on the first floor. And Tang Emo randomly picked one and walked in. There was only one machine and one chair in the space. Tang Emo pulled out the chair, sat on it, and started to take things out of his space. A few pieces of the crystal cores of primary alien beasts. The skin of the big snake and the fangs. Tang Emo did not intend to trade the crystal core. He only took it out to test the value attributes of the current crystal core. Please place the items you want to trade on the trading table. This exchange can only trade items on exotic beasts, crystal cores, exotic treasures, and other special items. Seeing Tang Mo's delay in making any move, the machine issued an urging reminder. At the end of Tang Dynasty, Xian placed a spar on the trading table. A burst of red light swept across the trading desk. The primary crystal core of strength attribute can be exchanged for the following items. The seller can choose a trading item by himself. A series of items were displayed on the machine's screen. Mostly food. 20 pounds of rice. 5 packs of instant noodles. Some compressed biscuits. Snacks. And drinks. There are also some daily necessities such as clothes and tents. But there are few options above. After looking at the trading items above. Tang Mo understood a little bit. The rent for an apartment costs 10 kilograms of rice a week, which is 40 kilograms a month. And one crystal core can also live in an apartment for a month. However, crystal cores can only be exchanged for 20 kilograms of rice in the exchange. It seems that the alliance's need for crystal cores is not as valuable as everyone thought. That's right. Many of the tasks in the mission center are related to hunting exotic beasts. And crystal cores are constantly entering the exchange. But there was only so much food. And after replacing it, there was no more. After taking the crystal core off the trading table, Tang Emo put the two fangs of the intermediate beast on it. This transaction has exceeded the authority and cannot be carried out. Please bring the trading card to the second floor of the exchange for manual trading. We apologize for the inconvenience caused to you. After the machine scanned what Tang Emo had put on it, it issued a reminder. And a black card-like trading card was spit out from the window below with the words Alliance Trading Center printed on it. Exceeding the authority? Intermediate beasts can't be traded on the first floor? Tang Emo, who had never been to the exchange a few times, didn't know what was going on. In the past, the trophies were traded by the captain and then distributed in the end. She almost never participated in this process, pulling out the trading card and gathering his things. Tang Emo got up and went to the second floor of the exchange. Not everyone can get on the second floor, you have to buy a trading card to get there. The layout of the second floor and the first floor of the exchange are very different. If the first floor is convenient and fast to meet the large passenger flow, then the layout of the second floor is small and refined. There are about five rooms on the second floor. Each room has an open door. And there is a smiling staff member in a suit sitting inside. This was the first time that Tang Emo went to the second floor of the exchange. He randomly chose a room and walked in. He closed the door and sat in front of the staff. He placed the trading cards 
and the snake's fangs on the table in front of him. This is what I want to sell this time, Tang Emo said directly. Sitting in front of Tang Emo was a middle-aged man with gold-rimmed glasses. He took the fong, placed it on the instrument behind him, and pressed a few special buttons. Soon, some text was displayed on the instrument. The middle-aged man printed it out and read it carefully, and then brought the fong back to Tang Mo's eyes. The ID watch also has the function of identifying treasures. But it is obviously not as complete and powerful as the exchange instrument. I wonder what Miss wants to change. Crystal core or food? Or permissions? Chapter 50 Transaction Completed Permissions? She could understand both food and crystal nuclei. But this was the first time she heard about permissions in the Alliance Exchange. It's like this. The redemption rights for the baby you sell are universal across the entire Alliance. Based on the value of your baby, you will be exchanged for the status of silver VIP, gold VIP, or diamond VIP. The polite staff patiently explained to Tang Emo. What is the use of this authority? Tang Emo really didn't understand this at all. It was actually used by the entire alliance. It can be imagined how low level she lived in her previous life. VIP rights allow you to exercise certain rights within the base, such as free and more convenient and faster access to and from the base. Enjoy the best food and accommodation and other benefits. Have certain preferential policies in the exchange. And also have priority treatment in the mission center. Permissions there are many functions in the base. And ladies can gradually explore them after becoming VIPs. The higher the level, the greater the authority. Right. Are there others above diamond VIP level? At the end of Tang Dynasty, he always felt that the person in front of him particularly hoped that he could redeem his authority. There are glory VIPs above diamond VIPs, but these cannot be redeemed by selling treasures. Only those who have made great contributions to the Alliance are eligible to become glory VIPs. Currently, there are only a few glory VIPs from a few leading families in the Alliance. Quota. This treasure of yours can be redeemed to become a silver VIP. Do you want to redeem it? The staff member added, seeing the man's MLM-like smile. Tang Emo flinched. No. Please tell me how many crystal cores I can redeem. What kind of authority is too far away and unrealistic for Tang Emo? She doesn't need to be a person with status for the time being. And it is the right thing to improve her own strength now. Oh. If you want to exchange for crystal cores, each of these two fangs can be exchanged for eight primary crystal cores. The attributes of the crystal cores are of your choice except for the space attribute crystal cores. If Tang Emo saw it correctly, there was a flash of disappointment on the man's face. One fang is eight. Two fangs is sixteen? At the end of Tang Dynasty, he was overjoyed. This intermediate level beast was indeed valuable. And the materials on it exceeded the value of the crystal core in its body. And this? Please help me calculate the price. Seeing that the price offered by the exchange was relatively honest, Tang Emo took out the intact dragon's skin. The appraiser's eyes lit up when he looked at what Tang Emo took out. This was the first time he had seen such a complete skin of an intermediate level animal since he started working. This is a good material for making defensive equipment. I immediately took it and scanned and printed the report in one go. 20 primary crystal nuclei. The appraiser thought for a while and gave a quote. Their job is to leave the most valuable things for the alliance with the highest cost performance. So the price can artificially float within a certain range. And they have this power. Hmm. Tang Emo thought for a while. To be honest, the price was not low. But she always felt that there would be a better solution. Do you think this can be done? I want to use these materials to make a venom quench dagger. I also want a dragon skin defensive vest. I will sell the remaining materials to you. See what else I can do after deducting my production and processing fees. How much money is left? Such a plan in the late Tang Dynasty was not unreasonable. Attribute values are important. But if the equipment cannot keep up and you fight with bare hands, you will definitely suffer a loss even if you have no fighting power. In addition to buying things, the Alliance Exchange naturally sells processed equipment. She might as well use the good things she got to buy herself a complete set first. Anyway, I don't use much material for these two pieces of equipment. And it will be the same if I sell the rest. If that's the case, the appraiser quickly estimated the amount of materials and production costs required for the two pieces of equipment needed in the late Tang Dynasty. After deducting the two pieces of equipment made for you, you can still have a total of 10 crystal cores left from the remaining materials. 10? According to the quotation just now, the two crystal nuclei and the dragon skin make a total of 36 crystal nuclei. Then these two pieces of equipment cost a total of 26 crystal cores. 26 crystal nuclei. 
with 26 attribute points. That's two and a half mid-level beasts. No one knows how difficult it is to kill mid-level beasts than Tang Dynasty. Tang Emo felt a pain in his heart. But after thinking about the dagger and armor he wanted, he reluctantly nodded. It's easy to spend money, but hard to make money. The old saying is true. Then what properties do you want for the primary crystal nucleus? The appraiser asked. Of course, it's spiritual. At the end of the Tang Dynasty, people wanted to take the path of spiritual powers. So they naturally had to go all out to develop spiritual attributes. Can you replace the primary crystal core with an intermediate crystal nucleus? Tang Emo suddenly remembered that in his previous life, there seemed to be a way to exchange primary crystal cores for intermediate crystal cores. Yes, but 15 primary crystal cores are exchanged for one intermediate crystal core. And the attributes are optional except space. This is robbery. Tang Emo hesitated. In addition to the 10 crystal nuclei as a reward, she had exactly 5 primary crystal nuclei in her hand. But this is equivalent to wasting 5 attribute points in vain. However, the physical enhancement brought by the intermediate crystal core is unmatched by 10 primary crystal nuclei added together. More importantly, an intermediate crystal core can expand Tang Mo's space by about 1 square meter. This is the most important reason why Tang Mo wants to change to an intermediate crystal core. Her current space is full, and it is urgent to expand the space area. Change! Tang Mo gritted his teeth and took out the only five primary crystal cores he had. I was crying silently in my heart. I was really sorry for coming here. I handed over all the complete materials of the intermediate beast and all the crystal cores on it. In the end, I only returned home with one intermediate crystal core, taking the white intermediate crystal core that he had acquired in exchange for all his wealth. Tang Emo walked out of the Alliance exchange door. At this time, the sky was completely dark. The power system of the base was still there, and the only remaining street lights were still on, so that people's nightlife would not end so early. The moon in the sky is extremely bright, and the stars are so bright that it feels like we have returned to ancient times. After finishing his top priority, Tang Emo breathed in the pure air brought by the fresh vegetation, while strolling leisurely at the roadside stalls. Although she has no crystal core now, she has a lot of food. For these ordinary people, the imminent food is much more important than the crystal core. Although the grass fruit sold by the base can make people hungry and full, the nutrients contained in it are too few. After eating, people will still have a sallow complexion and weak muscles, and the body urgently needs oil and water to comfort the stomach. Most of the items on display at the stalls are clothes, jewelry and the like. Nowadays, watches have the function of identifying treasures. But people will first identify things like jade bracelets and pendants that can show some aura. It's really not easy to pick up the leaks. Chapter 51 Bought Some Clothes Hey! You stepped on something of mine! A young boy's voice sounded from the side. Tang Emo looked at his feet. Sure enough, his feet were stepping on a white short-sleeved shirt. When he moved his feet away, there was a big footprint on it. It's this move again. It really makes people look like fools. The uncle running the stall next to him rolled his eyes and said disdainfully. The boy was sitting behind his stall, biting his lip tightly, holding a panting golden retriever in his arms. Tang Emo noticed the golden retriever and couldn't help but look at it a few more times. In this era of famine, except for people like Uncle Wen who keep dogs to make their wives happy, how can ordinary families afford pets? Nowadays, People can't afford to live anymore. Who is willing to give food to their pets? It would be better if they don't eat their own pets. In fact, this was because at the end of Tang Dynasty, she came into contact with relatively few families with pets. If she knew more, she would know that pets have long become food in the family. Some people who really love their furry children can't bear to talk about it. So they exchange it with the pets of people around them, which can be regarded as psychological comfort and help them pass their own test. I'm sorry. The things I sold you were dirty. Tang Emo took one look at the position where the clothes were placed and understood. It was clearly a step beyond the stall. And it was 100% authentic. Anyone with long eyes could see it. Since you got it dirty, you have to buy it. I want half a bottle of clean water. A quarter bottle is fine. The boy didn't dare to look into Tang Mo's eyes. But he still insisted on finishing what he wanted to say. What if I don't have water? Tang Emo said. There's no water. If there's no water, just leave. There was no struggle on the boy's face. When Tang Emo said that he had no water, he seemed to be relieved. Oh, why do you only want water? No food? No wonder Tang Emo was curious. The water filtered by the base will not kill people for a while. 
The food he eats seems to be more important. I just want water. Ponyo can't drink filtered water. The boy held the dog in his arms. The name of the big golden retriever was Ponyo. Ponyo seemed to feel her master's emotional fluctuations. She struggled to raise her big head and lick the boy's palm with her wet tongue. At the end of Tang Dynasty, the heart softened a little. People in the apocalypse could not believe it. But animals still retained their simple and kind nature, unconditionally trusting and loving their masters. What's your name? Where's your family? My name is Xiao Fei. My parents are gone. And Ponyo is my only relative. I can't lose her anymore. But your clothes don't seem to be worth the money. Do they? If you have water, you can take whatever you like from my stall. All of them. Xiao Fei replied neatly. After hearing this, Tang Emo actually squatted down and took the pure white short-sleeved shirt in his hands. The clothes were brand new and even the tags were not removed. They felt good to the touch. Tang Emo didn't recognize the tags. The brand I wrote on it probably wasn't cheap at the time. Xiao Fei's stall mostly sells luxury goods for young people, such as sneakers, sunglasses, backpacks, and watches. It can be seen that his family must have been in a good situation before the famine came. It is really rare for such a rich second generation to be able to take care of a dog in his current life. Tang Emo looked through it and picked out a black baseball cap and big sunglasses. This should be enough for half a bottle of water. Then he took out the remaining half bottle of mineral water from his backpack and threw it to the boy. Xiu Fei obviously hadn't reacted yet and was hit by the flying bottle. Ponyo turned her head and gave Tang Emo a dissatisfied look. Even Tang Emo, who had never raised a dog, could clearly see what was in her eyes. You are really understanding of human nature. Tang Emo looked at the golden retriever amusedly. Hey, little girl, why did you buy those rags from him? Come back quickly. Look at my stall. There are all good things that can be used. Seeing that Tang Emo could really take out things, the uncle next to him became anxious. If he hadn't been far away, he would have wanted to drag Tang Emo to his side immediately. Tang Emo took a look at the items on the stall next to him. Most of them were daggers and tools, which were much more practical than what Xiao Fei had here. However, she had already ordered a dagger at a high price at the Alliance Exchange, and this ordinary handicraft really could not catch her eye. I know you sympathize with me. Young boys always have the strongest self-esteem. Thanks. Though, self-esteem is sometimes not that important in front of the things you love. An equal transaction. Tang Emo raised the things in his hands, waved his hands and left. After browsing all the stalls and making sure that nothing on them attracted him, Tang Emo walked towards his apartment with some disappointment. Sure enough, I was too naive to want to pick up something good or something. The end of Tang Dynasty? Downstairs in the apartment. All the end who came to the mission center to look for a suitable mission, saw Tang Emo holding a bunch of things in his hand. Are you going shopping? The clothes I haven't changed can be replaced with the remaining jewelry, Tang Emo said lightly. Do you live here? Ah Lian looked at the apartment building to one side. This rent. Well, I'm quite tired. If I have nothing else to do, I'll leave first. Having come this far, it would be too false to deny it. Ah Lian's words made Tang Emo feel a little uncomfortable for no reason. So he said H, low and left. When I went upstairs, I found that the girl in white next door was still holding the old little bear and was squatting at her door. I saw you and your friends downstairs just now. The girl rarely spoke proactively. That's not my friend. Tang Emo opened the door. If she didn't absorb the intermediate crystal core quickly, she always felt that there was still some unfinished task today. Listen to him. Your name is Tang Emo. My name is Xiao Emo. Emo Li's Emo. Which Emo are you? The end of the apocalypse. Compared with the freshness and elegance of the girl's name, Tang Emo felt that his own name was too unartistic. Can I come and sit at your house? The girl then asked. Tang Emo just opened the door and was stunned for a moment. This little Emo doesn't look like an autistic child like her mother said. Come in. Tang Emo opened the door and stepped aside to let the girl in. She could feel that the girl's attributes were not strong, and there was an indescribable feeling in her body, as if something similar to herself existed but it had not sprouted. After entering the room, Xiaomo politely sat on the chair and placed the teddy bear on her lap. How old are you this year? Tang Emo randomly found a topic. Twelve years old. You don't look like you are twelve years old. Tang Emo thought that Xiaomo must be at least fourteen years old. She had already grown up, and her slender legs were exposed under the white nightgown. My uncle also said that I don't look like I am twelve. He promised my mother that he would not be with me until I was fifteen. 
Xiao Mo's tone was very calm when she said this. And Tang Yimou was not sure whether the girl understood the deeper meaning of these words. Chapter 52 Vitality Short Sleeves Who is uncle? If it was an ordinary little girl, Tang Yimou would have no interest in asking anymore. Who is not struggling desperately to survive now? Those men. Women and children sleeping on the lawn. Those ambiguous voices in the tents. Life is not easy for everyone. At least Xiao Emo can still live in an apartment. And she can enjoy the air conditioning and wear a skirt no matter how cold the winter is. Which is already much better than many people. Uncle is my mother's boyfriend. Not long after entering this base, my mother met him and took me to move in. Xiao Mo's words still showed no emotion. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he recalled the woman who greeted him. Although she had gone through many changes, her facial features were indeed good looking. And it was not difficult to see her exquisite figure under her simple clothes. Xiao Emo followed her mother in this regard. Tang Emo did feel a little disdainful towards Xiao Mo's mother. As a woman, she had no right to interfere with her own choices. But as a mother, she brought her child into the tiger's mouth like this, which was a waste of time for her to be a mother. You want me to help you? I probably can't do much. Although the late Tang Dynasty felt sorry for this girl, housework was difficult to deal with even in the prosperous times let alone the current apocalypse. Responsible for Xiao Mo's mother's nastiness from the moral high ground? Then what? What is her request for her to take Xiao Emo back to the grass to live a life of sleeping in the open without enough food? What qualifications does she have? No, I just want to be friends with you. To Tang Mo's surprise, Xiao Emo didn't cry and beg her to save him, but wanted to be friends with her. Why? I don't know. Sister, I really envy you. Why is my life so hard? I don't even want to say a word in that house every day. I thought time would pass quickly if I pretended not to see or hear anything. A little bit. But it's still very sad. Every minute and every second is painful. Xiao Mo's fingers were tightly clasped into the teddy bear's body. She is not autistic at all. She just allows her heart to escape. Tang Emo didn't know why this little girl she had just met said this to her. But she was not disgusted. She could see that even though she was struggling in the mud, the girl had not given up hope and was protecting herself in her own way. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he finally understood how Xiao Emo looked like himself. That was, stubbornness and stubbornness that refused to admit defeat. Xiao Emo, have you ever climbed a mountain? Huh? Xiao Emo looked at Tang Emo confusedly. Only those who have climbed to the top of the mountain are qualified to talk about the suffering they experienced along the way when overlooking the beautiful scenery. People will think it is a medal of honor. But no one will listen to the suffering of those who have not reached the top. Tell them. It's also a joke. Just like an excuse for one's own failure. It was rare for Tang Emo to be willing to say this. This girl, Xiao Emo, touched a certain point in her heart. If possible, she would like to help her. In Tang Mo's unique way. So I shouldn't talk about my suffering. Right. Xiao Emo seemed to understand. No. But you have to reach the top. When you become stronger... Not only will the things you experience not be suffering, you can also give the meaning. After listening to Tang Mo's words, Xiao Mo's eyes suddenly lit up. After thinking for a long time, it seemed that things that I had not understood before were suddenly solved. The end of the darkness was no longer endless, but a faint light. Thank you. I understand. Xiao Mo got down from the stool and said goodbye. He walked to the door and turned around again. So, sister, are we friends now? Yeah. Tang Emo smiled and nodded. Watching Xiao Emo leave, Tang Emo locked the door, then took out the white intermediate crystal core, put it in his hand and absorbed it. Feeling the abundant energy flowing continuously in his body, Tang Mo's heart gradually calmed down. Her words were not only for Xiao Emo, but also for herself. Only those who have reached the summit are qualified to talk about the suffering they have experienced. People who have not reached the summit and failed are not even qualified to complain. From the moment, he came back from rebirth and opened his eyes. Tang Mo worked hard every minute to enrich himself and improve himself to the maximum extent. Without daring to relax for a moment. She just has a space and has more past life experiences than others. Her talent and strength are still just like that. If she wants to rely on her strength to crush others and protect herself in the end of the world. She simply can't do it. She still remembered everything she experienced on the bus last time. If the ball driver and Ali Yen hadn't been there at that time. If there had been two more gangsters or more strength, she might just tell the story directly at the beginning of her apocalyptic journey. Because she knows her own shortcomings and weaknesses. She is modest and cautious. So she works harder. Mental training is boring. 
but she can sit for five hours at a time. The training of sword skills made her confused. But the rigid learning of every action in the video, second by second, frame by frame, forced her to master the entire set of sword skills. When she first started practicing, the knife fell to the ground again and again, and her feet were bruised many times. But she didn't rest all day. She just kept standing. It's not that I'm not tired. And it's not that I'm not in pain either. But she always remembered that people who failed had no right to complain or be aggrieved. After absorbing the intermediate crystal core, Tang Emo clearly felt that his body seemed lighter, and there were fewer impurities in his body. After checking the space, as she expected, the area in the space increased by about one square meter. Tang Emo excitedly put the hat and sunglasses she bought from the market into the space. But when she was about to put the half sleeve piece in, her hand suddenly paused. The texture of this dress is so good, it would be more comfortable to wear it close to the body. The clothes were new, and Tang Emo didn't care if he had stepped on them, since they were all dust and they would be clean after just patting them. He quickly put the clothes on his body, feeling the soft texture of the fabric. Why do you feel that you are inexplicably more energetic? After putting on the clothes, Tang Emo suddenly felt the changes in his body. Because of his high mental strength, Tang Emo was very sensitive to almost every change in his body. I seem to be more focused, think more clearly, and have more flexible ideas. What's going on? Tang Emo turned his eyes to the clothes he had just put on. By some mistake, he turned on the treasure identification function of his ID watch and pointed it at the white short sleeve shirt he was wearing. Name, Vitality Short Sleeves. Attribute Value, Life Attribute Value 10 Points. Tang Emo looked at the words displayed on the screen in front of him with some disbelief. Sure enough, good people in this world are rewarded. Almost at that moment, Tang Emo strengthened his determination to do more good deeds in the future. Chapter 53 The Secret in the Tent The vitality attribute value does not have any attack attribute. And many people did not take it seriously at first. But at the end of Tang Dynasty, it was clear that from the night when the stars came in the end of the world, none of the five unique attribute values that can be measured in the human body is useless. Vitality is equivalent to the health bar in the game characters. The squishier the character, the easier it is to die. And the tank with thicker blood is more resistant to beating. It's just that life is not a game. In real life, no one specializes only in vitality and then makes himself an existence that can resist damage for his teammates. However, if the strength is strong enough and the vitality is high, then the person's combat effectiveness is really difficult to estimate. The rare treasures in the apocalypse are not only edible, but also useful equipment like this. However, in the late Tang Dynasty, she had heard that decorations such as rings, necklaces, and wooden plaques were identified as having exotic treasure properties. This was the first time she had seen clothes with attribute values. There won't be any acceleration shoes in the future. Right? Then this world is too fantasy. I have to say that the truth came out in the late Tang Dynasty. After knowing that his clothes were a rare treasure, Tang Emo decided that he would never take them off no matter what. Even if he changed clothes, he would have to blow dry them at night and put them on again during the day the next day. Cherishing her life. This dress is just right for her. Tang Emo opened his watch and refreshed his latest attribute value information. ID, Late Tang Dynasty. HP, 32. Strength, 25. Agility, 47. Mental Strength, 72. Space, 0. Comprehensive Strength, 176. 176. Seeing the final attribute value. Tang Emo was pleasantly surprised. This was probably the value she reached just before she died in her last life. You must know that at that time. She had been struggling in the battle of the apocalypse for five years. Tang Emo, my friend has something good that he wants to sell. The price is 10% higher than the Alliance Exchange. I wonder if you want it. Just when he was about to close the page, Tang Emo received a message from Ah Lian on his ID watch. What Ah Lian does in the base is very complicated. Apart from occasionally renting a bus with the ball driver to make a living, he does many other scattered jobs. He is a well-rounded character. I guess I saw where I lived and knew that I was a rich man. So I became a second-rate dealer. What? If it was something that could improve attribute values. She didn't have the crystal core. But Tang Emo didn't mind exchanging it with food. A lot of food. Although the value of food is somewhat worse than that of crystal cores. As the most widely circulated currency. There are still a lot of people competing for food. You will know the good things about the strange beasts when you come here. See you in the tent area at 10 o'clock tomorrow. The next day, 
Tang Emu dressed up and arrived at the place Ah Lian had agreed to on time. This time she did not have a backpack, but put it in her own space. Still nothing belonging to her was left in the room. You're here quite early. Let's come in and talk. Ah Lian walked out of a tent with a smile on his face. He pulled Tang Emu and bent down to go in. He turned around and zipped the tent door. The space in the tent is very large. About 10 square meters. Like a small mobile house. Not only for living. Many people also rent tents for small purchases that make a little money. If the team has hunted a lot and is unwilling to sell to the alliance, they will rent tents for a day and sell them to people who want to buy them at a high price. Where's the stuff? There was another man in the tent at this time. And he was obviously the seller this time. Don't be impatient. Please drink some water first. I've asked my little brother to get the things. They'll be here soon. The man's words made Tang Mo's pupils shrink. These words were full of loopholes. They were lying to her. The expression on his face and the movements of his hands did not change. He raised the cup and dipped it towards his lips. As soon as he lifted the cup, Tang Emo smelled a strange floral fragrance. This is a low-quality stunner. Produced by the Alliance Research Institute to briefly stun alien beasts to facilitate combat. But I didn't expect that it would give many people with evil intentions an opportunity to use it as a weapon to abduct women and children. The sin of this thing cannot be concealed. People after the end of the last world know that this thing exists. And everyone has 12 minds. But at this time, this thing is still a new thing. And Alien and the man did not expect that Tang Emo would be so knowledgeable. Tang Emo pretended to swallow the water into his stomach. But in fact, he moved the water into the cup in the space through the conduction of his fingers. She couldn't figure out the strength of the two people now. Instead of confronting each other head on, it was better to see what plans the two people were hiding. This hallucinogen can act immediately. So Tang Emo, who pretended to drink water, counted for about three seconds before his body fell limply on the table. Of course, I carefully chose a more comfortable position when I fell down. Has Shiba arrived? At the end of Tang Dynasty, he heard Ah Lian ask the sitting man. From the moment she came in, I sent a message to Shiba to ask him to go upstairs. However, looking at her ordinary clothes, can she really be a good product? There was some distrust in the man's voice. How long have I been collecting tickets on the bus? Just trust me when it comes to people. I'm sure I won't make a mistake. This must be a fat sheep. Hearing Alien's voice, Tang Emo felt cold. It turned out that he had become Alien's target from the moment he got in the car. She was still careless. First collect her things, then tie her up and leave her in the tent for work. We have to squeeze all the oil and water out of her body. I have observed that she came here on her own and has no relatives or friends. Wait until this happens, it's not easy being a lone fat sheep. Ah Lien's voice was no longer as enthusiastic and cheerful as before. Like a devil in H.L. Saying the cruelest words in the most ordinary tone. Do it cleanly, and don't let Brother Tiger know. Ah Lien added. Brother Tiger? Tang Emo had never heard of this name before. So she made a mark in her mind. Don't worry when I do my job. I'll make sure it's clean and beautiful. What's your attribute value now? Is it over 100? Perhaps the waiting time was too long, and the two of them started talking about other things. Nowadays, everyone's attribute values are low, and it's hard to talk about which attribute they specialize in. It's assumed that whoever has the highest total attribute value is the most powerful. No, it's not close, but I think it will be close next month. Alien's voice was filled with pride. There are not many people in the base with attribute values over 100. Apart from the people in the alliance, there are also Brother Who and his men including you and Baldhead. The man's indie was beyond words. Mentioning the bald head, Tang Emo couldn't help but think of the bald driver with flowery arms. She had seen the strength of that driver. Oh, this is what it is. There are hidden dragons and crouching tigers in the base. There are many capable people. Listening to the words of the two people, Tang Emo couldn't help but have a certain understanding of his own strength. Until now, she didn't know what kind of strength she had without a comparison reference. Now she knew clearly that the value of 170 might not be bad. However, Hua Chen was a small base after all. And what they knew about Ah Lian and that man was limited. So Tang Emo decided to keep a low profile. Let's get over the current difficulty first. Chapter 54 Shamo's Mother Nothing? Impossible. Did you enter the wrong room? Just when Tang Emo was in the process of evaluating his own strength, the video on the strange man's watch rang. And the younger brother who was sent to search Tang Mo's apartment sent the results of his search. There was nothing in the room at the end of Tang Dynasty. 
as if no one had ever lived there. Are you sure this woman is really a fat sheep? The man asked Ah Lian suspiciously. Of course. It's impossible not to have something. I clearly saw her carrying a bunch of things upstairs that day. By the way, the backpack. Isn't the backpack in the room? Ah Lian was sure. Isn't it because he has space powers? Seeing Ah Lian's appearance, the man suspected other possibilities. No. When I first met her that day, she even held a knife. A woman who can use a knife shows that she still has some strength. Space superpowers are garbage except for the space attribute value. This woman absolutely impossible. Perhaps I have taken precautions and put things elsewhere. Alien thought for a while and said, Isn't his disguise not perfect enough? He had deceived many people with his appearance. And there was no way he would fall for this little girl. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he was secretly glad. Fortunately, people nowadays have seen relatively little of the world. And they may have never heard of the rare space treasures. Otherwise, if your body is searched, you will become passive. No matter what, let Sister Zhang train her later. After a few days of suffering, she can say anything. Thinking of the training, the man looked at Tang Mo's face in a lustful manner. But when he saw Tang Mo's dark face and short hair, he turned away in disgust. It's hard to sell something like this. It's really frustrating. After a while, Tang Mo heard the sound of the tent door being opened again. Are there new people here? It was the voice of a 30-year-old woman. Sister Zhang, I'll leave it to you. Remember to tie her up tightly. Feed her once an hour to avoid her disobedience. Tell me when you're ready and I'll arrange the guests. The woman who came in after the man told him and went out with Ali in. The woman they called Sister Zhang took out a rope that had been prepared and walked towards the end of Tang Dynasty. The current rope couldn't trap her at all. Tang Mo knew his own strength well. So he didn't struggle. He wanted to wait for Ah Lian and the others to move further away before making any move. And let the middle-aged woman get closer to him. When the woman came to Tang Mo, Tang Mo clearly felt that the woman's footsteps paused. But it only took a few seconds for him to recover. And he grabbed her hands and tied them up. The drugging time was not very long. When the ropes on his hands were tied and the other party was about to tie him up in other places. Tang Mo opened his eyes leisurely. What caught his eye was a familiar face. That was Xiao Mo's mother, who lived next door in the late Tang Dynasty. And they had met once. You're awake? Zhang Mei was startled when she saw the sharpness and scrutiny in Tang Mo's eyes. Don't blame me. Blame it on the current world. Blame it on your bad luck. Not sure whether to comfort Tang Mo or herself. Sister Zhang muttered something. If you do this, why bother bringing your daughter to live in a man's house? Compared to anger, Tang Mo was more curious. Since you are in this kind of pimping business, why do you have to take your daughter to endure the humiliation? Tang Mo was a very realistic person. She could understand all the deeds that a person could do to benefit himself and others in order to survive. But she could not understand clearly the life of this woman named Zhang. Zhang Mei was also stunned for a moment when she heard Tang Mo's question. This was not the first time she had done this. Every time the girl woke up, without exception, she would scream and cry with hysterical insults. This was also the first time she had encountered a little girl like Tang Mo. When I first brought Xiao Mo here, I encountered the same thing as you. But the first guest I met at that time was a noble man. I don't know how I caught his eye and made him spend a lot of money. The price sold me out. And that's what you see. Maybe she still felt a little guilty for being an acquaintance. So Zhang Mei explained subconsciously. You don't hate Ah Lian and the others? Why do you want to help them? What is there to hate? You know, every time I bring out a girl like you, I can get a whole bottle of mineral water and half a caddy of rice. Oh, by the way, you can live in an apartment. Right. We'll understand the value of these foods to us poor souls. A trace of ridicule rose on Zhang Mei's face. Hate. If self-esteem can be exchanged for food, she would like to tear off her face and let thousands of troops trample on her. The feeling of starvation is too uncomfortable. The feeling of being bullied is too uncomfortable. If she had a choice, she would not be willing to bear that kind of pain in her life. Even if she became an accomplice of the perpetrator. It turns out, I can give you a bottle of water and half a kilo of rice. That's okay. Tang Mo nodded clearly. For such a profitable matter, she understood Zhang Mei's choice. What about your daughter? Are you going to let her follow the same path as you and commit to that man? If it is understandable to do anything for yourself, is it okay to do this as a mother? Tang Mo had never been a mother, but she knew that if it were Lin Yi, even if she risked her own life, 
Tang Mo would not suffer any injustice. That's her life. At least, at least I have to survive first. When she mentioned her daughter, Zhang Mei's eyes darkened. There is no need to take exams to be a parent in this world. And not all parents love their children enough to sacrifice themselves. Perhaps because they were talking about a topic they didn't want to talk about. Zhang Mei ignored Tang Mo and took out a piece of tape to seal Tang Mo's mouth. He tied her to a chair so that she could not move. Then turned around and left the tent. Now is the time for the base to distribute lunch. Even if they live in an apartment, Zhang Mei and her daughter still have to rely on the meals distributed by the base every day. Of course, we need extra money from the Arab League. After Zhang Mei left, Tang Mo was the only one left in the tent. Just when she was about to break free of the rope around her wrist, the tent door was opened again, and a slender figure flashed in. Shu! Xiao Mo wore a worn but clean cotton padded jacket, made a shushing gesture at Tang Mo, and then vigorously untied the rope that tied Tang Mo to the stool. Maybe she was too weak, and Xiao Mo couldn't untie it without any tools, and her face was covered with sweat in a hurry. Seeing the little girl's face flushed and working hard, Tang Mo was suddenly moved. Xiao Mo had been eavesdropping outside the tent, and Tang Mo had already noticed her small figure. It was clear that Tang Mo's hands could be loosened with just a slight effort. But at this moment, she did not make any move, letting the girl untie the rope for herself. She is not someone who likes to owe others favors. But she wants to owe this favor today. Finally untying the rope, Xiao Mo threw it aside and gently took off the tape from Tang Mo's mouth. Hurry up and run away. The further away, the better. Those people are very powerful here, and you can't afford to offend them. Xiao Mo pushed Tang Mo anxiously, sweat dripping from her anxious face. I didn't even have time to wipe it off. At this time, Tang Mo finally understood the strange look on Xiao Mo's face when he asked Ah Lian if he was his friend. It turned out that she had known it for a long time. She knows everything. Chapter 55 Leaving the Base Do you hate her? Tang Mo took off the tape on his mouth and asked. She was in no hurry to leave. Ah Lian and the man had gone on a mission and wouldn't be back for a while. And Xiao Mo's mother had just left. Even if she came back early, Tang Mo's strength would not even take her seriously. It wasn't because she was afraid that she hadn't resisted before. It's okay. But I was always sad when I wasn't sure whether she loved me. I always embarrassed myself and wondered if I wasn't good enough. Now I'm better. I know it's not my fault. Xiao Mo's eyes were clear and magnanimous. Maybe she hid it too well. But Tang Mo really didn't see any sadness in her eyes. It's been three months. I can't keep making things difficult for myself. Right. Xiao Mo even had a smile on her lips. Tang Dynasty also laugh, whether sincerely or pretending. Children who can still laugh at this time can survive. What about you? Are you sad that you were deceived by someone you trusted and almost lost your life here? Sad? Tang Mo tilted her head and thought about it. She really couldn't find anything sad about this incident from beginning to end. She had never trusted anyone. No one. Sad? Sad that I'm not smart enough. This matter was reviewed at the end of Tang Dynasty when he was pretending to be in a coma. He didn't blame others for it. But he was careless. Still not cautious enough and jumped into the other party's trap. How cool. I will become someone like you in the future. Shalimo looked at Tang Mo with bright eyes. Tang Mo touched Xiao Mo's head. She always had a special feeling for this child. Like a miniature version of herself. Always feeling that one day he would bloom. Are we still friends? Xiao Mo was a little cautious. After all, the person who tied up Tang Mo with a rope was also her mother. Of course, if you need it in the future, give me a video call. Tang Mo pointed to the ID watch. After bidding farewell to Xiao Mo, Tang Mo slipped out of the tent, changed into a coat, and put on a baseball cap in the corner, and then rushed to the Alliance Exchange. She couldn't go back to her apartment, and she didn't have much of her belongings there. But there are still two treasures of my own in the exchange. It may be that there are not too many people on the second floor of the exchange now. So every order is placed very quickly. Tang Mo received his dagger and armor as he wished. The dagger is edged on both sides. But one side is capable of quenching the venom of poisonous snakes. While the other side is non-toxic and easy to cut. And both sides are extremely sharp. The armor is made of the inner skin of a giant snake. The material is very soft and comfortable. And its ability to resist damage is very strong. The staff who handed the armor to her said that the armor could not only prevent some ordinary cold weapon attacks, but could even block pistol bullets. Of course, in the hail of bullets from submachine guns or rocket launchers, 
You can't rest assured that everything will be fine if you wear this defensive equipment. Tang Emo looked at the two pieces of equipment in his hands, and his eyes were filled with light. You can tell that these things are good without even trying them with your naked eyes. Okay. Equipment made from materials that have no attribute value themselves will not have any attribute value. Like the vitality half-sleeve worn at the end of Tang Dynasty. They were all made by the miraculous craftsmanship of the starry sky and the universe. And could not be manufactured by man. In the exchange, he took off his coat, put the armor on the white short-sleeved shirt, and then put the coat back on. The dagger was hung on the belt specially designed for it. And Tang Emo left the alliance exchange with satisfaction. The moment he came out of the Huacheng base, Tang Emo felt like a villain who had just left the novice village in the game. Although he had added equipment, the road ahead was still long and arduous. She came to Huacheng base by accident, and she didn't have any definite destination next. City B is a desert, and the desert flowers have not bloomed yet. There is no point in going too early. It is better to improve yourself in a place with sufficient environmental resources. At the end of Tang Dynasty, while thinking about where he was going next, he was hunting lone strange beasts in the jungle. The current environment has degraded to the environment of the era when the jungle was at its peak. In other words, degradation is not so appropriate. But restoration. The current strength of Tang Dynasty is no problem against a single low-level alien beast alone. Three or two can barely compete. But if there are more, they can only run away. There are more types of alien beasts after leaving the school. The primary alien beasts in the fog at the school all have the shape of crocodile heads. But now, in the jungle, there are all kinds of alien beasts with different shapes. Mammalian alien beasts are more powerful, while insect alien beasts are more numerous and flexible. As for flying alien beasts, every time they appear, they will inevitably cause a disaster, and they have not yet been encountered in the late Tang Dynasty. While killing the strange beasts, Tang Emo summarized his combat experience, reflected on his shortcomings, and then continued to make up for it in the next battle. Although she has lived for two lives, in her last life, she was just an ordinary person struggling to survive. Except for some common sense and experience in the apocalypse. She has almost no wealth accumulated for herself in terms of combat. Everything depends on her slow exploration now. Putting his mind first before his hands. Tang Emo finally figured out the most suitable fighting technique for him. Because mental power is one's greatest advantage. In battle, one can deeply strengthen one's vision. Amplify and slow down the opponent's movements. People with strong mental strength have the most agile minds. They can think of counter moves the moment the opponent makes an attack and then use it to resolve it. And then turn passive into active. Only in this way can Tang Mo's attack efficiency be guaranteed to the greatest extent. The most energy saving. And foolproof. Only by summarizing their own combat experience based on the characteristics of their own conditions can everyone maximize their own advantages. In terms of using his brain. The late Tang Dynasty never saved any brain power. During the day. He walked to hunt exotic animals. And at night, he slept in a hunter's sleeping bag produced by the Alliance. It is a sleeping bag specially designed for people who hunt exotic animals. At night, the sleeping bag will emit the unpleasant smell of exotic animals and is extremely hard. So sleeping in a hunter's sleeping bag at night is very safe. The premise is that you don't encounter anyone above the level of junior beasts. Because full-time hunters may not return to the base every day. Sleeping bags have become a necessity. Tang Emo also bought one for himself when he left the watching base. It cost her a 50-pound bag of rice, which really made her feel distressed. A primary crystal core will appear from the three primary alien beasts. Before he knew it, Tang Emo had accumulated more than a dozen crystal nuclei of different colors. Just as she was about to continue looking for prey, she suddenly saw a familiar figure behind an ancient tree. Arab? Ah Lian was fighting a brown bear at this time. As a junior alien beast, the brown bear's combat power was obviously stronger than other junior alien beasts. At this time, Alien had the upper hand. But the blood on his clothes undoubtedly showed that he had not taken advantage of the bear. Tang Emo held his breath and waited quietly for the battle to end. At the moment when the brown bear fell and Alien dug out the crystal core, Tang Emo flashed in front of Alien. Yes! Boom! Alien only had time to say the first word before he fell into a pool of blood. Tang Emo wiped the dust off the muzzle of the gun with a handkerchief and put the gun back into the space. He walked to Alien's body, picked up his backpack and the crystal core in his hand before he could put it away, and threw them into his own space. Although there are no restrictions on the use of current guns, ordinary people have no channels to purchase them. Only official personnel in the base can be equipped with guns, 
and they cannot kill people at will. So Tang Emo was very careful in the base, and would not take out this treasure unless there was a real emergency. But now in the jungle of natural selection, this baby can come out and show off. She hates the plots in TV dramas where the good guy delays killing the bad guy and waits for him to finish his last words and look for a chance to make a comeback. In the end of Tang Dynasty, there was nothing to talk nonsense about. No damn person should live a second longer. For the strong, the current apocalypse does not seem to be the apocalypse. The loss of order has given them freedom. Tang Emo suddenly felt like this. Then she remembered that there seemed to be a very famous village near T-City where she was, which was known as a paradise and still maintained the original order before the end of the world. It was a place that would give people a lot of surprises. But it was a pity that it was submerged by a wave of alien beasts not long after it existed. After thinking about it, Tang Emo decided to go to that interesting place and take a look. Chapter 56 Taoyuan Village Taoyuan Village is a rural area near T City. Most of the young people there have gone to T City or nearby cities to make a living, leaving only some older women or women with children still living there. He lives a self sufficient pastoral life every month with the money his family members bring in from outside and the vegetables and poultry he grows in his own yard. Taoyuan Village was not originally called this name, but since the advent of the famine era, People were so looking forward to a better life that they deceived themselves and changed the name of the village. The geographical location of Taoyuan Village is marked on the map on the ID watch. Obviously someone has been there long ago. However, it is not a base under the jurisdiction of the Alliance. There is no exchange or mission center. And there is no news of any heavenly materials or earthly treasures. Some were just a group of old, weak, sick and disabled ordinary people. So no one stayed there for too long. But one thing happened at the end of Tang Dynasty. I don't know if it was a coincidence. Later, there were several mentally gifted boys and girls on the ranking list who came from Taoyuan Village. Many people are wondering whether the location of Taoyuan Village at that time was too spiritual to raise such a child. It's a pity that Taoyuan Village at that time had been destroyed by alien beasts. When people went to the ruins later, there was only a barren forest of trees and jungles. No different from the other places. Now that Taoyuan is still there, Tang Emo, who attaches great importance to spiritual attributes, has no reason not to check it out. Following the map straight through the forest and grassland, Tang Emo was somewhat grateful to the current topography, which made it possible to complete the place that originally required a long circuit in less than a day's journey. Of course, this is also inseparable from her high enough attribute values and physical fitness. There are still very few intermediate level beasts appearing now, and I don't know where they are hibernating to recharge their batteries. At the end of the Tang Dynasty, as long as you were a little careful to avoid the hordes of strange beasts, the journey was pretty smooth. The current terrain makes it almost difficult to drive. And cars with a slightly lower chassis can't drive 200 meters. So Tang Mo has given up the idea of finding a car to travel. This kind of speeding can not only find lone alien beasts to collect crystal nuclei to exercise one's combat ability, but also improve one's agility during the speeding. And constantly use one's own mental power to strengthen one's feet. The scenery on the roadside is similar, with towering trees, dense or sparse jungles, and occasionally breaking into a small forest inadvertently. The closer you get to the edge of the city and closer to the foot of the mountain, the taller and denser the trees in the forest become, and the weirder the plants look. It seems that nature has naturally separated this place into a different look. This place is far away from the nearest base, generally speaking, except for special missions. People will not travel so far to hunt exotic beasts. At the end of Tang Dynasty, almost no one was seen along the way. Just when she was feeling a little bored, a tall and sturdy figure in front of her attracted her attention. That was a man who was half a head taller than Tang Emo. Tang Emo was 1.7 meters tall. And the man was at least 1.9 meters tall. Coupled with his burly figure, it is quite scary at a glance. At this time, the big man was wielding an axe and cutting down a tree as thick as the waste of the late Tang Dynasty. After thinking for a while, Tang Emo decided to say H, low first. Hey, brother, where are you cutting down the trees? Tang Emo put on the kindest smile, which looked very simple and sincere on her swarthy face. Ah, he he, seeing someone coming to greet him. The big man stopped waving, holding an axe in one hand and scratching his head with the other. He smiled more sincerely and plainly than Tang Emo which made Tang Emo a little embarrassed. I lost. It seems that my skills are still not up to par. Far behind others. Can I ask you if Taoyuan village is nearby? 
The map showed that Taoyuan village was nearby. But after wandering around for several times, Tang Emo still couldn't find the entrance. Hearing the words Taoyuan village, there was an obvious reaction on the big man's face. I'm from Taoyuan. Do you want to go? I'll take you there. Undisguised excitement hung on the big man's face. That's not good. You are too polite. Don't delay your cutting down the tree. Why don't you point me in the direction and I'll go by myself? After what happened at the alien and Huacheng bases, Tang Emo obviously couldn't rest assured about this big man whose strength was obviously much higher than his own. When things go wrong, there must be monsters. In this apocalyptic world, such a passionate person is either a fool or has evil intentions. After listening to Tang Mo's words, the big man didn't say anything, but raised the axe again. In just one stroke, the tree that had been cut down in half fell down. He put the axe on his waist and bent down to hold the tree on his shoulder. The big man turned back and smiled shyly at Tang Emo. Let's go! Dot! This brother hasn't exerted his strength just now. He's just playing around. The end of Tang Dynasty was speechless. I couldn't find any words to evade. And I really couldn't find the entrance to Taoyuan Village by myself. I can only follow the big man carrying the tree. And the dead horse becomes the living horse doctor. While walking along the way, Tang Emo and the strong men around him learned about the situation in Taoyuan Village. After saying a few words, Tang Emo felt that the man next to him might not really be plotting against him. But the first situation, how to say, it's not a good idea to be stupid. But he doesn't look very smart anyway. Why did you come to chop down the tree? Uncle the village chief said that the village should be fenced off so it would be safe. The big man chuckled. Then there was no effort in the beginning? Why did you cut down the tree like this? Uncle the village chief said that I was too strong and couldn't control it well. When I chopped down a tree, I had to chop it down ten times. This time, I only had six strokes. The big man looked to be older than Tang Emo, but his face looked like a child at a loss after making a mistake. And his two small eyes were hanging down in grievance like a puppy. Tang Emo looked a little guilty and quickly moved to the next question. Don't you find this tree everywhere? Why do you come so far to chop it down? How troublesome is it to carry it back? Before he knew it, Tang Emo had been walking with the big man for more than 10 minutes. The big man carrying the big tree didn't seem to feel tired at all. The purpose of cutting down trees is to surround the village. If they are cut down near the village, it will be even more unsafe if they are bare. The big man looked at Tang Emo as if he were a fool, with a little sympathy in his eyes. Everyone says he is a bit stupid. But that's not true. This little girl is even stupider than me at such a young age. So pitiful. Dot! Tang Mo's step staggered. She must have not eaten enough at noon. And now her brain has insufficient blood supply. Otherwise, how could she ask such a stupid question? After going around for an unknown number of times and passing through an unusually dense forest, Tang Mo finally saw a village surrounded by waist-thick branches. The village does not occupy a large area. But even so, countless trees are used. It can be seen that the people in the village are serious about ensuring their own lives. The gate of the village is two large strong iron gates. Inside the gate, there are two men who have been observing the situation outside through the holes in the door. When they saw the big man coming back carrying the tree, they hurriedly opened the door. Tai Jin is back. The people inside greeted him enthusiastically. Both men were surprisingly young, and one of them had a rugged handsomeness. He looked like he had studied in college, and did not look like someone who would stay in the countryside and live an ordinary life. Who is this? The two of them were obviously a little surprised when they saw a girl with short hair following Tai Jin. There are very few outsiders coming to Taoyuan village. They are so simple-minded. Don't let them be deceived by outsiders and cause trouble. So that people can find their homes. Looking at Tang Emo, who looked quite young and tall, the handsome man looked particularly bad. He grabbed the iron root of the tree that had just been put down and pulled him behind him. Girl, what are you doing in Taoyuan village? Chapter 57 Spiritual Power Heaven Brother Xiaodong, she is not a bad person. I met her when I was cutting down trees. She said she wanted to come to Taoyuan village and couldn't find her way. So I brought her back. Tegan hurriedly explained to the young man standing in front of him. Tai Jin, don't say anything. You see, everyone is a good person. Seeing Tai Jin's explanation, the man named Xiaodong became even more angry. This woman didn't know what kind of stupefying drug she had given Tai Jin but she immediately started talking for her. Hello, my name is Tang Emo. I heard others talking about this place, Taoyuan Village, and I really yearn for this kind of life. 
So I came here because of its reputation. Tang Emil adjusted his expression and adopted the most sincere tone. There are many lessons learned from Tai General. It has to be said that with Tai Jin as a perfect benchmark, Tang Mo's sincerity and harmlessness are even more perfect. It's like a little fox putting away its tail. Why don't you go to the base? Xin Xiaodong was still suspicious. The base not only had good welfare benefits, but also had more opportunities and people. They had nothing here, and no one else was willing to stay for more than a day. How could they come here in such a hurry? To tell you the truth, I came from the watching base in T City. My attributes are too low. I am helpless. And I can't live there. Tang Emo lowered his head as he spoke, looking aggrieved as he hesitated to speak. In place, she praised herself silently in her heart. There are still too few intrigues in rural areas. Seeing a girl like this, even the most dissatisfied Shin Shaodong softened his tone. Then you, come in first. But let me tell you, the village is small, and the food and accommodation are limited. If you want to live here, you have to pay. Okay, I have some food left. I wonder how much is enough. I may have to live here for a while. Tang Emo felt that Shin Shaodong's request was very reasonable. If everyone wants to come and live for free and receive shelter, then this small Taoyuan village really cannot accommodate so many people. I don't know the specifics. I have to go back and ask my dad. Shin Shaodong hesitated and said that he had never encountered a situation where outsiders wanted to live in the village permanently. Brother Shaodong's father is our village chief. Don't be afraid that the village chief's uncle is a very nice person. He will definitely not charge you too much food. Afraid that Tang Emo would be worried. Tai Jin on one side walked around quietly and said, Come here. Shin Shaodong glared at Tai Jin fiercely and pulled him back. Tegan is my soon-to-be brother-in-law. If you don't understand anything in the future, just come to me. Tegan, you have to be careful when talking to women. I'll tell Shaodong to tell her to ignore you in the future. Shin Shaodong was afraid that Tang Emo would fall in love with this big man. So he hurriedly gave two instructions. The worry about Shin Shaodong at the end of the Tang Dynasty was a bit inexplicable. Logically speaking, it was already rare to find a wife for this iron root. So why did he still worry about being snatched away? No, don't tell Xiao Ming. Please. Tai Jin's eyes dropped from down to the shape of a puppy, full of worry and pleading. He didn't say a word anymore, stood far away from Tang Emo, and just walked with his head down. Tang Emo found this scene very interesting. It seemed that Tai Jin liked his fiance very much, and he didn't know what kind of girl she was. After entering Taoyuan Village and taking his first breath of fresh air, Tang Mo's expression changed instantly. However, due to the people around her, she tried to control her emotions and temporarily suppressed them. The village chief's family lives in one of the few brick houses in the center of the village. It is really not easy for brick houses to be preserved in such good condition in today's landscape. There are various small houses made of wood scattered nearby. Although they look a bit crude, they are much better than the tents he saw at the Huacheng base in the late Tang dynasty. The weeds on the ground in the village have been cleared very clean. And some new plants that can be picked and eaten have been transplanted in fixed positions. They look very neat and carefully taken care of. The seeds of the heyday can no longer adapt to today's land. But these new post-apocalyptic plants are multiplying and growing vigorously. And many of them can also be eaten by humans. What surprised the late Tang dynasty the most was that there were actually some poultry such as pigs cows, chickens, ducks, and geese in the village. This shows that during the most difficult period before the end of the world, people here also kept the young of poultry and did not eat them until they became extinct. This sounds simple, but it was not an easy thing in that period when there was no grass growing and people were almost starving to death. This was obviously a collective decision, which made Tang Emo even more curious about the head of Taoyuan village. Dad, there is a stranger in the village. Pushing open the fence of his yard, Shin Xiaodong shouted in the direction of the house, and then brought Tai Jin and Tang Emo into the main room of his house. After Tang Emo sat down, the village chief Shin Qing walked out of the back room, wearing a robe. He looks like a figure from ancient times, but now it fits well in this blue brick, Luz and Wood House. Hello, girl. I am Shin Qing, the head of Taoyuan Village. Are you visiting Taoyuan Village this time? Shin Qing's appearance is very similar to that of Shin Xiaodong. But the gentleness and wisdom settled in his eyebrows are something that young Shin Xiaodong does not have. Tang Emo, who is extremely mentally strong, could feel Shin Qing's secret observation of him. But this observation was not offensive, but rather refreshing. Tang Emo repeated what he had just said. But this time, 
he was not so full of emotions. In front of the old fox, it doesn't make much sense to hide the little fox's tail. There are many newly built vacant houses in Taoyuan village, so there is no problem for long-term stay. After hearing what Tang Emo said, Shen Qin responded with a smile, without any reluctance on his face. I still have some food here. Just use it to pay for my troubles these days. Please take care of me. Tang Emo took out a package from his bag, put it on the table, and pushed it in front of Shen Qin. Miss Tang, you don't have to be so polite, but since you are interested, I will accept it. I will ask Xiaodong to deliver your daily meals from now on. Shen Qin politely thanked him, but did not refuse. If he didn't take any money, everyone would take it, which was not in line with the rules of Taoyuan village. In exchange for this, he promised to cover the meals for living in the village in the late Tang dynasty. The package was sealed. Shen Xiaodong stepped forward and opened the package in front of everyone. If the money is counted in person, there will be disputes and trouble in the future. These are... Shin Xiaodong's eyes were full of surprise when he opened the package and saw the contents inside. Inside the package were five packs of beef jerky, five packs of compressed biscuits, some bulk candies, and two bottles of mineral water. This was left before the Qinling Mountains in the late Tang Dynasty. There were many more packages like this in the late Tang Dynasty. This is too much. Take some back. Shin Xiaodong did not touch the things inside, but said to Tang Mo. The value of these things now is even if they have not seen it outside. They all know how valuable it is. It is not easy for a girl to live in the late Tang Dynasty. If they only live for a few days, there are really too many of them. And they are embarrassed to accept them. I'm here without permission. I'm really disturbing you. If you don't accept these things, then I'll be really embarrassed to live here any longer. From the moment she stepped into the gate of Taoyuan village at the end of Tang Dynasty, the spiritual power in her body was restless as if there was some huge attraction guiding them to swim over and over again in her body. Even without Tang Mo's active training, those white light attribute points started their own carnival in the meridians. The passive increase in mental attribute values caused great ecstasy in Tang Mo's heart. I am also glad that Tao Yuan village really came to the right place. This place is simply a paradise for spiritual power. She has not yet had time to see how much her spiritual power has increased. Nor has she had time to observe the changes in her mental attribute values. But the strangeness inside her body made her clearly know that if she could live here for a period of time and give her some guidance, her mental power would grow at a terrifying rate. As long as Taoyuan Village continues to exist, she wishes she could live here forever. So these things are nothing. Even if you take them out 10 times or 20 times, you will not feel any pain at all if you are like the late Tang Dynasty. This is simply the biggest bargain in the world. Chapter 58 MVP is the Iron Foundation. There's sugar! Tai Jin on the side saw the candies in the package, got up and rushed over, reached in with his big hand, grabbed a handful, and ran towards the door. This action was so swift that Tang Mo was stunned for a moment. However, the village chief Shen Qing and Shen Xiaodong did not feel dissatisfied. Instead, they looked at Tai Jin's back with kindness. Even if you are not very smart, it is not appropriate to take away so much candy at this time. You know that high-calorie sugar is a luxury product nowadays. So the attitude of the village chief and his son is really strange. Seeing Tang Mo's surprised look, Shen Qing explained, Don't be surprised. I watched Tai Jin grow up. Although he is not particularly smart, he is very kind. He is the person who has contributed the most in Taoyuan village. Even if the entire package is given to him, he should be given. Su Xur knew that Tang Mo would stay there for a long time. In order to facilitate her better integration into the life of Taoyuan village, Shen Xiaodong told Tang Mo about Tegan in general. It turns out that Tegan was not a native of Taoyuan village, but was abandoned to Taoyuan village when he was more than one year old. At first, everyone didn't understand why someone would abandon a good boy. But as time went on, everyone gradually saw Tai Jin's slow language skills and understood the reason. At that time, the village chief Shen Qing went to the hospital for a checkup with Tegan in his arms. The result was that he was born with mental retardation which was a relatively mild form, but could not be cured. Later, Tegan was left at the village chief's house. Everyone in the village knew about Tegan, and they all cared about the child as their godson. It can be said that Tegan also grew up eating the food of the village. Although his intelligence is somewhat slow, Tai Jin is extremely kind and simple, and has amazing strength. Ever since he was sensible, he has been helping every household in the village with work. As long as he is asked, he is willing to do anything. Later. 
when the famine came, every household in the countryside had a lot of grain in stock, relying on the village chief's unified leadership and distribution. Everyone got through the most difficult days, except for a few newborn children who really don't have enough milk to feed them without milk powder, and a few elderly people who are sick and weak. Everyone else has managed to survive until now. There are very few strong laborers in the village, and Tai Jen's strength attribute value has skyrocketed unprecedentedly. Therefore, most of the fence construction and house construction in the village were built little by little by Tai Jen day by day. There were also strange beasts that suddenly attacked before the fence was built. But Tai Jen led a few men to eliminate them. It can be said that Tai Jin is the protector of the entire village. Without Tai Jin, there would be no peace in Taoyuan village today. Thinking of the tall tree trunks that surrounded the entire village that he had seen before. It was almost unimaginable in the late Tang dynasty that such a large project could be completed mostly by himself. He also fought off strange beasts several times and protected the people of the entire village. Tang Emo couldn't help but smack his tongue. There was nothing wrong with this Tegan being the MVP of Taoyuan village. If this is the case, let alone a few pieces of candy, even if everything in the village is given to him, Tai Jing can still afford it. With such a son-in-law, the village chief is satisfied. Tang Emo said politely. She now somewhat understood why Shen Xiaodong looked at Tai Jin so closely for his sister. Such a thigh. If he really ran away with someone else, he wouldn't cry to death. My daughter and Tai Jin are planning to get married as children. I'm a little embarrassed to say that. My daughter is more cheerful and precocious. When she was eight years old, she told her family that she would not marry anyone other than Tai Jin. As if reading Tang Mo's thoughts, Shen Qing said with a smile. Although he was wearing a robe, he did not have the conservative and pedantic thinking of the ancients. Instead, he found his daughter's childhood jokes very interesting. Dad, where did Tai Jin get the candy? Speaking of Chow Chow and Chow Chow's arrival, a clear female voice came from far away. Xin Xiaoang held a handful of candies in one hand and an iron root that was a head and a half taller than her with the other hand, and strode into the house. Tang Emo looked at the girl who walked in and praised her heart. The girl perfectly inherited all the advantages of her father. Although she is not tall, she is very slender. Her big eyes are embedded in her fleshy little face, which makes people feel a sense of protectiveness. But the voice and movements are very crisp and neat. Without any squeamishness of a little girl, Xin Xiaotong's dress is completely different from that of Xin Qing. She is wearing a short jacket, tight pants and small leather boots, which is very Western style. Let me introduce to you. This is my daughter Xin Xiaotong. Shouting, this is the guest who will stay here temporarily. Tang Emo, she brought all these things. Shen Qing introduced. So I'm a guest. Hello, I'm Shen Shouting. Shen Shouting put the candy in his left hand on the table, stretched out his hand, and shook Tang Mo's hand generously. That candy is for you. You eat it. Seeing Shouting put the candy he gave back on the table, Tegan expressed that he was a little unhappy. What are you eating? Let me ask you. Did you go out to work again today? Didn't I let you rest for two days? What's going on? Shin Xiaotong's eyes immediately shot toward Tai Jin. But she did not let go of his hand. You've been taking a nap for too long. I'm not interested. So I just went out for a walk. Tai Jin didn't dare to look at her and spoke silently. Shouting. Please be gentle and don't bully Tai Jin all the time. This is Tai General if it were another man. Who would dare to marry you if you look like a tigress. Don't let Tai Jin scare you away. Shen Xiaodong knew his sister's temper so well that he always spoke to Tai Jin. He dares not to marry me. Shen Xiaodong pulled Tai Jin's entire arm into his arms and raised his voice to a higher pitch. That's right. I won't run away. I still have to marry Xiaodong. Tai Jin patted Shen Xiaodong's hand and gave her a reassuring look. Seeing the enemy's unanimous appearance, Shen Xiaodong silently left the group chat. He is redundant. Okay. Stop making trouble. Xiaodong. Take Tangimo and go arrange the place where you want to live. It's getting dark. And you won't be able to see clearly if it gets later. The village chief told everyone to go do some business quickly. He was going out to see his chickens. So he asked everyone to leave quickly and stop being in the way. Shin Xiaodong took Tangimo out of the village chief's house. As he walked, he greeted the villagers he met on the road and introduced Tangimo around him. Everyone's eyes were friendly. After walking about 500 meters... They arrived at a small house built with wooden planks. Shin Xiaodong said that this was where he would live next in the late Tang dynasty. There are locks on the door inside and outside the house. 
and the key is on the table in the house. Such a simple house is not particularly good at keeping warm. There are some quilts on the bed. If they are not enough, you can come back to me. Shin Shaodong explained carefully. I'll bring you a meal every day at noon. If you go out, just send me a message and I won't come. If you need anything, just ask me. Or ask at John next door. And everyone will tell you. After expressing his gratitude, Tang and Mo sent Shin Shaodong away. And then couldn't wait to open the door and enter the house where he might live for a long time. After delaying for so long, she had too many things she wanted to do quickly. Chapter 59 Liquidating the Spoils Entering the room, Tangemo almost choked on the dust inside. This house may have been unoccupied since it was built. It was built for a lonely old man. But later the old man passed away, and no one lived in it. There is a wooden bed with a set of bedding on it. A wooden table. A wooden chair. And a small window. But nothing else. Such a large amount of dust was really unbearable. Tangemo took out the cleaning tools and a bucket of water from the watching base and started the general cleaning. The filtered water at the Huachung base is not drinkable, but it is still okay for bathing and living. Tang Emo, who lived a very careful life, was naturally reluctant to always use his own mineral water to bathe. So he took several large buckets of tap water and stored them in his own space. After the room was cleaned up, Tang Emo neatly folded the bedding on the bed and put it aside, and then put on his own bedding. Since this condition exists, you can still create a comfortable environment for yourself. After everything was tidied up, Tang Emo sat on the chair and began to follow the spiritual power in his body. The mental energy that was originally running and rushing around gradually became docile under Tang Mo's comfort. Under Tang Mo's conscious guidance, it was running at high speed in a direction without stopping for a moment. At the end of the Tang Dynasty, it was conservatively estimated that the speed of the spiritual light at this time was at least three times that of usual. And whether it's the aura in the air or something else, there are always some tiny white light spots floating towards Tang Mo's eyebrows, which makes the spiritual power in his body continue to grow. Tang Mo checked the attribute values of his ID watch, and his face was happy again. In just a moment, her mental attributes increased by two points, and it is completely passive operation. It seems that those mental geniuses who came from Taoyuan Village are definitely not a coincidence. The harvest that can be brought to them here is definitely huge, suppressing the joy in his heart. Tangemo circulated his mental power and let it wander continuously while sorting out the trophies he had harvested along the way. The crystal core she exchanged for at the Huachung base has been absorbed by herself. The only thing left is the venom dagger and armor. She wears the armor at all times. Outside her mental half sleeves and inside her coat. And that venom dagger is more useful than expected. Especially when it comes to touching up the dying beast after a battle. It is also more convenient and faster to use it to cut the beast to find the crystal core. Along the way, she had hunted dozens of elementary alien beasts in the late Tang Dynasty. She had been quite lucky. Before encountering hordes of alien beasts, she had accumulated more than a dozen crystal nuclei of different colors. Pellets. There was also the backpack he got from Alien. Only then did Tang Emo have time to take it out and take a closer look at what was inside. A few packs of biscuits and a bottle of water. The first thing Tang Emo took out from Ah Lian's backpack was some food. This is. Later, Tang Emo took out a small bag from his backpack. Open the bag and pour the contents out. It is full of crystal nuclei. More than the small pile collected by Tang Emo himself. This Ah Lian is really rich. Tang Emo was shocked by the abundance of primary crystal cores. But it was okay to think about it. Ah Lian was working as a bus conductor and a pimp. And he continued to work continuously. So he should have some savings to a certain extent, in order to earn crystal cores. Ah Lian is quite desperate, but it's all cheaper now. Just in the late Tang Dynasty, without any hesitation, Tang Emo gathered all the crystal nuclei together, and then began to absorb them one by one, no matter what color they were. She doesn't care whether these crystal nuclei can be exchanged for currency. She only cares about how her comprehensive attribute value can be improved faster and faster. If she remembered correctly, the comprehensive attribute value ranking list would be out soon. She didn't want to be too far behind the people on the list. After all the crystal nuclei were absorbed, Tang Emo sat on the chair and began to exercise his mental power, making it run at a faster speed. The speed of cultivating spiritual power in Taoyuan Village was twice the result with half the effort. She couldn't bear to waste a single minute of the time she spent here. And this practice lasted just one night. I don't know if the effect of practicing at night is better, 
But Tang Emo didn't stop all night. He didn't rest until dawn. Fell on the bed and fell asleep. When Tang Emo opened his eyes again, it was already 11 o'clock at noon. She didn't lack anything. But she had to stay in Taoyuan village for a while. And she couldn't just stay bored in her small house. After cleaning himself up, Tang Emo opened the door to his room. Perhaps because the surrounding forests are denser. The air in Taoyuan village is better than in other places. Tang Emo, who was fully asleep, took a few deep breaths of air, stretched out towards the sun, and knocked on the door of his neighbor's house. Come! Come! Are you? It was said to be a courtyard gate, but it was just a small fence made of wood. Tang Emo saw a woman in her early forties walking out of the house. Hello! Eldest sister, I just came to Taoyuan village for a temporary stay. My name is Tang Emo. Tang Emo showed his sweetest smile. Hey, come in and sit down. The woman welcomed Tang Emo in with the enthusiasm typical of rural women, and then found a small bench in the yard for her to sit down. The little girl has such a sweet mouth. Don't call me sister. You are young. I am already a grandma. Call me Aunt Chin. Aunt Chin chatted enthusiastically with Tang Emo about her family affairs. You should be about the same age as my daughter-in-law. She has just given birth and is confinement in the house for fear of the wind coming out. Otherwise, you two should have something in common. It can be seen that the relationship between Aunt Chen and her daughter-in-law should be very good. After congratulating Aunt Chen a few words and following Aunt Chen's words to chat about her lovely newborn grandson, Tang Dynasty finally got down to business. Aunt Chen, how do we use water in our village now? This is also the theme of Tang Mo's visit this time although there is a lot of water in her space. She feels distressed that she uses the space for domestic water. After searching for a long time in the house, I couldn't find any water pipes. So I went to my neighbor's house to ask how water was used in the village. For water, just go to the small house next to the village chief's house to pick it up. That's the only place with water pipes now. The water is filtered. The village chief said it is the same as the water in the past. Don't worry. Just drink. Will it not be harmful to human body? Tang Emo had doubts in her mind. She was not surprised that the village could get a set of filtration equipment. But filtering equipment that would not be harmful to people's health was not even available at Alliance Center as base. How could there be one in Taoyuan village? What about food? You see these plants in the ground. But the appearance of the plants is different from before. Our life now is no different from before. And Chen's words were full of ease. And there was no trace of the exhausted panic of outsiders who were tortured by the apocalypse. Tang Emo just listened and didn't say anything. She vaguely felt that something was wrong with all this. Chapter 60 The Voice of the Alien Beasts Don't you ever worry about alien beasts coming? Tang Emo thought for a while and asked tentatively. Exotic beasts. Do you mean those strange-looking animals? They are no different from the cats and dogs of the past. When Aunt Lin mentioned strange beasts, there was no trace of fear of them at all. If Tang Mo's mental power wasn't sensitive enough to sense that Aunt Lin's attribute values were not too high, she would have thought that she was some kind of hidden master. That. Tang Emo. The meal is here. A somewhat urgent voice suddenly came from outside the fence. And Shin Xiaodong was seen holding a bowl of something in his hand. Calling out to Tang Emo loudly. Then Aunt Lin. I'll leave first and I won't bother you again next time. Tang Emo said goodbye politely. Aunt Lin got up and walked to the door of the courtyard and chatted a few words about home affairs with Shin Xiaodong. It was obvious that the relationship between people in Taoyuan village was very harmonious and close. If you want to live here, don't tell the villagers here what's going on outside. Shin Xiaodong gave the bowl to Tang Emo and said seriously, They don't know anything? Tang Emo was surprised. She had been feeling that something was wrong just now. And it turned out to be right here. Aunt Lin's reaction was completely different from that of a person in the famine era. Instead, she was as optimistic as in the prosperous times. It turned out that she didn't understand that it was the end of the world. But it's impossible. There is no information on the ID watch now. Even if everyone doesn't go out, it won't be so blocked. The people staying in the village are all old people and children. After the watches were distributed, the village chief did not distribute them to everyone to activate them. We never received relief, and no one knew about it. Shin Xiaodong explained. What if people from outside come back? Tang Emo was a little confused. The base in the city is too far away from us. At least until now. No one has hiked through so many dangerous jungles just to meet the village and eat these vegetable buns. If you want to contact your family, it's the same as calling the village chief. Shin Xiaodong's face was full of self-mockery. Their Taoyuan village just had a nice name. 
but it was actually a place abandoned by their relatives. The elderly, children, those who were most protected in the prosperous times, are now the most troublesome burdens. Some people also called to care about his family's situation. But as soon as he was asked to take his family to the base, he gave up immediately. Maybe it's because we don't have the ability. When we have too much time to take care of ourselves, it's difficult for everyone. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he could understand a little of those people's thoughts. Hasn't the village chief thought about gathering the people in the village and taking them to the base? Or telling them the truth? They also have the right to know the truth. These people have little ability to survive. Let's not talk about whether they can reach the base. Even if they get there, we have already inquired. The base will soon implement a food exchange policy. These old people and children can't do anything. They can survive on their own now. But they will all die when they get to the base. Compared to death, vegetable buns are quite delicious. Shin Shaodong understands his father's helplessness. As a village chief, he feels that there is no father who is so responsible. His father Shin Qing is his pride. As for the truth, you will understand it when you stay here for a long time. The last sentence, Shin Shaodong said had a special meaning. Tang Mo didn't quite understand. But he also knew that this was not the time to ask further questions and had to give up. What Shin Shaodong brought to the end of the Tang Dynasty were four vegetable buns. They were called vegetable buns, but they were just stuffings made from the fruits of several plants wrapped in leaves of certain plants. It doesn't taste good, but it's satisfying, and it can be swallowed even with some salt. Tang Mo didn't dislike it and swallowed all four vegetable buns seriously. After finishing his lunch, Tang Mo began to sit on the chair and train his mental power again. This time, he'd lost track of time again. For the next week, Tang Mo lived such a regular life. During the day, he found an open space in the village and ran to maintain his physical fitness, practiced his sword skills, and then went to fetch water and go home. At night, she concentrated on training her mental strength. 24 hours a day, she slept almost only 5 or 6 hours and spent the rest of her time training. Never relax for a moment. This is what Tang Mo asked of himself. In just one week, under Tang Mo's intentional training, her mental power improved extremely quickly and the white light spots in her brain grew rapidly at a very abnormal speed. Now Tang Dynasty's mental attributes can be said to be the best at the genius level. It is no exaggeration to say that he is one of the best. Other comprehensive attribute values are also steadily improving with the feeding of those crystal nuclei and his own continuous training. During the days when Tang Dynasty lived in Taoyuan Village, in addition to eating vegetable dumplings, he also ate the snake meat left in his own space. It was a great tonic for his body, and his overall condition improved faster. One night more than a week later, Tang Mo was struggling with his white light spots on his chair as usual. As the number of light points increases, her ability to apply mental power gradually increases, and her application methods gradually increase. Tang Mo gradually tried to spread her mental power outwards. Being able to extend her mental power to explore the external situation was what she had always wanted to do. But her previous mental power was just insufficient. At the beginning, those light spots were a little naughty. But after adjustments at the end of Tang Dynasty, they gradually converged into a thin silver thread that penetrated through the wall made of wooden boards. This silver thread was silver in Tang Mo's eyes, but invisible to outsiders. Except for people with higher mental power who can sense the existence of outsiders' mental power as long as their mental power is lower than that of Tang Dynasty. They will not feel anything about this silver thread. Tang Mo manipulated the silver wire to pass through the house little by little, arrived at another house, and then broke through the wall and went in. The scene inside the house suddenly appeared before Tang Mo's eyes. Aunt Lin was sitting by the bed with a crying child in her arms, and sitting on the bed was a young woman. It's a bit inappropriate to say she is a woman, because she looks younger than the late Tang Dynasty. Just a young girl. People in rural areas get married relatively early. So this should be the daughter-in-law who just gave birth to a child that Aunt Lin mentioned. However, both the girl and the child looked very bad. In this era of famine, it was not easy to have enough milk for one month. Tang Mo sighed and withdrew his mental power without looking too much. And then continued to stretch the silver thread. At this time, Tang Mo just wanted to see how far his mental power could stretch so he did not spread his mental power over a large area, but just walked farther away in the form of silver threads. Taoyuan village has a total of about 20 households, and the area is not very large. Soon Yinzi left the village wall and swam towards the unknown of the forest. 
at the end of Tang Dynasty. When he felt a little reluctant, and almost couldn't hold on anymore, and was about to regain his energy, he suddenly felt a huge and deep sound. The sound was in the forest closest to the village, making Tang Amo feel familiar. Like the sound of a herd of alien beasts. Chapter 61 The Sleeping Black Wolf If the alien beasts are the messengers of H.L., then the alien beasts bring H.L. to you. The late Tang Dynasty, who struggled in the last life, knew very well the significance of the alien beasts. Let's put it this way. 99% of the demise of a base was due to the alien beasts. If discovered in time, the people in the base can escape in the shape of birds and beasts. But if it is not discovered in time, the entire army will be wiped out from time to time. At the end of the Tang Dynasty, he experienced countless escapes due to herds of alien beasts. And also saw numerous tragic scenes in the Alliance daily, where corpses littered the fields and bases of all sizes. His mental energy was exhausted, and he couldn't see the specific situation over there. Tang Emo quickly withdrew his mental energy, and sat on the chair to relax for a while with lingering fear. After sitting there and thinking for a long time, Tang Emo decided that she was going to check it out. A herd of alien beasts is not a trivial matter. If a herd of alien beasts is really attacking, then of course she must run as fast as possible. But what if not? Taoyuan Village is a paradise for spiritual power. The resources she gets here are better than those provided by the children of the largest family in the S base. She really can't bear to leave. So she had to confirm before making a decision with peace of mind. Although it was dark night, Tang Emo, who was able to strengthen his strength, was not affected at all and actually had some advantages. The gate at the entrance of the village has been locked. The man looking at the door now is the man who was with Shin Shaodong last time. He has already dozed off on the chair. Tang Emo climbed out from the tree wall next to the door with a few steps. The two-meter high wall could not stop her now. Taoyuan village was very close to the forest, about three kilometers away, and Tang dynasty arrived there quickly. The bright moonlight combined with the cold wind made the late night forest particularly eerie. Tang Emo zipped his coat to the end and then quietly approached the forest. At the edge of the entrance to the forest, Tang Emo stopped, then spread out his spiritual power and penetrated into the deepest part of the forest. The picture conveyed by the mental power is like a freeze frame from a horror movie. In an instant, countless pairs of glowing eyes seemed to be staring at a very tempting prey. And that prey was Tang Emo. At that moment, Tang Mo's brain felt numb, as if countless needles were gently rubbing against his skin, and his hairs trembled instantly. This was the moment closest to death since her rebirth. Tang Emo subconsciously took a few steps back before regaining his footing. But his mental strength did not withdraw. No. If it were just a pack of wolves, they would not let Taoyuan village go and would have launched an attack long ago. Three kilometers is too close. Even junior beasts will definitely feel the smell of dense crowds, which is a fatal attraction to them. Tang Emo supported his somewhat limp body and continued to spread his mental energy. Probably behind an ancient tree, Tang Emo saw the reason why the wolves were not in a hurry to take action. It was an extremely huge black wolf. Three times the size of an ordinary wolf. It was lying there and resting with its eyes closed. The moment Tang Mo's mental tentacles touched Hei Lang. Hei Lang's originally closed eyes opened slightly. And deep dark green light seemed to pass through countless trees and grass and shoot straight towards Tang Emo. As if his body's energy was not enough. Hei Lang quickly closed his eyes and fell into silence again. Tang Emo, whose control of his mental power was still unstable, suddenly collapsed on the ground, and all his mental power returned to where they should be in an instant. It was an intermediate-level alien beast that had not yet awakened from its slumber. Without the identification of the ID watch at all, Tang Emo was sure that it was an intermediate-level alien beast, and it is a more powerful existence than the original Orochi. At that time, the Orochi was still in a state of confusion and confusion. But now the intermediate beast has accumulated strength through slumber. And when it wakes up, its strength will definitely reach a new level. An intermediate wolf. Plus countless junior wolves. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he had no intention of fighting at all. He only had one thought in his mind. Which was to go back and tell the village chief about this matter. Otherwise, everyone in Taoyuan village would die. All of them would die. The night was already deep at this time. But when Tang Emo knocked hard on the door of Shin's house, Shin Qing put on his clothes and welcomed Tang Emo in politely. However, Shin Xiaodong, who came to open the door, was full of complaints about Tang Emo and stared at him, looking at the unfazed face of the village chief. Tang Emo calmed down a lot 
and told Shen Qing everything about the wolves and the black wolf she had just seen. Shen Qing's face became serious little by little, and he listened carefully, not missing every word of Tang Mo's words. After Tang Mo finished speaking, there was a long silence. Miss Tang, I know about this. Thank you very much. For your safety, you should leave as soon as possible. Shen Qing's face quickly returned to normal, and he was not as calm as a normal person. That you, afraid that Shen Qing would not understand the dangers of the alien beasts. Tang Mo made it clear. The people in the village can't do anything anymore. It's better to live in their hometown. The village chief picked up the tea on the table and drank again. Shen Xiaodong on the side looked pale, but did not speak. Almost immediately, as smart as Tang Emo, he understood what the village chief meant. He has already made a decision. Making the decision on behalf of the more than 20 families in Taoyuan village. After all, Tang Emo is just an outsider. She only lives here temporarily, and has no reason or qualification to judge any choice of the people here. After coming out of the village chief's house, Tang Emo kept thinking whether the village chief was right to do this. She knew that this was the best choice for the people in the village. But the villagers of Taoyuan village were deprived of even the right to know the outside world. And their fate was decided on their behalf in a state of complete ignorance. Is this really fair? Really? Is it responsible for life? No matter how cruel the truth is, they still want to know it. At least before they die. But it didn't take long for Tang Emo to understand all this. It was then that she realized that the village chief was the most sober and understanding person in the entire Taoyuan village. I understand even more what Shen Xiaodong said that day in a meaningful way. Anyway, at the end of Tang Dynasty, he finally decided not to leave Taoyuan village. Not to mention that the black wolf didn't know when he would wake up. And the wolves would not attack for the time being. Even if the alien beasts riot. With her current strength, there is no chance of fighting. But she can definitely escape. When it comes to her ability to escape, she is serious. She really couldn't bear the strong spiritual power here. Even if she was licking blood on the tip of the knife, she would have to lick it a few more times to get enough. In the days after discovering the alien herd, she returned to her previous days of hard training. But she was even more vigilant, always paying attention to what was happening next to the village. The training is also more serious and hard. After all, the days here are counting down every day. On an ordinary day, Tang Emo happened to go out with Antley to fetch water. On the way back, I saw Tai Jin covered in blood, stumbling back with the support of Shen Xiaodong. That was the first time in the late Tang Dynasty that Tai Jin was injured, and his whole body was covered with traces of fighting with strange beasts. When passing by them, Tang Emo clearly noticed that Aunt Li's eyes subconsciously dodged, and she turned her head away slightly. It's not like treating a benefactor who has contributed the most to the village. Chapter 62 Sneak Attack If he hadn't heard Shen Xiaodong mention the relationship between Tai Jin and the villagers, Tang Emo would have thought that Aunt Lin had some grudge against Tai Jin. Tang Emo also noticed that not only Aunt Lin, but also everyone else he met on the road came forward to care about her, which was very contrary to the usual harmonious and friendly atmosphere in the village. Is Tai Jin okay? Tang Emo asked Shen Xiaodong. She came to Taoyuan village on the road brought by iron roots, and the house she lives in now was built with iron roots. She is grateful to this honest and big man. My daughter-in-law is still waiting for a drink of water. I'll leave first. Aunt Lin said goodbye hurriedly and turned back home. As if to avoid hearing the other party's answer, there was no surprise on Shen Xiaodong's face. As if everything was as expected. Those who were scratched by strange beasts. Now there are more and more strange beasts wandering in the forest. It is difficult for a person to support himself with just iron roots. Shen Xiaodong and another young man who stayed in the village would go out to help fight against the alien beasts. But they were very weak and often did not help. Later, they could only rely on Tai Jin. Is there any medicine? I also have some anti-inflammatory medicine. Thank you very much. Shen Xiaodong's eyes lit up. The medicine in the village has long been used up. And everyone has to hold on to their injuries. Especially the iron root that has been injured the most. His injury was really serious today. It would be best if he could get some medicine. After all, if Tai Jin can no longer fight, their Taoyuan village will be like a field without a scarecrow without even the last resistance. Okay, I'll find you at the village chief's house after I send the water back. Tang Emo carried the water and walked home while thinking about the reactions of Aunt Lin and other villagers just now. It's not like they didn't know the reason for Tai Jin's injury. This is very different from the docility of strange beasts and the peaceful life that Aunt Lin described to herself. 
like, pretend again. It's just that the object of deception is not others, but yourself. In fact, life in Taoyuan village is like a small space in H, L made of paper paintings, full of happiness and peace. Everyone knows this is false, but some people are willing to break through this layer of paper, break into H, L, bravely face the most real life, and make a big fuss for 300 rounds. There are also people who huddle carefully by the paper, close their eyes and cover their ears, and live by the scenery on the paper, for fear that it will break. Everyone is extremely sober, but some people choose to face sobriety, while some people choose to lose sobriety. No one is wrong. Everyone is choosing the way they want to survive. If cowardice can make people happier and keep people alive, then it is meaningful, more meaningful than anything else, and no one is qualified to criticize it. One of the great advantages of the late Tang Dynasty was empathy. The end of the world has suddenly arrived, and all life in the world is struggling. So as long as it doesn't hurt others, Tang Mo can understand any choice he makes. When they arrived at the village chief's house, Xin Shaoang was already helping Tai Jin, who had taken off his clothes, clean the wounds on his body. Looking at the deep and bloody scratches on Tai Jin's body, Tang Mo took a breath. Not only does Tai Jin have a high strength attribute value, but his life attribute value must also be frighteningly high. Otherwise a normal person with a wound like this would have fallen to the ground and been unable to stand up. But Tai Jin can still stagger home on his own. It's really not easy to be a heroic guardian. Seeing Tai Jin closing his eyes and saying nothing, even Tang Mo, who was not a native of Taoyuan village, was inexplicably moved. This is anti-inflammatory medicine and a bandage. After cleaning it, just apply the medicine and bandage it. It will help him recover faster. Tang Mo handed over the medicine. She had prepared a lot of these medicines. However, since her mental strength reached a certain level, her self-healing ability has made it almost impossible for her to use medicine. It can be said that she prepared these medicines for others. Thank you so much. Xin Shaoang took the medicine from Tang Mo in surprise. She was the one who felt most distressed when Tai Jin was injured. Alien beasts may come more frequently recently. So everyone should be careful. Tang Mo didn't know whether or how much the village chief had mentioned the group of alien beasts to her family. So she could only remind her tactfully. The situation outside the village is obviously not optimistic anymore. And there are not many days left to live peacefully in the village. With this sense of crisis, Tang Mo trained even harder. Seizing the last remaining time, at the end of the Tang Dynasty, the mental power was getting better and better. And the function of using it to detect the external environment was also relatively complete. On an ordinary night, at the end of Tang Dynasty, as usual, he spread his spiritual power to the outside of the fence of Taoyuan Village and checked the surrounding situation. Suddenly, the scene of two uninvited guests came to the late Tang Dynasty. These two uninvited guests were very familiar to Tang Mo. They were wolves in the forest. Is it coming tonight? Tang Mo was startled. But if there is a large-scale attack by a swarm of alien beasts, there shouldn't be just two. Tang Mo thought about it, and observe the movements of the two wolves. In the end, Tang Dynasty confirmed that these two minions were just scout wolves sent by the Wolf King to inquire about the situation. It seems that the Wolf King still hasn't woken up. But it should be soon. Tang Mo put on his clothes and opened the door. He went to the outskirts of the village and found a fence that he liked and climbed out. This position was very close to the two wolves. The wolf quickly noticed Tang Mo, then turned around and bared its fangs at Tang Mo with its whole body tense. The two junior beasts were just enough to test the results of my training during this period. This is also the reason why Tang Dynasty chose to be upright. This was Tang Mo's first one-on-two. She held the fang's hand tightly, waiting for the wolf's attack. After a stalemate for about 10 seconds, the wolf on the left moved and flew toward Tang Mo's neck at high speed. It opened its mouth wide, revealing its fangs. After Tang Mo's vision was enhanced, any offensive moves he saw during battle would have a slow-motion effect. He moved slightly to the right, took a step back, and quickly swung Pafeng's right hand toward the wolf's belly. This time it hit the wolf's body firmly, oozing out a lot of blood. The wolf rolled to the side with a howl, rolled to the side, but still stared at Tang Emo fiercely. Kill it while it's sick! Tang Emo rushed towards the injured wolf with Pafeng in hand, this time aiming at the wolf's neck. The injured wolf did not dodge, but rushed towards him. At this moment, the wolf on the other side also rushed over from the side of Tang Mo. The two wolves launched an attack at the same time with a tacit understanding. Tang Mo had been paying attention to the wolf over there and noticed its movements.
but the force of his sword did not change. Instead, he accelerated the attack speed and added another three points of force. The blade and flesh collided, and the wolf's body softened under the knife. Almost at the same time, Tang Mo's right leg performed a roundhouse kick, sending the wolf flying from the side to the side. It hurts. Tang Mo's leg hurt. Compared with the wolf, her strength was obviously weaker. This kick made her leg numb. Chapter 63, Eliminating Harm for the People After simply stamping his feet, Tang Mo rushed forward again with a knife. What surprised her was that the current low-level alien beasts were completely different from the previous animals. They actually had the ability to think. After knowing that the direct attack on the arteries of the late Tang Dynasty was unsuccessful, the wolf that was kicked aside changed its strategy. The kicked wolf didn't seem to be in any serious condition. He took a few steps back and then began to run faster, hoping to rely on his huge inertia to collide with the not weak human being in front of him. The wolf was much bigger than Tang Mo in both size and weight, even though he quickly discovered its intention. The speed was too fast. Tang Mo only had time to dodge half of his body, and the other shoulder was still caught by the other one. The wolf hit hard, seeing that the human being was knocked to the ground by him. The wolf did not stop but continued to rush forward, pounced on Tang Mo's body, and wanted to bite her. Either you die or I live. Both Tang Mo and the wolf knew this very well. Pafong had already dropped his hand and dropped it to the ground at this time. And it was too late to pick it up again. Almost instantly, Tang Mo pinched the wolf's chin with one hand, making it unable to bite its mouth and move forward to bite his own throat. With the other hand, Tang Mo took out his poison-quenching dagger from the space then used all his strength to send the dagger into the wolf's abdomen, and then kept twisting his wrist. The wolf's eyes were wide open, full of unwillingness. He opened his mouth vigorously and made a final struggle, but he could not break free from Tang Mo's imprisonment. The blood in the abdomen flowed more and more, and finally, he slowly closed his eyes, and his whole body collapsed on Tang Mo's body. Feeling that the wolf was out of breath, Tang Mo took the dagger out of its belly and stabbed it on its neck a few more times just to be safe. Tang Mo, who had used up his last bit of strength, lay down on the ground with relief, unable to make any further movements. After waiting for a while, Tang Mo found the strength to push the wolf off his body, and then took out the only crystal cores from the heads of the two wolves. She really didn't know what treasures were on the wolf, so she threw the two corpses into a large bucket in her own space based on the principle of not wasting it, just to fill the space left by the eaten snake meat. Tang Mo dragged her tired body back home with blood stains all over her body. At this time, she could no longer care about the discomfort on her body, but was reviewing the battle just now, one against two, before coming to Taoyuan village. It was a little difficult for her to deal with a lone alien beast. But now she could face two. She knew that she did not use her full strength in this battle, and that the head-on confrontation was to check her actual combat skills. If she could use some sneak attack trap skills, or directly take out the gun and push it against the wolf's chin at the critical moment. She could win this battle more easily. Tang Mo has been in Taoyuan village for half a month, and her strength has increased by at least one-third. This result makes her very satisfied. You must know that today's hunters usually go out in small teams to do missions and hunt exotic beasts near the base. Only those who are particularly strong can hunt alone, and their prey can only be those that are alone and not that powerful. Let's put it this way. Tang Mo's current strength can be said to be basically able to move sideways in a very small base. Of course, if it were at an alliance central base like us base, Tang Mo would be nothing more than a small shrimp. After returning to his room, the first thing Tang Mo did was to take off his clothes that were soaked in the wolf's blood. Then he took out a big bucket and took a good bath with the water he collected in the village during the day. Then he washed the clothes with bath water and hung them to dry at the door of the room. Then he lay comfortably on the bed and fell asleep. Wolves are very persistent creatures. If one reconnaissance fails, there will be a steady stream of reconnaissance attacks until the black wolf wakes up completely. Tai Jin is currently recovering from his injuries at home and can no longer go out to clean up the nearby strange beasts. The village chief and others had been worried that there were strange beasts wandering around the village when Tegan lost his ability to fight. So they locked the doors tightly every day and watched the situation outside with fear but what they were worried about didn't happen. And everything was peaceful. The people in the village felt calm. But at the end of Tang Dynasty, they were exhausted. She goes out every day during the day to hunt some strange beasts that wander out of the nearby forests. She cannot enter the forest. There are too many beasts in there, and she can't kill them all. At night, 
she would jump out of the fence and kill two wolves nearby. Once, three wolves came, but they were all wiped out by Tangemo. Tangemo deeply felt that the black wolf's intelligence might not be very smart. There were only about 20 wolves in the pack. If he killed people every day, he would soon become a polished commander. In the late Tang dynasty, there was no space to hold the wolf's body, and he was afraid that the smell of blood would attract something. So he had to bury it in the soil, fighting and digging holes every day. Tangemo felt that it was really difficult for him. Of course, she didn't do all this to surpass Tai Jin and become the new MVP. She didn't have such a high consciousness. It's just that fighting will make people progress faster. And trying to maintain the peace and tranquility of Taoyuan village will also allow her to live in this spiritual paradise for longer. Lips are dead and teeth are cold. She still understands this truth. However, he can be regarded as an unsung hero who eliminates harm for the people. Tang Emo silently gave himself a thumbs up in his heart. But even such peaceful days did not last long. On a sunny morning, the Wolf King woke up. That day happened to be the second day after Tai Jin fully recovered. He went to do work nearby with several elders, aunts and uncles. Of course, the content of their jobs is different. Tegan's job is to cut down trees and repair fences, while the uncle and aunt's job is to pick edible plants and fruits. Sushur's days have been very peaceful recently. The weather was so good that day. Taoyuan village did not lock its gate as usual, but opened it to embrace the beautiful scenery. When Tang Emma walked out of the door, he was still thinking. With the door open so wide, did Shin Xiaodong and the others relax their vigilance or give up completely? Tang Emma walked much further than Tai Jin and the others, always wandering around the entrances of various forests, catching the poor little ones who were alone. But today, Tang Emma felt that something was very wrong in this forest, and the calm air was full of restlessness. With a high mental power attribute, she has always been sensitive and believed in her sixth sense. So she used her mental power to explore into the forest to see if there was anything unusual. But this sight shocked Tang Emo. Chapter 64 Unexpected Surprise In the center of the forest, under the tallest ancient tree, the originally sleeping black wolf stood on a boulder, with a dozen wolves below staring intently at their leader. That posture was like giving a lecture. In Tang Mo's eyes, this was completely the strategic arrangement before the battle. At the end of Tang Dynasty, alarm bells suddenly sounded in his mind. No, the mid-level alien beast, the black wolf, has awakened. During this period of time, wolves kept wandering around Taoyuan village. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he knew that Taoyuan village was still in the black wolf's heart. In fact, groups of strange beasts do not attack easily. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he did not know why Taoyuan village, a small place with a population of more than 20 people, became the target of black wolves. Now that the black wolf has awakened, Looking at this posture, he will launch an attack soon. Based on the understanding of the habits of wolves in the late Tang Dynasty, if nothing unexpected happened, a large-scale attack would be tonight. Run. This was the first thought in Tang Mo's mind. She couldn't even defeat this black wolf by herself, let alone a pack of wolves. According to her understanding of the current situation in Taoyuan Village, only Tai Jin's combat power can still compete on the battlefield, while the others are even willing to die to occupy the space. She habitually carries all her personal belongings with her. If she leaves at this time, her safety will not be threatened by the wolves at all. But, at this moment, Tang Emo suddenly thought of Aunt Lin, her childlike daughter-in-law, and her sweet little grandson. Tang Emo always thought that she had become an indifferent person after experiencing so much. But at this time, the scenes in Taoyuan Village kept passing before her eyes. Although the people there have been escaping, each of them has maintained the simplicity and kindness before the end of the world, which made Tang Emo feel great warmth. She remembered that Tegan was still working outside with a group of unarmed people at this time, and remembered that the gate of Taoyuan village was not locked yet. Tang Emo bit his lip, turned around and ran back to the village. Tang Emo is already very familiar with the village chief's family, but it's a pity that every time he comes, he brings bad news. When Tang Emo knocked on the door and entered the yard, the village chief was still waiting on his precious little garden in the backyard. Seeing Tang Emo coming in, the village chief seemed to know that it was a very important matter and called both Shin Xiaodong and Shin Xiaoang to the main room. The Black Wolf has awakened. If my judgment is correct, the alien beast group will launch an attack tonight. A mid-level alien beast will lead a dozen junior alien beasts. Tang Mo's words were concise and concise. But the meaning behind them made everyone sitting upright. Xiaotang! 
Go outside and call Tegan and the villagers back. And then ask Quasi to close the door and ask him to always pay attention to what's going on outside. Shen Qing immediately made arrangements. And Shen Xiaoang said good and walked out quickly. How about we take the villagers away now? It's better than waiting to die here before they come. Shen Xiaodong held his hands tightly, and his nervousness could be seen. Tang Emo shook his head. It's too late. When I came back, I saw a few scattered wolves wandering around. As long as we walked in large numbers, they would immediately move out and become even more passive. The villagers in the open space were like a piece of fat meat. Swallow it little by little. Shen Xiaodong pursed his lips and stopped talking. There was a deathly silence as they all waited for the village chief to make the final decision at this critical moment of life and death. Xiaodong, go and call all the villagers. Hurry up. Shen Qing sighed softly. This may be the last night in their Taoyuan village. At this time, he can only personally break the beautiful mirage he has built for his villagers. Village chief, there is still one afternoon, and there is still a lot that can be done to prepare. Perhaps for comfort, Tang Emo said something to Shen Qing. Miss Tang, I know that you are not an ordinary person. And I probably know the reason why you came to our Taoyuan village. I have an unmerciful invitation here today. Shen Qing paused for a moment without continuing. Got up and went to the backyard. Tang Emo sat there. A little confused about the village chief's departure. But she could probably guess what the village chief wanted to say next. After thinking about it for a while, she made a decision in her heart. Soon, the village chief took out a pot of plants from the backyard and carefully placed it on the table. It was a pot of flowers, and there was only one huge flower bud there, waiting to bloom. There is a layer of delicate fluorescence around each petal, which is a symbol of rare treasures. This is. Tang Emo stared at the potted flower with his eyes motionless, reluctant to move away. Every bit of spiritual power in her body was boiling as if she had been summoned, and a grand carnival was going on in Tang Mo's body. Without Tang Mo's appraisal, she was very sure that the pot of plant in front of her was a spiritual treasure. And it was a very, very powerful spiritual treasure with extremely high attribute values. Actually, I knew earlier that Miss Tang should have come here for the abundant spiritual power of Taoyuan Village. Shen Qing pushed this pot of flowers to the end of Tang Dynasty. This pot of white peony flowers is the fundamental reason why our Taoyuan Village is so full of spiritual power. As this potted flower grows, it will continuously release spiritual power that can be absorbed by the human body. People who practice spiritual power near it will get twice the result with half the effort, playing the strongest supporting role. But that's not its only value. When it blooms, each piece of flower taken can increase the attributes of the eater by 10 spiritual points. Tang Emo suppressed the huge surprise in his heart. Each petal was worth 10 spirit points. It is equivalent to many rare treasures merged together. The value of this flower is simply impossible to estimate. However, Tang Emo did not say anything. She knew that the village chief would not take out this treasure of the town and village without any reason just to introduce it to herself. If you are willing to stay and help our Taoyuan village survive this crisis, then no matter whether we win or lose, it will be yours now. There was determination in the village chief's eyes. His years of experience were enough to see that Tang Emo was extraordinary and that she was a person who kept her promises. Jin Qing was willing to take a gamble just because she knew that Hei Lang would be able to take risks and come back to inform the village after he regained consciousness. If Taoyuan village is massacred tonight, then what is the meaning of the existence of this flower of spiritual power? It's better to take another chance and give it a try. Looking at the flowers in front of her that were full of great attraction to her, she seemed to know why Taoyuan village had such a fate in her previous life. No wonder such a small village can attract the covetousness of a group of alien beasts. It turns out that what the intermediate alien beasts really want is this rare treasure that condenses the essence of the world. After Taoyuan village disappeared, the exotic treasures were naturally taken away by strange beasts. This is the real reason why future generations can no longer discover the secrets of Taoyuan village's spiritual power. Chapter 65 Backstage in the Late Tang Dynasty In fact, Tang Emo had probably expected that the village chief would ask her to stay and help. She had already made a decision in her heart. That is, to stay and fight. The group of more than a dozen alien beasts was actually the smallest in size. Although there was an intermediate alien beast as its leader, it was far less terrifying than the hundreds of thousands of alien beasts she had encountered before. She probably measured her own strength and could give it a try. Although the winning rate is not high, she can run away if she cannot be beaten. And she knows this. 
but she never expected that there was such a treasure in the village chief's backyard, and that he could give this treasure to her as a bargaining chip. This made Tang Emo really embarrassed. It's different from staying and helping out on a voluntary basis. After collecting other people's things, you still have to fight an almost losing battle. Of course she can do that, but it doesn't matter. There was one principle in doing things in the late Tang Dynasty, which was to repay kindness with a clear conscience. This flower of spiritual power had a fatal attraction for her. She could not push it away, but if she accepted it like this and watched the destruction of Taoyuan Village, she would really feel guilty. Tang Emo sat there without answering and thought seriously for a while. Shen Qing also knew that such a dangerous matter should be thought about carefully, so he did not rush her, but waited quietly. After a while, Tang Emo finally made a decision in his heart. He raised his head and looked at Shen Qing and spoke word by word. I accept this flower. In exchange, I will keep your Taoyuan village safe. This sentence was spoken with sonorous force, with confidence and determination. Shen Qing was stunned for a moment when he heard Tang Mo's words, but the firm look in Tang Mo's eyes didn't look like he was joking. How powerful a person must be to fight against a herd of beasts on his own. Shen Qing actually didn't believe it in his heart. But what Tang Emo said made him feel very moved. At least he had this heart. And this rare treasure was not given away in vain. Of course, I can't do it on my own. Tang Emo smiled. Then opened the video on his watch. Found the nearest contact and dialed out. The video call was picked up over there in less than three seconds. Emo Emo. Why did you call me during the day today? Do you miss me? A clean male voice sounded on the other side of the call. And there was the sound of shooting in the background. Qin Ling was practicing shooting at the training ground at this time. When he saw his baby calling him, he immediately put down the gun and picked up the phone. Don't be annoying. There are people around me. Tang Mo's face turned red. How could she have forgotten that Qin Ling always spoke inappropriately to her? If she had known better, she would not have made this call in front of the village chief. Although she and Qin Ling couldn't see each other every day, they still had video calls. On average, they would talk on the phone at night every three days. This was already the result of discussions at the end of Tang Dynasty. Otherwise, according to Qin Ling's wishes, the phone calls would have been made every day. I'm having some trouble here. Can you lend me some people? At the end of the Tang Dynasty, she wanted to keep Taoyuan Village safe. It would be bragging to say that she only relied on herself. But there was absolutely no problem in borrowing some people from Qin Ling. As the only direct grandson of the first family in the alliance, Qin Ling quickly obtained the position that could only belong to him after leaving school. Although the position is not very stable, and there are still many obstacles around me, a lot of achievements have been made. Of course, these were not said by Qin Ling himself. They were read from the Alliance daily in the late Tang Dynasty. Her boyfriend is already a celebrity. And he is in the news every now and then. And every time he is in the news, it will cause a stir among a lot of fans. Fortunately, Tang Emo is not a jealous person. I don't know how sad this day must be. Trouble? Where are you? I'll be there right away. Qin Ling's voice suddenly became colder. As if he was a different person. I don't know if there was a gesture or something over there. But the gunshots and voices stopped instantly. And there was silence. Actually, it's nothing. Tang Emo gave a brief overview of the situation here. And then described the approximate strength of the wolf pack. Send me the location. You must protect yourself first. I will arrive in about two hours. After finishing speaking, Qin Ling hung up before Tang Emo could reply. Usually every time he called, Qin Ling would bother him and didn't want to hang up. This time, he hung up the most efficiently. It can be seen that he is really anxious. Tang Emo hung up the phone with a look of helplessness. Then I'll put these flowers away? She said to Shen Qing. This was also the most important reason why she called in front of Shen Qing. With the temperament of the late Tang Dynasty, she would not feel at ease if the things were not with her. Although Shen Qing had already said that she could take the flowers away now, she had to show some sincerity first to reassure others. This is... Shen Qing was shocked and speechless. My boyfriend... Miss Tang's boyfriend must be very powerful. In today's environment, everyone knows that the only long-distance means of transportation is helicopters. And it's not just ordinary people who can get on a helicopter now. Well, he's quite powerful. He should be considered a rich second generation. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he thought about it and labeled Qin Ling, saying that he was the second generation of rich people. It should be okay. When the rankings come out, if Qin Ling can be on the list, we can change his title. At this time, 
Jean Ling didn't know that his precious girlfriend described him as a rich second generation. Otherwise, he would spit out a mouthful of blood. No wonder Miss Tang is so confident in walking through the apocalypse. I'm blind. Xin Qing had long seen how extraordinary the late Tang dynasty was. And there was no fear of the apocalypse in his body. This kind of fearlessness is not the same as the ignorant fear of the Taoyuan village villagers. But a kind of fearlessness with the courage to face anything. It turns out that Miss Tang has such a background behind her. Actually, I'm pretty good myself. Tang Emo suddenly flashed his big eyes and tried to explain to the village chief. She estimated that her strength could probably hit three iron roots. This kind of fighting power is quite powerful in Taoyuan village. So it should be no problem. Xin Xiaodong over there had already recalled Tai Jin and his party to the village. And Xin Xiaodong also brought representatives from each household to the open space in front of the village chief's house. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he roughly checked and found that there were 22 people in total. Most of them were over 60 years old. And few were in their early 40s like Aunt Lin. However, Aunt Lin was here to take care of her daughter-in-law who stayed in the village to give birth. Otherwise, given the age of Aunt Lin and her daughter-in-law, they would be working outside now. Xin Qing stood in front of everyone and took the most serious attitude. He told the villagers in detail and earnestly about the crisis they were facing this time and told them to lock the doors and windows when they returned home later, no matter what they heard at night. Never make any sound. After the village chief finished speaking, there was silence below. It was different from Tang Mo's imagination. She thought that even if everyone knew about the dangers in the outside world, when it really happened to her, when the beautiful painting was torn apart, everyone would be hysterical. But no, there was just deathly silence on everyone's faces. They had been mentally preparing for this day for so long. And when it finally came, they could only feel the calmness of despair. Everyone wants to live, but no one wants to resist. Most of them are so old that they can't even walk steadily. So what can they do to resist? We can only accept the final arrangement of fate. Does anyone have some rice left at home? My grandson is just one month old. He is too young and has only been in this world for a few days. I want to at least let him have a full meal before leaving. A familiar voice from the late Tang Dynasty sounded in the crowd with a bit of tragedy. Chapter 66 The battle begins early. That was Antlin's voice. I still have half a bowl of old rice at home. Let's use it to make paste for the children. A hunched over grandfather said. My rice is newer. I'll go back and get it for you. A gray-haired grandma on crutches also rushed to say. I have one at home too. I still have some corn noodles. So give your daughter-in-law some to drink too. It's not easy for a woman who has just given birth. One voice after another came and went. At the last moment, everyone here still maintained the greatest goodwill toward life and their companions. This is also the most touching place in the late Tang Dynasty. After the crowd dispersed, Tang Emo did not go home, but knocked on the door of Aunt Lin's house. It's the end of Tang Dynasty. Come in quickly. When she saw Tang Emo, Aunt Lin still enthusiastically let her in. After so long, she had become very familiar with this new polite little girl. Rural people may be born with resilience, even if they know that fate will soon give them a fatal blow. In the remaining days, I will still calm down and live well. Would you like to come in and see my sweet grandson? My sweet grandson is very good looking. You must see it. This was the first time that Aunt Lin invited Tang Emo into the room. The child was not yet one month old, and it was not suitable for a mother who was in confinement to see outsiders. Tang Emo nodded with a smile and followed Aunt Lin into the room. Aunt Lin's daughter-in-law was the same as the one she had seen before. She looked only 18 or 19 years old, with a baby face, but she looked a little thin. He was like a child holding another child in his arms. When she saw Tang Emo walking in, the child's mother kept smiling at her. Tang Emo felt that Aunt Lin probably did not tell her the information she heard from the village chief before. Hold the baby. It's not easy for him to come to this world. Apart from his mother and grandma, you are the only person he sees. Tang Emo was stunned for a moment after hearing this. Then, he quickly took over the one-month-old baby from his mother. It's a boy, with his eyes wide open and drooling. He was still smiling at Tang Emo. Aunt Lin didn't lie. This child is indeed very good-looking, and looks very much like her mother. After hugging him for a while, Tang Emo returned the child to his mother's arms, then took off his backpack and took out a big bag. There is a can of milk powder and two bottles of mineral water here. Let's make some milk powder for the child to drink. These days, people don't have enough to eat. So how can mothers have milk? When adults suffer, children suffer too. Milk powder? 
Aunt Lin and the child's mother both looked at the things on the table with wide eyes. This is too expensive. Aunt Lin pursed her lips. She borrowed a little bit of chin rice and thought about making a bowl of soup for her children. She never thought that anyone could still drink milk powder now. Mom. The child's mother turned her head and looked at her mother-in-law pleadingly. As a mother's nature, she cared for her child more than anyone else. The mother and daughter finally accepted the gift from Tang Emo. And just as they were about to thank him profusely, Tang Emo left Aunt Lin's house as if running away. But not long after returning to his home, Shin Xiaodong's urgent voice came from outside the door. Tang Emo, it's bad. The wolves are coming. Are you here now? Tang Emo opened the door and hurriedly followed Shin Xiaodong. We have arrived at the door. The door will not be guarded for long. Tai Jen and the others are already here. When Tang Emo ran to the village gate, the black wolf and his men had already started to crash into the door. What should I do? This door won't last long. Shin Xiaodong stamped his feet anxiously. Tegan was also looking at his brother Xiaodong anxiously. And he didn't know what to do at this time. His limited brain capacity meant that he could only spin in circles at this moment. Not knowing what to do. Can't let them in. Tang Emo only had one thought in his mind. Once he came in, everything would be over. The current houses in the village all have wooden doors. And the fences in the yards are useless to the alien beasts. Once the wolves come in and spread out, there are only three or two people on their side. And they can't save them at all. She still underestimated the intelligence of the intermediate beasts. They also knew how to think and strategize in order to win. And they didn't play according to common sense at all. With half an hour left. Tang Emo glanced at the time. Qin Ling said that his people would arrive in two hours. And now there was still half an hour. So she must hold them back. Tai Jen, would you be afraid if I asked you to go out now? Tang Emo asked the big man next to him. Don't be afraid. We can't let them come in and hurt shouting. Tegan puffed out his chest. As if he was waiting for your order. Okay, then you go out with me. Tang Emo rolled up his sleeves and prepared to climb over the wall. The door could not be opened. If he wanted to go out at this time, he still had to continue climbing over the wall. I'll go too, Shin Xiaodong said anxiously. You stay inside, and if anyone slips in, you are responsible for cleaning up. Tang Emo turned around and shouted. That's a pack of wolves. People with too low attribute values will die if they go out. Which means nothing. Tai Jin stepped on the chair and climbed out of the tall fence next to Tang Emo. Seeing two people suddenly fall from the wall on one side. The wolf, who was banging on the door was startled and immediately retreated. At this time, the distance between Tang Emo and the black wolf was about 200 meters. She squinted her eyes and saw that the black wolf was sitting at the back of the pack like a commander. The two parties faced off for almost 30 seconds. Suddenly, five figures rushed out from the opposite side. Up on the iron route! Tang Emo shouted. After hearing Tang Mo's instructions, Tai Jen immediately rushed out without a trace of hesitation and got entangled with several wolves. I don't know whether it was in response to the Wolf King's order or for some other reason. But all five wolves rushed to Tai Jin without exception. There was no simultaneous attack. Probably because they wanted to defeat them one by one and make a quick decision. But this happened to comply with Tang Mo's wishes. And she immediately took out her pistol from the space. Bang bang bang. Three times. The three wolves surrounding Tai Jin fell to the ground. And every shot hit the target. At the end of the Tang Dynasty. He now had enhanced eyesight. Coupled with a strong mental attribute and huge keen perception bonus. He was a self-taught genius in shooting and aiming. She didn't even need to practice. She could put the bullet anywhere she wanted within range. There are a total of 20 bullets in her pistol. Three of them have been used now. Plus the ones used before. There are still 16 bullets left. Tang Emo joined Tai Jin's battle with Pafong. And the two of them eliminated the remaining two wolves in a few rounds. Bullets were limited. If possible. Tang Emo was prepared to use the remaining 16 bullets to kill the remaining 8 wolves. She couldn't waste a single bullet. As for the black wolf, bullets would not cause any harm to it. Seeing that the 5 wolves were killed by these 2 humans almost instantly, the black wolf narrowed his eyes dangerously and slowly stood up from the ground. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he knew that it was preparing to go into battle in person. Leave the black one to me. Tai Jin, you deal with the remaining ones. Remember to defend first and attack second. Delay time and ensure safety. Tang Emo inserted the gun into her waist and held a phone tightly with her right hand. She had a hunch that the Black Wolf was coming for her. Chapter 67 He is coming. At the end of Tang Dynasty, 
She had experience fighting intermediate beasts before. But at that time, she was just a small assistant to help Qin Ling. And now, this is her home court. Tang Mo has one of the biggest advantages in battle. That is, her mental power can sense the opponent's next move in advance. Maybe only one second in advance. But that is enough. This allowed Tang Mo to avoid fatal attacks to the greatest extent. And then find his optimal entry point. Tang Mo and the wolf were almost entangled for a few seconds and soon separated before entering the next round. She holds the knife tightly. And every attack adds mental power to her forearm. Allowing her to do more damage. And not only did she have to face the black wolf. But she also occasionally had to be distracted to look at Tai Jin and fire a few shots to relieve him of the pressure. She had to keep them all alive. In order to be able to draw blood, Tang Mo couldn't perfectly dodge every attack from the Black Wolf. When he slashed the knife on Hai Lang's back again, Tang Mo also received a heavy claw on his shoulder. Staggering, Tang Mo grunted and took a few steps back. Turning to look at his shoulder, his clothes were already soaked in blood. Black Wolf wasn't much better either. He was covered in blood. But he still stood there, waiting for the next suitable opportunity to attack. Tang Mo licked the corner of his mouth which was stained with the blood from the black wolf. I don't know if it was the stimulation of the blood or something else. But Tang Mo started to feel inexplicably excited all over his body. As if he had been on a stimulant. A strange stimulating feeling rushed from the soles of Tang Mo's feet to his forehead. And every pore in his body seemed to be screaming. To fight. From a rational point of view, she knew that the best strategy now was to drag her to the Qinling Mountains. But now she can't control herself anymore. She has to obey her deepest desire. This time it was Tang Mo who took the initiative. And she flew towards the black wolf with Pafong. The black wolf did not sit still and waited for death, but also jumped up. Tang Mo raised his slender and powerful right leg and swept towards the wolf's abdomen. A Lang dodged to the side and hit Tang Mo's calculated knife edge. Another wound with deep visible flesh burst open on He Lang's body. Ouch. The black wolf landed awkwardly, rolled several times, and cried out in pain. Without waiting for a second, Tang Mo chased after him and raised his leg high. She found that her legs were very flexible and powerful. When fighting, they combined with the pafong in her hand could mobilize her entire body coordination. The function of the neck and waist is to dodge flexibly. And the arms and legs work together to attack. Keep your eyes peeled at all times. Pay attention to every move of the opponent. And subconsciously calculate the opponent's next moves based on continuity. And the brain cannot forget to think. In a battle between two people with similar strength, the one with a smarter mind will definitely have an absolute advantage. In the battle with the Black Wolf, Tang Mo gradually entered a state of intoxication. It seems that fighting is not painful, but that you enjoy fighting. Enjoying the process of sculpting yourself little by little and turning yourself into a fighting machine. Unknowingly, Tai Jin's side was getting farther and farther away during the battle between Tang Mo and Hei Lang. It was so far away that Tang Mo could no longer distract himself from looking at Tai Jin, but was completely immersed in his own battlefield. Soon, in this battle, Tang Mo gradually changed from being at a disadvantage to being at the upper hand, and began an overwhelming attack. Boss, is that my sister-in-law? She's quite fierce. I don't know when. Qin Ling and his team arrived at the gate of Taoyuan village. Qin Ling saw these two fierce battlefields at a glance. He observed the state of Tang Dynasty at this time and did not rush to help. Instead, he asked his men to clean up the few remaining wolves on Tegan's side first, with the help of bullets from time to time at the end of Tang Dynasty. Although Tai Jin was kept pressed and beaten, the wolf did not hurt his vitals. At this time, Tai Jin was lying on the ground covered in blood and his clothes were in tatters. But he was still breathing. Qin Ling asked someone to stuff him with medicine and then left him on the ground. At this time, he had more important things to do, which was to watch his wife fight. The people Qin Ling brought this time were his personal guards and his most direct subordinates. Everyone here who left the S base was a king. At this time, a total of 12 men in black uniforms stood behind their boss, watching their sister-in-law fight intently. When they learned that they were going to rescue their sister-in-law with their boss, they thought it would be a scene of a cute little girl huddled in a corner waiting for the boss to rescue her. Unexpectedly, when they arrived, they discovered that they were not here to save anyone, but to watch the sister-in-law beat up the black wolf. Everyone was silently weighing the strength of themselves and their sister-in-law, and found out helplessly that they couldn't even compare to their own sister-in-law. If they were to face an intermediate beast, they would die if they fought alone. You may be able to struggle for a while, 
but the result will definitely be a loss. How does she look like my sister-in-law? Now, beating this black wolf is like playing. It seems that the person opposite is not an intermediate alien beast, but bullying a big black dog next door. Why is it that the boss's strength is so abnormal? And the wife, he is looking for is so abnormal. How can he let her live? The group of people stared at Qin Ling's back with resentment. They knew that Qin Ling brought them here specifically to stimulate them. The intention is simply not too sinister. At this time, Qin Ling's eyes were bright. Looking at Tang Mo's every move, he had only one thought in his mind. That's why his darling can be so handsome when he fights. He wants to marry her home as soon as possible. He had seen how he used a knife in the late Tang Dynasty. And he was not a little bit stronger now than then. Looking at it, Qin Ling suddenly felt something was wrong. He noticed the bright red on Tang Mo's shoulders. That is, blood. Qin Ling's face quickly turned cold. And his whole body was filled with cold air from the inside out. Even the dozen or so people standing behind him could feel the sudden change in the atmosphere. Qin Ling was not ready to wait any longer. Just when he stepped forward to help Tang Emo resolve the battle, Tang Emo pulled out the knife from Hei Lang's belly and then kicked Hei Lang's huge body away at the moment he pulled it out. Tang Mo's mental power has improved a lot now, enough to support her in strengthening three places at the same time in one battle. The eyes, the right arm holding Pafong, and the right leg. This time, the black wolf finally failed to stand up. He wriggled and struggled on the ground, and finally collapsed completely, declaring the end of the battle. At the end of Tang Dynasty, his whole body was still in a state of confusion. So he supported the black wolf, and wiped its neck back and forth several times with the foam. The ending must be cautious and neat, and cannot be careless. This was always a habit in battles in the late Tang Dynasty. It wasn't until all this was done that she finally relaxed, threw the knife away, and sat down on the ground. This battle consumed almost all of her physical strength, as well as her mental strength. If this wolf persists for a while longer, it's really hard to say who will win and who will lose. However, the benefits gained from complete consumption were huge, and Tang Emo could feel the changes this battle brought to his entire being. It was as if he understood something all at once, and his fighting level suddenly rose to another level. Chapter 68 Must Go Home I'm late! Qin Ling knelt down and looked at Tang Mo's level. He really blamed himself. If he could have come earlier, Tang Emo would not be injured. Why don't you protect yourself? On the other hand, Qin Ling was really angry. Angry that Tang Emo would risk his own body. Everyone could see that Tang Mo's style of play was completely life-threatening. If he had been more conservative, he would not have suffered such a serious injury. The color on Tang Mo's body was not limited to her shoulders. After getting a red eye, she had long forgotten the pain on her body. And the black wolf left many marks on her body. At the end of Tang Dynasty, it was the first time she saw Qin Ling with such a low air pressure. In her impression, Qin Ling was always laughing and joking. And it was rare for Qin Ling to talk to her so seriously. I can't stand up anymore. Knowing that he was in the wrong, Tang Emo used the trick he learned from Qin Ling and looked at Qin Ling with watery eyes. But she seemed to have forgotten that her face was still fake black. And her body was covered in stains and blood. Which could not be related to cuteness. It's just that Qin Ling didn't seem to be able to see those things. When he heard Tang Mo's words, his whole heart melted. And he didn't even bother to blame her. He stretched out his arms to scoop Tang Emo into his arms, and then strode towards the village. Xin Xiaodong had been observing the battle situation from the door. He was anxious when he saw Tai Jin and Tang Emo being besieged, but could not do anything to help. The village chief arrived at some unknown time, and he and Xin Xiaodong were guarding the door, waiting for any strange beast to break in. They were the last line of defense for Taoyuan village. When they saw a group of men in black, led by a young man, rescuing Tai Jin, they knew that the reinforcements called by Tang Emo had arrived. I was overjoyed. They came to Taoyuan village. It seemed like I was really saved. Dad, look at that man. Does he look like Qin Ling? One of the youngest alliance leaders, who always appears in the alliance daily. Xin Xiaodong, who had been observing the battle through the doorway, stammered. That man seemed to appear out of nowhere two months ago. Appearing in the center of power of the alliance. The prominent family background. Profound background decisive decision-making, cold personality, and resolute and handsome face all make any survivor remember the name Qin Ling deeply in their mind. It turns out that he was the rich second generation that Miss Tang was talking about. The term rich second generation is really... Xin Qing murmured to the side. Naturally, people from Qin Ling and the Xin family's father 
and Sun came to clean the battlefield, following Tang Mo's prompts. Qin Ling carried her to the small house where she lived and gently put her on the bed. Medicine, bandages, water. Qin Ling glanced at the room. It was empty, and it didn't look like anyone had lived there. He could only ask for things from Tang Mo. A man with space. He hugged his wife and left in a hurry, without having time to take the things from under his hands. You go out first. I can handle it myself. Tang Mo, who knew Qin Ling's intention, blushed a little. She was injured on her shoulder and everywhere on her body. She had to take off her clothes before applying medicine. You don't think that since you're like this, there's nothing else I can do to you. Do you? Qin Ling teased him for being serious for only half a day. It's hard for you to lift your arms now. So don't show off. My little ancestor. Tang Emo struggled to lift his arm. And sure enough, he felt heartbreaking pain. After thinking for a while, he stopped being pretentious, took out all the things from the space, and handed them to Qin Ling. Qin Ling's technique was skillful and professional, and both of them completed the application of medicine in silence with blushing ears. After roughly wiping his body and putting on clean clothes, Tang Emo became more energetic. It's quite worth it. This is my reward for this battle. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he took out the flower of spiritual power that he got from the village chief and introduced its special features to Qin Ling. It's quite precious, but it's still not worth hurting yourself. Qin Ling looked at the flower and praised it very plainly. That's all? When Tang Emo first saw this flower, she almost shouted out in surprise. Qin Ling's current reaction also made her feel so unfulfilled. Don't forget, the alliance exchange is run by my family. Qin Ling rolled his eyes. The two most important large-scale profit-making chain business organizations in the alliance are the Alliance Exchange and the Alliance Mission Center. The Alliance Exchange is completely controlled by the Qin family, while the Alliance Mission Center is jointly managed by the Wen family and the Lin family. This is also the most important reason why the children of the Qin family have the best resources and never lack good things. Qin Ling's attitude when he saw this rare flower of spiritual power was also because of this. It is very precious. But I have it at home. Silently putting the things away, the shocked Tang Emo went back to bed and lay down. Well, she won't show off to Qin Ling anymore. It's so shocking. You can rest for a while and come back with me in the afternoon. Qin Ling touched Tang Mo's head as if touching a pet. Where are you going? Tang Emo didn't react for a while. As base, you come back with me to recuperate. I can't let you stay here alone anymore with you like this. What? I'm not going back. Tang Emo sat up straight. She had returned to base S. So how could she come out so easily? Although she had to face many unknown dangers outside alone. The benefits it brought to Tang Emo were also huge, allowing her to grow up as quickly as possible. She didn't want to go back to base S and become a flower in the greenhouse. No. There is no need to discuss. Xin Ling took on the posture of being the person in charge of the base, leaving no room for doubt. No. You don't know. My mental strength is quite strong and I recover quickly. Qin Ling knew that mental power had healing properties, but that required high mental power. Otherwise, the healing effect would be minimal. No matter how high it is, can you be fine tomorrow? It's useless whatever you say today. You must come with me. Tang Emo was dejected. She really wanted to say that with the intensity of her mental power, the injury would really be better tomorrow. After all, they were all traumatic injuries, and there were no broken arms or legs. But she didn't want to tell Qin Ling about the value of her mental power. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he had many treasures, including space, mental short sleeves, breaking wind, poison tempering dagger, and armor. But her biggest trump card is actually her super high mental attribute value. Mental attribute values have too many functions, such as strengthening, detecting, healing, etc. But each item can only exert its greatest effect when it is unexpected. So Tang Mo will not expose his trump card in advance until the most necessary moment. Qin Ling was one of the few people she trusted. But she still couldn't tell him about this. Even her mother Lin Yi couldn't tell Tang Emo about this trump card. It's not that he's afraid of betrayal. It's just that this is the greatest sense of security that Tang Emo can give himself in these last days. Okay, I'll go back with you. Chapter 69, Unable to Take Action Tang Emo lowered his head and pondered for a while. And finally compromised. It has been almost three months since she graduated from school. In these three months, she has experienced Huacheng Base and Taoyuan Village. In fact, she has gained a lot. 
the flower of spiritual power in Taoyuan village has now been taken into her possession. And there is really no need for her to stay here. It might as well go back home first. She saw that her mother's belly had grown during the last video call. So she should go back to stay with her. The work of cleaning up the battlefield was very fast. And a total of one intermediate power crystal core and eight primary crystal cores of different colors were dug out from the wolves. The intention of Tang Dynasty was to give these to Qin Ling and let him distribute them to the people who brought them. After all, they made a special trip for her. But when those people heard the sister-in-law's words, they shook their heads desperately. They didn't dare to accept the sister-in-law's things. Besides, they were the personal guards of Qin Ling, and they were the ones who followed her through life and death. So there was nothing hard about it. Just take it yourself. You are thinking of giving it away with just this little thing. Qin Ling laughed while rubbing Tang Mo's head. Tang Mo stared, but couldn't lift his arms to hit him. Bullying disabled people is too much. He took Qin Ling to the village chief's house to say goodbye. The village chief's family stood up in a hurry when Qin Ling came in. They were at a loss what to do. After all, he is the person in charge of the alliance. Equivalent to the existence of the national leader. How can he not be nervous? Seeing everyone's embarrassment, Tang Mo drove Qin Ling out and asked him to wait for her outside the door. Seeing the man who appeared in the alliance daily, every day obediently walked out and stood at the door with his head downcast. The Shen family father and son became even more panicked. This time the crisis in Taoyuan village has been resolved. And I have to leave. Tang Mo said goodbye to everyone. Everyone nodded in understanding. With gratitude in their eyes. Miss Tang was not an ordinary person. And everyone knew that she would not be able to live in Taoyuan village forever. Qin Ling told me that someone will come to help you repair the infrastructure of Taoyuan village. Then, supplies will be distributed every month according to the specifications of a small base. But don't worry. It's just supplies. No one will disturb you. This was proposed by Qin Ling on his own initiative. As a way of thanking him for taking care of the late Tang dynasty during this period. After all, that flower is the treasure of Taoyuan village. So Tang Mo can take it with more peace of mind. I have to say that both the late Tang dynasty and the Qin Ling dynasty were the same people in terms of life. And they were very particular about repaying kindness. Thank you so much. Shen Qing was so excited that her eyes filled with tears. Their Taoyuan village had been struggling to hold on. But now that they had monthly supplies, their life could be easier. In the end, Tang Mo left some medicine for Tai Jin. And some milk powder and food for Aunt Lin and her family of three. And then followed the Qin Ling group on the plane. It takes an hour and a half to fly from here to the S base. Tang Mo and Qin Ling sat on a small sofa. And the rest of the people sat behind them. Where does your family live now? Let me bring them all to S base. So that you can stay at ease. Qin Ling is very attentive. And he also has a small idea. That is, if he takes over all the family members from the end of Tang Dynasty, she will be able to stay at the S base with peace of mind. Even if I have to go out in the future, I will come back often. Where is the family? After hearing Qin Ling's words, Tang Mo suddenly remembered a very critical question. That means Uncle Wen and Qin Ling know each other. There may even be some vague competition. She couldn't let her family know about her and Qin Ling's affairs. Otherwise she would cause more trouble to her mother if trouble was caused. Less than a year after her mother got married, her stepdaughter caused trouble for the family. She didn't care. She was just worried that her mother would be criticized and behave badly if she stayed in that home. What's more? Qin Ling's current position is not stable enough. And his strength has not yet been recognized by everyone. Announcement of his relationship with the Wen family's stepdaughter at this time will definitely cause a stir. Thinking about it with your head. You can figure out that the Wen family originally teamed up with the Li family to barely compete with the Qin family. But now the Qin family wants to marry the Wen family and throw the Li family out. This will definitely cause a big problem. In the late Tang dynasty, he always thought very long term and cautiously. Qin Ling! Let me tell you something. Can we keep our relationship private for now? Not public? You mean you won't let me tell others first? Why? Can't I take action? Qin Ling was furious all of a sudden. He had finally hoped that Tang Mo could be with him. But if he couldn't make it public yet, then he would have to fall in love secretly. He refused. The faces of the people next to him were all red. They all wanted to laugh, but couldn't hold back their laughter. Their boss actually has a day when a girl can't take advantage of him. If those people who stand in line to chase after the boss know this, they will not hang themselves. No. Listen to me. You know my father passed away when I was very young. Tang Mo held Qin Ling's hand. 
hearing Tang Mo say this. Xin Ling became quiet and held Tang Mo's hand tightly. My mother has worked hard to raise me. And she got married this year. To Wen Jianchu. The twist in this passage is indeed a bit big and difficult to digest. Wen Jianchu? Is he the one I know? Xin Ling was surprised. He always thought that Tang Mo was just a child from an ordinary family. But he didn't expect that he had such a big background. Yes. Tang Mo nodded. This incident had a huge impact on Qin Ling. Although the Qin family was the boss in the alliance, the power of the Wen family should not be underestimated. Wen Jianchu is the current leader of the Wen family. He is gentle and polite, but he is very rational and intelligent at heart. He and Wen Jianchu had dealt with each other several times, and they admired each other very much. Of course, Wen Jianchu is also famous for another characteristic. That is, he is famous for loving his wife. He is one of the rare high-ranking figures who does not have any flowers and plants around him. Qin Ling did not expect that Mrs. Wen, who was envied by all women, was actually the mother of the late Tang dynasty. Don't worry. I will solve this matter. I don't want you to be wronged. Qin Ling thought for a while and said that he knew this matter was a bit difficult to handle. But it was not impossible. Even if it is done well, it is still a good thing that everyone is happy and very beneficial to him. Of course, the most important thing is that he doesn't want to conceal his relationship with Tang Emo because he is afraid that Tang Emo will feel wronged. I'm not wronged. Really? My mother is pregnant. How about we make it public at least after she gives birth? I beg you. Tang Emo used her trump card for the second time today. Qin Ling was instantly defeated and could only nod helplessly at the end of Tang Dynasty. Damn. Who made him have no resistance to the end of Tang Dynasty? Sometimes he doubted himself. Had he really only known Tang Dynasty for a year? Many times. There is an inexplicable throbbing feeling in his heart that tells him that he really loves this woman and must always be with her and never be separated. Chapter 70 Home The plane stopped inside the S-Base. Originally, Tang Emo meant to stop outside the base. She got off first and entered the base by herself. Doing the whole show. But he was rejected by Qin Ling who was already reluctant. Just kidding. This distance is not enough for the plane to take off and land again. This plane is the private property of the Qin family. And it parked directly on the Qin family's tarmac when it landed. Base S is the largest base. With an area almost equivalent to a small city. The land belonging to the Qin Ling family alone is as large as the Huaqing base. With all the facilities needed. And the luxury is jaw-dropping. There was no detailed mark on the map of Qin Ling's home. So Tang Emo, who had no choice but to find the exit could only follow Qin Ling and let him take him out. Tang Mo's face was not covered with dark foundation at this time. He just wore a baseball cap and lowered his head, hoping that no one would see it. She only knew a few people at his base. So it couldn't be such a coincidence. We're already at the door of our house. If you really don't want to go home with me, Grandpa will definitely like you very much. Qin Ling was still making his final struggle. Momo? Suddenly, a somewhat familiar voice sounded in their ears. Qin Ling looked up and saw Wen Jianchu, followed by a group of people, staring at her. It's over. This was the first feeling in the late Tang Dynasty. Uncle Wen, Tang Emo called out with a look of death on his face. This is my daughter. She has been wandering outside and just came back. Why didn't you tell me? Wen Jianchu introduced the late Tang Dynasty to the people behind him. I just came back and happened to catch the plane going back to base S. So I got a free ride. Ha ha. Tang Emo explained. A group of people had weird expressions on their faces. It was a coincidence that the tailwind was really good. Xin Ling? Emo Emo. Do you know him? At this time, when Jianchu noticed that the person beside him at the end of Tang Dynasty was no one else. But Qin Ling. Although Qin Ling is much younger than him. With the Qin family's status in the alliance. Qin Ling's attitude towards when Jianchu really does not need to be too respectful. Besides, he is a very smart person and he may not be so terrible when he grows up. When Jianchu is extremely accurate in reading people. And the Qin Ling Mountains are not things in the pond. Not familiar. I just met. Tang Emo waved his hands, and immediately made clear the relationship. After saying these words, the face of a certain man next to him turned cold at a speed that was visible to the naked eye. I'm going back to see my mother first. You guys are busy. Everyone present was a smart person. And if they talked too much, they would make many mistakes. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he immediately ran away before anyone could reply. Seeing Tang Emo leaving, Qin Ling nodded to Wen Jianchu, turned around and went back. 
on the way home. I turned on my ID watch and sent a message to Tang and Mo. I hate you, was followed by an angry emoji of a jumping figure. He, Tang Mo, who was in the wrong, could only pretend to be stupid, which would help unite the family. After calling Lin Yi and knowing the location, Tang Mo quickly found the door of Wen's house. Along the way, she had been sizing up the environment of Base S. In her last life, she had been hanging out in various small and medium-sized bases and had never been to the center of the alliance. Here, it was better than she imagined. The tall buildings no longer exist replaced by patches of small villas. Of course, villas are only places where wealthy people can live. Ordinary people live in bubble houses that can be moved and dismantled at any time. Although it is a bit crude, it is still much better than living in a tent or sleeping directly on the grass. Most of the people in S-Base are accustomed to going out to do tasks in exchange for daily needs for food and equipment. There are also a small number of incompetent people who rely on the daily relief to survive. In this life, because Professor Tian arrived at the research institute ahead of time. Nutrients made from exotic animal meat and other plant fruits were developed ahead of time. One pill per person per day can sustain a person's life needs for a day. But this is strictly survival, not life. Everything here is in order. People's adaptability is strong. And everyone living here quickly adapted to such a life. The Wen family occupies a much smaller area than the Qin family. The same villa complex plus open space is probably less than half of the Qin families. This is not because of lack of status, but because there are too few people in the Wen family. So there really isn't enough space. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he had already learned from Lin Yi that the old man of the Wen family was very old and in poor health and had abdicated long ago. Mr. Wen has three sons in his life. The eldest son Wen Jianli is about 45 years old. He has a very meek temperament and only likes to grow flowers and grass. Drink tea and read books. The second son, Wen Jianchu, was the stepfather in the late Tang dynasty and is now the leader of the Wen family. The youngest son, Wen Jianming, is Lai Lai's son. He is only in his early 30s. He is a businessman and a playboy. Addicted to romantic affairs, when he was in his prime, he was busy doing business and having various relationships. Even after getting married and having children, he still looks like a prodigal son who never looks back, which makes people feel dizzy. However, Qin Ling mentioned to her on the plane that when Jiaming and Qin Ling had a very good relationship, they met because of a business deal before the end of the world. And they were very close. Fall in love with such a scumbag. At the end of Tang Dynasty, his eyes became full of content, which made Qin Ling explain all the way, and couldn't help but blame himself for talking too much. The Wen family's sons all married late and had children even later, because there are almost no side branches. The door is not prosperous. Unlike the Qin family and the Li family, I don't have many children, but I have a lot of relatives. Uncle Wen Jianli has a son and a daughter, both of whom have just graduated from university and are still studying. Of course, now I don't go to college anymore and directly enter the school that was just established by the Alliance. The people there are all powerful children, and they are learning things that are more suitable for the end of the world. Brother-in-law Wen Jianming's son has just turned five. The right age for him to speak. Wen Jianchu's child is even smaller and has not yet come out of his mother's belly. At the gate of the Wen family, Lenny had already been standing there waiting for her daughter. Mom! Didn't I tell you not to come out? Seeing his mother standing there with a big belly, Tang Emo quickly went up to support her. I'm so skinny! Are you starving outside? Lenny stared at her daughter and looked up and down. She felt that the child was suffering outside, and tears flowed down uncontrollably. I'm not thin. I'm full. Look, I still have food in my bag. Knowing that pregnant women are emotionally sensitive, Tang Emo quickly comforted her and then helped her mother into the house. The brothers, including the old man, all live in separate villas. They only go to the old man's place for dinner on important occasions and rarely meet each other. Tang Emo and Lin Yi sat down in their living room and chatted about the current situation. The mother and daughter, who had not seen each other for a long time, seemed to have endless things to talk about. Chapter 71 Meeting Ceremony Lin Yi talked about everything in detail. She told Tang Emo almost everything that happened since she came here. Tang Emo felt relieved knowing that his mother was living a good life here. She omitted a lot of things she talked to Lin Yi, and probably only talked about the people she met along the way and some interesting things. As for those battles, they were naturally ignored strategically. But when she heard about Aunt Lin, her daughter-in-law, and their newborn grandson in Taoyuan village, 
Linny still felt as sad as if she felt it herself. The Labrador named Shima liked this person, who had just arrived at home. He only sniffed at the beginning. And then he kept lying next to Tang Mo's legs, as if he was an old acquaintance. And there was no rigidity at all. The reserve of meeting. The sunlight shines through the large floor-to-ceiling windows on the mother, daughter and dog. And it is as beautiful as an oil painting mounted in a photo frame. The first floor of the villa is the room for the servants and nannies. The third floor is the room for Wenjianshu and Linny. And the room at the end of Tang Dynasty is on the second floor. The room was no longer pink, but light blue, which Tang Mo liked very much. The clothes in the closet were no longer princess dresses, but all kinds of high-end sportswear. Each piece looked much stronger and more stain-resistant than the ones Tang Mo bought himself. Sure enough, the principle of you get what you pay for is always true. It seems that when Jianchu gradually figured out the temperament of his new daughter, and the things he prepared were more and more in line with the wishes of the late Tang dynasty. Tang Mo changed his clothes and slept comfortably on the bed all afternoon. She was so used to sleeping on the wooden bed in Taoyuan village that she almost forgot what a soft bed felt like. Sink your body into the soft and thick quilt. Ah, I really don't want to get up. Sure enough, comfort makes people fall. By the time he got up again at the end of Tang Dynasty, it was almost dinner time. Before going to bed, Uncle Wen told her about tonight's arrangements, which was to go to Grandpa's place to have a meal together. It was considered as a formal introduction to Tang Mo to all his family members. An acknowledgement that Tang Mo was a member of the Wen family. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he didn't change into any formal clothes. He just picked a gray-blue sportswear from the closet. After washing his face, and combing his hair. He went downstairs to Mr. Wen's place with Lin Yi and Wen Jianshu. Wen Jianli's son and daughter usually attend clothes training at school, but were not at home today. There were only three couples at the dinner table, Mr. Wen, Wen Jianli, Wen Jianshu, and Wen Jianming, as well as Tang Mo and five-year-old Wen Yishuan. After Wen Jianshu's introduction, Tang Mo politely greeted everyone present one by one before taking a seat. Seeing that Tang Mo was neither humble nor arrogant, Mr. Wen nodded first. He knew that this girl at the end of Tang Dynasty had not returned to his base for such a long time and was wandering around outside. This kind of girl is great. The old man who originally had a good impression of Tang Dynasty met the real person today and liked him even more. Girl, this is the meeting gift prepared by Grandpa for you. Mr. Wen took off a string of sandalwood bracelets from his hands. At Wen Jianchu's signal, Tang Mo quickly stepped forward and took it respectfully. It turns out that there is also a meeting ceremony. If he had known that he would have come back earlier, Tang Mo thought silently in his heart. Wen Jianli and Wen Jiaming also took out the gifts they had prepared. Both of them prepared fruits of unknown varieties in a transparent gift box. It's probably some kind of exotic treasure. It's impossible to open the watch to identify it in front of everyone. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he took the things and thanked them one by one. Even though the Wen family took out these things very normally, even in the S base, Exotic treasures are still very precious things. An exotic treasure with an attribute value of 10 is equivalent to the attribute value of an intermediate exotic beast. It is very precious. Several members of the Wen family also truly recognized that a man like Tang Mo would come up with such a valuable thing. The reason for recognizing the late Tang dynasty is very simple. First, Lin Yi has been very knowledgeable and sensible since she married Wen Jianchu. And she gets along very harmoniously with her family. Secondly, in the late Tang Dynasty, this girl seemed to be a good person, not a spoiled and willful girl or a petty person who couldn't stand up to the challenge. The third and most important thing is that Lin Yi is now pregnant with the blood of the Wen family. This alone means that no amount of things can be given to the late Tang Dynasty. The family had a very harmonious meal. The eldest aunt and Lin Yi talked less, and the other people took turns making the old man happy. In particular, when Jiaming's daughter-in-law Zhou Ying is the one who is best at taking care of the atmosphere at the dinner table. Especially when she flatters Mr. Wen one after another. But she is pretty and good at talking. So those flattery words in her mouth just look playful and not offensive. Tang Emo, who had a general understanding of the Wen family's situation, quite understood Zhou Ying's behavior. Her husband is unreliable. And even after getting married and having children, he still engages in philandering. Only by establishing a firm foothold in the family can he provide some protection for himself and his children. After finishing the meal, Tang Mo's family of three returned to their villa. Before going upstairs at the end of Tang Dynasty, when Jianchu called her to his study, Take this bag and use it as pocket money. 
When Jianchu took out a small bag, the bag was made of gauze and translucent material. After Tang Emo took it, he glanced at it and knew that there were crystal nuclei inside. Two intermediate crystal cores, one with white mental attributes and one with blue agility attributes. There are also more than 30 small primary crystal nuclei of different colors. This pocket money is really generous. At the end of Tang Dynasty, on the way back to the Wen family, he had already roughly felt the prices in his base. The current currency in circulation is still food, and the crystal core is still too precious to circulate in the market. At least Tang Emo hadn't seen anyone paying with crystal cores at the roadside vendors. Two intermediate crystal nuclei and dozens of primary crystal nuclei. This is really a lot. 30 pieces of primary crystal cores are probably what a team of 10 people can harvest in a month. Tang Emo was a member of a small team in her last life, so she knew these things very well. As for the intermediate crystal core, don't even think about it. The average team will still avoid it when encountering the intermediate beast. If they are not careful, the entire army will be annihilated. Emo Emo, Uncle knows that you are a very thoughtful girl and have your own pursuit of strength. What uncle wants to talk to you today is about the use of these crystal nuclei and exotic treasures. Use? Tang Emo thought she knew how to use crystal nuclei and exotic treasures. It was a very simple question. She didn't know what Uncle Wen wanted to say to her. You are a member of the Wen family. The rare treasures may be hard to come by, but you will definitely not be short of crystal cores. But my uncle hopes that you must be more restrained in using them and don't blindly rely on external forces to improve your attribute values. Attribute value is not the higher the better for anyone. When Jianchu's expression was very serious, he really regarded Tang Emo as his own girl and wanted to tell her this. He wanted to make Tang Emo better and better. Isn't the higher the attribute value, the better? Tang Emo was really surprised. This was the first time she had heard about this in her two lifetimes. Have you been wrong all along? Chapter 72 Space Upgrade Whether it is a crystal core or an exotic treasure, it is true that it can immediately increase your attribute value. However, the higher the attribute value, the better. It must also take into account the person's physical endurance. When Jianchu patiently explained to Tang Emo that Base S had the best research institutes and scientists, and these conclusions were reached after countless verifications. There are more powerful people in S Base than other places, and it has nothing to do with the fact that the information here is more closely up to date with the forefront of the research institute. To take the simplest example, if the strength attribute value of a 10-year-old child is suddenly increased to 100 through external force, but his body cannot bear such a high attribute value, then he will not be able to use it for a long time. The attribute values he reaches will have a backlash on his body. Backlash? These are things that Tang Dynasty had never heard of before. That is to say, those excessively high attribute values that you cannot afford will become a burden on your body. Consume your body's energy and make your body become worse and worse. In the end, you may even lose your flesh and blood and become a body without flesh and blood. Skeleton When Jianchi described the matter as very serious, although no one has yet turned into a skeleton due to increasing their attribute values too quickly, but this is a foreseeable result after countless experiments. So if you don't blindly increase your attribute values according to your physical needs, it may have the opposite effect on your own strength? That's right. So many people have stopped using crystal nuclei now. They will only use crystal nuclei appropriately after their physical functions have improved after fighting. When Jianchu nodded, the kid at the end of Tang Dynasty could quickly understand what he meant and draw inferences about other cases, which made him very satisfied. Uncle Wen's words made Tang Emo look at the bag of pocket money in his hand and fell into deep thought. No wonder the attribute values of the people on the ranking list in the previous life did not increase all the time but always stayed at the same value for a long time. Will a person with that level of strength lack crystal cores? Impossible. People who have reached that point are just looking further ahead and will not encourage others. Tang Emo didn't know this in her previous life because neither she nor the people around her had reached that level at that time. At that time, their living conditions did not allow them to think about the future. Everyone just wanted to survive until the next day. Uncle One, don't worry. I understand. I will take it one step at a time and absorb the crystal core according to my actual situation. I will not mess around. Tang Emo was really grateful that Uncle Wen could tell him this. After returning to his room, Tang Emo spread out the gifts he received at the dinner table one by one on the table and checked them with his watch. The fruits given by Wen Jianli and Wen Jianming are both exotic fruits. One can increase the life attribute by 20 attributes and the other can increase the power by 20 attributes. 
Tang Emo didn't hesitate, cleaned it up, and swallowed it directly into his stomach. She listened to what Uncle Wen said, but she knew her body very well. She experienced many battles along the way, and she never forgot to exercise every day in Taoyuan Village. Compared to her attribute values, her physical fitness is obviously better. In terms of mental power, she has been studying its various uses during this period. Every time she uses it, it consumes and strengthens it. She knew very well that she could continue to absorb some spiritual power to replenish what she had consumed. Her body can definitely withstand the strength, life and agility, and can withstand many levels. The sandalwood bracelet given by Mr. Wen is also a rare treasure. A rare space treasure. This was something Tang Emo had not expected. She had not expected Mr. Wen to be so generous. Even to the Wen family. A space treasure is a very precious thing. The string of beads is very strange. Most of the beads are just ordinary beads. Only three of them have one cubic meter of space inside each. Now I have two spatial treasures. Tang Emo touched his necklace. Can we combine these two rare treasures together? An idea suddenly came to Tang Mo's mind. She had never heard of two spatial treasures being able to be combined before. But she just wanted to give it a try. With excitement, Tang Emo took off the necklace he had been wearing and never took it off, and put it on the table together with the bracelet. How can we get them together? Tang Emo pushed the two things together with both hands, letting them touch each other. But it obviously has no effect. How about trying some blood? I found a knife and sterilized it. Then made a small cut on my hand and stained the blood on these two things. Still no response. How about trying your spiritual power? She usually uses her mental power to collect things in space. Maybe she can do it. Tang Emo controlled a spiritual force to reach out of the body and then divided them into two halves. Half of it is connected to her necklace and part of it is connected to the bracelet. Then gradually the two halves of the spiritual power were merged into one. There's drama. The necklace and beads slowly move together under the control of mental power. But this process consumes more mental power than Tang Emo imagined. As the two things slowly get closer, she needs a steady stream of mental power in her body as support. This process is very slow and painful. No, I can't hold on any longer. Tang Emo felt that the mental power in her body had reached its lowest point, And it seemed that it would be completely consumed soon. She didn't know what would happen when all her mental power was used up. Maybe die? Fortunately, his hands could still move at this time. He poured out all the crystal nuclei that Uncle Wen had just brought and found all the white crystal nuclei. Then Tang Emo absorbed the crystal nuclei with his hands while channeling the spiritual power in his body to replenish the lost mental power. Crystal nuclei one after another turned into powder in Tang Mo's hands. At the same time that the energy of the last intermediate crystal core entered Tang Mo's body, the necklace and bracelet finally touched together through the pull of mental power. Perhaps the energy of the jade pendants in the late Tang dynasty was much greater than that of the bracelets. And the bracelets disappeared at a speed invisible to the naked eye. Almost in the blink of an eye, the bracelet was gone. At the end of Tang dynasty, he picked up his necklace and found that there were three small wooden beads next to the necklace that originally only had a jade pendant hanging on it. The size of that wooden bead is really very small. About the size of a red bean. Is this a fusion? But these are still several separate things? Tang Mo's heart was full of questions. She first tried to put her mental power into the wooden beads, but failed. The wooden beads seemed to be the most ordinary wooden beads. At the end of Tang Dynasty, she used her spiritual power to touch her jade pendant again. This time it went smoothly. She immediately saw the scene in the space of the jade pendant. She carefully looked at every inch of the space, wanting to see what changes there were. The items on the shelves that were originally used by the end of Tang Dynasty were replenished and became full again as they were at the beginning. The free space over the cashier counter became a little larger. Tang Emo carefully estimated that it was about 3 square meters. The space in that bracelet is really integrated into the jade pendant. Chapter 73 The Troubles of Top Students Please enter text. It turns out that space treasures can really be fused? Tang Emo was ecstatic. She was right in the direction of spiritual power. But with this jade pendant that can be upgraded. She is not only a spiritual power user, but also a space power user. The spiritual system and the space system are the two most precious abilities after the end of the world. Mental abilities have a wide range of uses. They are the abilities that best reflect strength and are suitable for fighting alone. Space is the most suitable for survival and a skill that every team needs very much. After the end of the Tang Dynasty, it was completely possible to say that he was a space superpower to cover up that he was a spiritual superpower. 
pretending to be a pig and eating a tiger is most in line with the temperament of the late Tang Dynasty. She has never been an arrogant person. She just wants to live with dignity and be, okay, for a long time. Tang Mo put the necklace back on his neck, and then absorbed all the remaining crystal nuclei of different colors. This was a large amount of energy. It wasn't until all these crystal nuclei were used up that Tang Mo truly felt that his body seemed to be saturated with attribute values. I didn't care about it before. But it wasn't until I listened to Uncle Wen's words and felt my body with my heart that I realized that the compatibility of attribute values and body really needs everyone to pay attention to. It's time to move around. Tang Mo thought to himself. Early the next morning, when Tang Mo opened her eyes and turned on her ID watch out of habit, she found that the ranking function she had been thinking about had been updated, seeing the sudden addition of small icons on the interface. Tang Mo couldn't help but get excited. Without clicking in immediately, Tang Mo first checked his attribute values again. She is not someone who checks whether her attribute values are increasing every day. That is too utilitarian. As if her efforts are just for those numbers. And she doesn't like it. It must have been a long time since she last looked at her attribute values. ID, Late Tang Dynasty. HP, 98. Strength, 82. Agility, 109. Mental Strength, 211. Space, 0. Comprehensive Strength, 500. 500. This value really shocked Tang Emo. She hadn't looked at it for a long time. And she didn't know that her attribute value had suddenly increased so much. In fact, at the end of Tang Dynasty, she didn't know that the crystal nuclei and rare treasures she obtained during this period were enough to be on par with the children of the aristocratic family. Besides, she has gone through so many battles and has strict requirements on herself that she never relaxes. These attributes are truly worth every bit that Tang Emo deserves. After knowing his specific situation, Tang Emo opened the ranking list. The alliance is the alliance of the entire China. And naturally everyone in China is counted. In the most conspicuous position of the first place. Xi Ling's name is clearly hanging on it. Like the result in the previous life. Tang Emo was not surprised. In the last life, Xi Ling also made everyone recognize him again as the number one in China's comprehensive attribute value. Not only is he the youngest person in charge of the league, he is also the well-deserved number one genius. It wasn't until today when the rankings were updated that Qin Ling's position was truly secured, using his strength to prove to everyone that he was the strongest. Tang Emo then rode downwards one by one. In fact, the memory of her previous life was a little blurry, and she didn't know anyone here at all. So she didn't know whether this ranking was the same as in her previous life. She was up there to find someone. Lin Yu. He remembered that Lin Yu secured his position as the number one person in mental power because of the desert flower with 100 mental attribute values. He is not on the ranking list now. Which means that the desert flower is still there. Even though Tang Mo has returned to us base now. She has not given up on that flower. And she will start again. After reading the names one by one, Tang Mo finally confirmed it when he saw the last name. The rankings this time are really different from before. Why is she so sure? Because at the 100th place on the ranking list, which was the last position, Tang Emo clearly saw two words. Late Tang Dynasty. She's actually on the rankings? How could this work? How could she reduce her presence? When Tang Emo saw his name, his first reaction was not excitement, but uneasiness. But then he thought about the fact that she was a space superpower. And he relaxed again. No matter what. She has a shield. The ranking list has three columns. One is the ranking. One is the name. And the other is the total attribute value. The attribute value of the late Tang Dynasty ranked 100th in the ranking is 500. While the Qin Ling ranked first in the ranking is 1786. It was three times that of the late Tang Dynasty. And he still had to stand out. Is this still a human being? It's a perversion. If she hadn't remembered that that person was her boyfriend. Tang Emo really felt that her imagination could be richer. Like, is that an alien? Or the body was taken over by some strange beast or something. She felt that she had worked hard enough and was not slacking off for a moment. But there are also 24 hours in a day. But some people can increase their attribute values to an incredible level. All I can say is that this is the power of talent. At the end of Tang Dynasty, a very interesting phenomenon was also observed. The attribute values of the people on this ranking list were very divided into two levels. The top 20 are all above 1,000. Except for Qin Ling, which is 1,786. The others are between 1,000 and 1,500. As for the remaining people, there isn't much difference. 
For example, the difference between Tangemo and her predecessor is only five attribute values. It's just a matter of a few crystal nuclei. The ranking list is updated in real time at midnight every day based on the big data fed back by the ID watch. As long as you don't try your best for a day, the people behind you will surpass you at any time. Although Tangemo was not very happy to be on this ranking list. Since she was on it, she didn't want to come down again. Although her goal has always been to keep a low profile. She doesn't like losing. This ranking is like a small whip raised high behind you, urging you to work hard at any time. Tangemo sighed deeply. Just like in school, Top students always care more about their ranking than poor students. Being a good person is really tiring. Is this the trouble of happiness? Before the end of Tang Dynasty had finished worrying, a call from Qin Ling came in immediately. Number 100. Our baby is awesome! Qin Ling's tone was heartfelt praise. And he was really proud of the late Tang Dynasty. But why did the late Tang Dynasty find the words? Number 100. So mocking? Especially coming from the mouth of number one. To celebrate! How about we have dinner together tonight? No. Then let me show you around the base. No. Come to my house and meet Grandpa. Dot. We agreed not to make it public yet. Naturally, the late Tang Dynasty did not want to go in and out of the base with Qin Ling. Qin Ling is now a big star, attracting attention wherever she goes. She and Qin Ling go shopping and eat. So how can they keep it a secret? I won't tell you anymore. Uncle Wen is calling. The ready reason came. Before Qin Ling could pout, Tang Emo quickly said goodbye and answered when Jianchu's call. Chapter 74 A Stranger's Proposal Uncle Wen, what's the matter? This was the first time when Jianchu called Tang Emo, which shocked Tang Emo. Emo Emo, you're on the ranking list? Well done. You really bring glory to our family. My uncle is proud of you. When Jianchu, who had always been calm and rational, had suppressed joy in his voice. You stay at home with your mother first. And when I get home, I will give you a good celebration. The other party hung up the phone before Tang Emo said anything more. It seemed that he was not congratulating Tang Emo, but simply expressing his joy. Tang Emo blushed a little. She, the hundredth, was really embarrassed to receive such praise. If the person behind her overtakes her tonight, wouldn't everyone be happy in vain? It's really a headache. And it's so cold up there. Not only Qin Ling and Wen Qianchu, but also Song Qing and Li Lanlan also sent video messages to the late Tang Dynasty, congratulating the late Tang Dynasty. Li Lanlan is now in a small base with her family. Her strength attribute value is quite high. Now she has joined a fixed team, and her life is pretty good. Song Qing's home was at S base. Hearing that Tang Dynasty had just arrived at S base, he immediately sent out an invitation. At the end of Tang Dynasty, Song Qing sent her the location. It happened that he had nothing to do today, so he planned to go find her soon. She got dressed and went downstairs to have breakfast with her mother. Fortunately, Lenny usually just watches TV at home and teases the dog and doesn't pay much attention to rankings. She still doesn't know that her baby daughter has entered the top 100 in China. Famous thing. This also saved Tang Emo a lot of trouble. And she was congratulated enough now. On the way to Song Qing's house, Tang Emo was still thinking that if she arrived at Song Qing's house later and her family's life was more urgent, she would help. After all, that was one of her best friends in the apocalypse. Unlike others, she couldn't just sit back and watch. However, the late Tang Dynasty seemed to have forgotten that when Song Qing left school, he took a helicopter sent by his family. It wasn't until she walked to the door of Song Qing's house and was stopped by the armed guard at the door that she realized that she was really worrying too much. He looked at the address Song Qing sent to him again. If I went correctly, this is the Li family. Right? The Qin family, the Wen family, and the Li family are all the most recognizable landmark buildings in Base S. Not to mention their splendor and style. They are surrounded by a group of armed guards. Standing at the door, he called Song Qing and asked Song Qing to come out to pick him up. Tang Emo looked at the sky and was speechless. How come she didn't know that everyone around her had such a big background? How much did she miss in her last life? When Song Qing came, he saw Tang Emo looking up at the sky. What are you doing? He patted Tang Emo hard from behind. Song Qing has always had a calm temperament and only occasionally showed his girlish side in front of Tang Emo and Lan Lan. Long time no see. Tang Emo looked at her and smiled with squinted eyes. Because I went to the Qing family first and stayed at the Wen family for two days. 
I was already immune to the luxurious architectural decoration of the Li family in the late Tang Dynasty. Sure enough, simplicity is as easy as luxury. Sitting on the large and comfortable sofa, two little sisters, who had not seen each other for a long time, were chatting. You came to S-Base this time for your boyfriend? She is now a celebrity in the entire base. Song Qing had met Qin Ling when he was in school, and it wasn't until he returned to the base that he realized that his friend's boyfriend was something special. Now that the cowherd and the weaver girl meet, every day will be sweet. Right, Song Qing joked. I really didn't come here for him. My family is mainly here. This time I also came back to spend time with my mother. When it comes to the Qinling Mountains, the late Tang Dynasty was really a little confused. Actually, dot M, my stepfather is Wen Jianchu. All the roommates in the late Tang Dynasty knew about her family situation. It was impossible to hide the fact that the late Tang Dynasty lived in the Wen family. So she simply told the truth to Song Qing. What? Song Qing couldn't control himself, and his voice became louder. Her mother is the daughter of the Li family, and the sister of the current leader of the Li family. Song Qing is a member of the Li family, and she is the one who best understands the embarrassment of the situation in the late Tang Dynasty and Qinling Mountains. That. Let's not make it public for now. My mother is still pregnant. Besides, there are many things involved. I will wait until everyone is stable again. Tan Ma said. She unconsciously couldn't talk to Song Qing about this. Although she was from the Li family, this matter was quite troublesome. Even if it involved the Li family, it was not Song Qing's turn to worry about it. That's right. It's just a pain for you. Song Qing looked at Tang Mo with sympathy. Stop talking about me. What about you? Do you still have contact with Anyang? When it comes to Anyang, Song Qing's face is not as strong as before. He is also in S base and occasionally sends me messages. But it is impossible for me and him. Tang Emo nodded clearly. With An Yang's temperament. Whether he really liked her, or continued to pursue her, because he knew the background of Song Qing's family. With Song Qing's temperament, the two of them were destined to have no fate. Well, since seeing An Yang's attitude towards Wen Qing, Tang Emo felt that he was no longer worthy of Song Qing. You don't know. Right. Wen Qing has also come to S-Base. Although her space farm has been exhausted and no longer produces food. But space is the largest area of known space-based superpowers. So every time there is a the mission teams are vying to take her. When Wen Qing was mentioned, Tang Emo suddenly remembered something. She was very sure that Wen Qing was not a space power user, but possessed a space treasure just like her. Then what if she gets that space treasure and fuses it with her necklace? Thinking of the size of the farm in Wen Qing's space. Tang Emo could hardly imagine what kind of reaction the two would have. For Wen Qing, Tang Emo did not feel any guilt at all, let alone the weak and the strong. Let's just say that it was appropriate for her to retaliate against Tang Emo before. Sister, are there guests at home? A boy with a somewhat muscular build, who seemed to love exercising, came down from the second floor. His face was somewhat similar to Song Qing's, very delicate, and coupled with his strong figure. He had a mysterious and strange feeling in the late Tang Dynasty. Well, my friend Tang Emo is from the Wen family. Tang Emo, this is my brother. Song Fong. Tang Emo stood up and greeted his brother politely. From the Wen family? Song Fong suddenly raised his head and looked at Tang Emo carefully. Neat short hair, refreshing sportswear, and a clean face. Will you marry me? Everyone was shocked when they heard this. Tang Emo stood there dumbfounded, forgetting to react for a moment. What's going on? Was she being proposed to? But she doesn't know this person at all? If you take 10,000 steps back, even if you fall in love with yourself at first sight, should you confess first? In an instant, 10,000 thoughts flashed through Tang Mo's mind. Finally, she figured it out. Song Qing's brother. There seems to be a mental problem. Chapter 75 Training Camp Brother, didn't you say you were going to the training camp? Let's go quickly. It was Song Qing who reacted first and pushed Song Feng towards the door. Fortunately, Song Qing's family of four lives in this home. Song Qing's parents happened to be out on business today. So Song Feng's words did not scare the elderly at home. Well, at the end of Tang Dynasty. Right. You should consider me. I'm serious. While being pushed out of the door by his sister, Song Feng turned to talk to Tang Mo. Boom. The door is closed and the world is clean. Tang Mo. Don't mind. My brother is not a fool. He is just doing it for me. Seeing the content in Tang Mo's eyes, Song Qing, who had lived together for four years, naturally knew what she was thinking. 
You know the alliance between our Lee family and Wen family. The adults in the family feel that this alliance is unstable. So they want to get married. Song Qing leaned on the sofa and held his forehead. Relatives by marriage? The Wen family had few children. And at the end of the Tang Dynasty, they only had Wen Jianli's children. Brother Wen Zhe is 22 years old. And sister Wen Lin is 20 years old. I'm 24 and my brother is 25. In terms of age, my brother and Wen Lin are more suitable. But Wen Lin doesn't like my brother. So the family wants to bring me and Wen Zhe together. As a member of the Li family, she enjoys the honor. But she also has to bear the responsibility. Where is your uncle's child? My uncle's children are all teenagers. So it's inappropriate. Wen Lin doesn't agree. But Wen Zhe agrees. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he had never met the brother and sister. And he didn't know what their temperaments were. Wen Zhe didn't express his position. I was waiting for him to refuse first. After all, my status in the Li family does not have as much weight as what he said. My brother is afraid that I don't want to be wronged. I heard that you are from the Wen family. So that's it. Song Qing really didn't know whether to laugh or cry about his brother. He was helpless and moved at the same time. Everyone has their own frustrations. Even Song Qing, who lives in the Li family, has his own difficulties. Sister brother love is good. It's popular now. Why don't you think about it? Tang Emo joked. They were only two years apart. If they were really suitable, she really didn't think it would be a problem. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he left after having lunch at Li's house. He didn't stay much in the afternoon. After all, he had agreed with Uncle when to wait for him at home. In the evening, Tang Mo's family of three sat at the table and had a warm dinner. Simple home-cooked dishes. Just like before the end of the world. The S base is specially used to cultivate a batch of pre-apocalyptic vegetables and fruits using soilless cultivation technology. However, the output is very rare. And only the rich or noble people can eat it. After dinner, at the end of Tang Dynasty, when Jianchu and when Jianchu entered the study, M.O. M.O. If you are willing, you can try the training camp tomorrow. Training camp? She seemed to have mentioned this word from Song Qing just today. You didn't know it when you first arrived at S-Base. But it is a unique place built in S-Base to improve everyone's strength as quickly as possible. There are all kinds of training equipment there. As well as people who can compete with each other. It can be said that there you can see the most powerful teams and hunters in the entire base. When Jianchu was entrusted by Lin Yi and didn't want a girl in the late Tang Dynasty to be too hard or dangerous. So he didn't mention the training camp to Tang Mo before. But today he saw Tang Mo's strength on the ranking list. And he wanted to understand one thing. That is, blind protection does not mean he loves his children. But rather delays Tang Mo. This is the ID badge I got for you. You can go in with it. Not everyone can enter the training camp. They must pay 30 primary crystal cores. Which is not a small amount. You must know that Tang Mo doesn't even have a crystal core in his body now. If Uncle Wen doesn't prepare an identity card for her, she will really be in trouble. In addition, Uncle would like to ask you, in what direction is your attribute value developing? At this point, everyone knows that choosing a direction to strengthen their attribute values is the most cost-effective thing. It's a space system. But the space is not big right now. So it can't hold too many things. Tang Emo scratched his head in embarrassment. She's really not modest. She doesn't have much room left. And she really can't hold much. Space system. That is a very rare skill. Suitable for girls. When Jianchu was happy that such auxiliary skills really fulfilled his wife's wish. But he looked at the training camp ID card he just gave Tang Emo. As I get older, I really don't think things through enough. You must not let your wife know about this. Tang Emo went to the training camp the next day with the identity tag given by Wen Jianchu. The name of the training camp sounds a bit inconspicuous. But it actually covers a large area and looks like a big diamond. It is divided into large and small empty fields. Each performing different functions. Tang Emo swiped his ID card and walked in. There were more people inside than expected. It seemed that there were still a lot of rich people nowadays. The decoration is in a dark style. With large black areas and relatively dim lights filling the space with a sense of mystery. There are no real staff in the entire training camp. All are guided by robots. And there are also some intelligent optical brain workstations scattered in each venue room to serve everyone. Tang Emo scrolled through the electronic screen in the hall to understand the structure of the training camp. The entire training camp is divided into four major areas. The firearms training ground. The cold weapon training ground. 
the 1v1 fighting platform, and the Alliance Coliseum. They are all literal meanings, which the late Tang Dynasty could understand. Both the firearms training ground and the cold weapon training ground can provide weapons. The venue is very large, and you can even find specialized teachers for guidance there. But these cost money. 10 primary crystal nuclei per hour. There was no money in the late Tang Dynasty. Her marksmanship requires no practice. And her mental strength is her best talent bonus. Swordsmanship really needs guidance from a professional teacher. When she has money, she will definitely go. She was very curious about the remaining 1v1 arena and Alliance Coliseum. And decided to go to the arena first to see what kind of place it was. When you walk into the arena, you will see a venue the size of a football field. In the middle of the venue is a large arena with step chairs on all sides for people to sit and watch. There is also a stand on the second floor where only special VIPs can sit. Place. The walls are surrounded by large screens to ensure that people can see the situation in the ring in all directions. The entire arena was almost full of people. And if you looked around, you could only see densely packed heads. Two shirtless people were fighting fiercely with bare hands on the ring. And the bottom of the ring was filled with small tables. That's where people placed their bets. Many people spend all day in the arena. Not to go on stage to fight. But just to place bets. You can place bets at will within the first five minutes of the battle. If your eyesight is strong enough and you are lucky. You can make money much faster by spending a day here than hunting exotic beasts outside. In the late Tang Dynasty. People's moves could be seen clearly. Which was equivalent to decomposing a person's battle scenes in slow motion. Naturally. The advantages and disadvantages were clear at a glance. Of the two men on the stage, one was attacking and the other was defending. The attacking one seemed to have the upper hand, but in fact there were flaws in every move. The one on guard retreated step by step, but kept his strength, and his eyes were as sharp as knives. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he had the answer in his mind. But she has no money. It's hard for a good woman to make a meal without rice. It's really hard to be a poor person. Just when Tang Mo was feeling sad about her poverty, a familiar figure in the stands on the second floor attracted her attention. Chapter 76, I Want to Suppress Him Qin Ling's handsome side face cast a halo of light under the dim light. He was sitting on the sofa, his two slender arms resting on his legs, and his back curved in neat lines. While watching the competition on the ring, the feet wearing Martin boots were still tapping the rhythm on the ground. The few people standing behind him whom Tang Emo had seen last time were members of the Qin Ling guards. Tang Emo put her hands in her pockets and immediately thought of a feasible way. She knew where to get the first startup capital. She found the stairs leading up to the second floor stands, and then quietly slipped up. At the entrance to the stairs on the second floor, two men in black clothes were guarding there. One of them had never seen Tang Emo before, and saw a beautiful girl sneaking upstairs. He thought she was another passionate fan of their boss, and immediately prepared to stop her with his arms. The other hurriedly blocked his companion behind him. Hello! Sister-in-law! Shu! Tang Emo bent down and gestured to the two of them. The stand on the second floor is so conspicuous that you can only be blocked by the fence if you bend down. He compared himself with his hands and then compared them with the Qin Ling Mountains. The young man in black immediately understood and made way for his sister-in-law to pass. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he bent down and reached behind Qin Ling's sofa, squatted down, and his whole body was blocked by the large sofa. Hello! Tang Emo touched Qin Ling's shoulder with his finger. You? Don't you feel uncomfortable squatting? I'll move you a little bit. When Qin Ling turned around and saw his wife squatting pitifully on the ground, he couldn't help but feel funny. He moved and left a small space on the single sofa. There doesn't seem to be enough room. So you might as well sit on my lap. Qin Ling sat back down again. Don't be poor. Lend me two crystal stones. Tang Emo stretched out his little hand. Her father passed away early and it was the first time in her life that she asked a boy for money. And she felt really embarrassed. No matter. When she was in the cave, she ate a lot of her own treasures for Qin Ling. So it didn't matter if she took a few of his crystal nuclei. Two dollars? Looking at the white and tender little hand that Tang Emo stretched out, Qin Ling couldn't help but reach out and pat it, and then gave the person next to him a look. The boy in black immediately handed over a large backpack. Qin Ling opened the bag and took out two bags, and threw them to Tang Emo. If it's not enough, don't worry about it. Send me a message, and I'll find someone to deliver it to you. Tang Emo glanced at it, and saw that the bag was very familiar. Just like the one Uncle Wen gave him last time. 
Each bag is configured with two intermediate crystal nuclei and 30 primary crystal nuclei. That's enough. Let's go. Thanks. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he was satisfied and had the starting capital. This feeling of falling in love with a rich second generation. Don't say it. It's pretty good once you get used to it. Leaving now? Woman, you are too heartless. Stay with me for a while. After hearing that Tang Mo said she was leaving, Qin Ling suddenly became anxious and subconsciously turned around to hold her. He hasn't seen her since Tang Mo came to his base. It's hard to see her now. And he really can't bear to let her leave so soon. The anxious look on Qin Ling's face was undisguised. Which shocked the group of boys around him. They have been on so many missions with Qin Ling. When have they ever seen Qin Ling look like this? They all secretly warned themselves that they must be more respectful to their sister-in-law next time they see her. Tang Emo looked at the expression on Qin Ling's face. And the sweetness in his heart rose. He was completely reluctant to let go of his hand and hold his hand to make him sad. Looking around, he saw that several girls wearing skirts and knee-high boots in the stands opposite were already looking in his direction. Tang Emo thought for a moment. Then used the hand that was not pulled out to put the wide hat that came with his sweatshirt on his head with one hand. Then he stood up, turned around, and Qin Ling took his arm and sat directly in Qin Ling's arms, with his back to the stands over there. The big hats covered the faces of Tang Emo, and Qin Ling Tang Mo's face came closer and kissed Qin Ling's lips. Qin Ling was shocked by this set of operations and did not react for two seconds. After he reacted, he immediately wrapped his arms tightly around Tang Mo's tight waist hidden under the loose clothes and kissed him back. The two people continued to kiss in front of everyone as if no one else was watching. The guys in black turned their heads in all directions, even wishing they could disappear. The one wearing clothes will be treated as the crystal core I return to you. After the kiss, Tang Emo, who still had the blush on his face, leaned into Qin Ling's ear and said. Then he immediately stood up, grabbed his hat, and slipped away from the stairs, drowning in the crowd on the first floor. Qin Ling licked the corners of his mouth and felt as if his arms were suddenly empty. Looking at Tang Mo's disappearing figure, his face was filled with a smile that couldn't be hidden. I'm really worried. I have to marry him home as soon as possible. He threw the bag he had just stuffed aside on the ground. Take these to the clothed man on the platform. At this time, the two people who were fighting when Tang Mo first came in were no longer in the arena. But the one on the opposite side seems to be more powerful. A young man in black behind him couldn't help but said, You know there are dozens of bags in that bag. That's a huge sum of money. Is it really going to be wasted like this? The two men on the stage had just come on stage. One was shirtless and covered in tendons. The other one was still wearing a shirt. He was thin and small, with a stooped back and no fighting spirit at all. As if someone forced him to come on stage. Taking the stage in the arena is voluntary. And the winning side can take 100% of their stage as a reward for their victory. Obviously, this man wearing clothes does not look like a champion. Can what I say be questioned? Qin Ling didn't look at the person who spoke, spread his arms, and leaned against the sofa. There seemed to be a violent storm hidden in the calm tone, as if it could swallow people up in the next second. The temperament around him instantly changed from an innocent and shy little boy to a Shura who had just walked out of the H. L. Field. Everyone in the stands shivered involuntarily. Go down and receive the punishment yourself. After saying that, Qin Ling closed his eyes and didn't know what he was thinking. There was a deathly silence. No one dared to say a word, and the sound of breathing was kept to a minimum. Over there, Tang Emo had already taken off his hat in the crowd, found a random platform on the ring, and then took out a bag of crystal cores and pressed it on the photo of the man in clothes. She originally wanted to put down both bags, but the feeling of having no money was too uncomfortable. She couldn't tolerate any mistakes and had to leave some escape route for herself. She had already seen the two men on the stage when she just went up the stairs. Anyone could tell that the naked man covered in tendons was a strength player. Being able to kill a cow with one punch was really no joke nowadays. As for the short man wearing clothes, Tang Emo could probably tell from his pace that he was probably majoring in agility. Tang Emo could see this. And so could other concerned people. Generally speaking, when it comes to 1v1 in a fixed small area, power players have the advantage. If Tang Emo wasn't a big spiritual guy, she probably would have thought that big guy would win. But her keen mental power felt the same kind of breath. Everyone may have some mental attribute values. But lower ones also have less fluctuations. But that short man was different. When Tang Mo's spiritual power reached him, he felt a spiritual power that was much stronger than the others. 
It should be more than a hundred. Tang Emo judged. If it is mental strength plus agility, then strength alone is definitely not enough. Tang Mo's own agility was also very high, and she was consciously improving it. She knew very well how powerful the effect of mental power and agility combined was. As for the reason why the man pretended to be weak, he naturally hoped that more people would place bets, so that he could get more crystal cores after winning. You must know that players who compete in the arena are not forced to pay extra fees. No one is a fool. If he is really a weakling, who can pay for a beating? After placing the bets, Tang Emo leaned on a table with his hands in his pockets and watched the game. The game at this time had just reached a fever pitch. When Tang Emo looked up, he saw the small man slowly straightening his back. Five minutes have passed, and he can no longer place bets. He is finally getting serious. Once again, he dodged the attack of the naked man. But this time the little man finally attacked. Everyone saw him go around behind the big man at an extremely fast speed. Then swing out his fist and directly attack the vital part of the big man's neck. None of the spectators, including the big man, took the punch seriously. The big man did not hide, but directly prepared for the next attack. How powerful can a punch thrown by that thin man be? You must know that his major is strength, and people with high strength will generally have low vitality. After he withstood this punch, he wanted to end the fight directly with another punch. This time his opponent could no longer dodge. But what everyone didn't expect was that the little man's punch directly put the big man to the ground. There was a loud plop, which was the sound of a strong man falling to the ground. While everyone was stunned, the little man continued to pounce on him. And with just two kicks, he kicked the huge man outside the ring. The battle was officially over. Everyone found it incredible, and the audience booed. Tang Emo saw clearly from the side that the little man had used all his mental power to punch his arm. This is the role of reinforcement at the most critical moment of the battle. Not only is the damage high enough, but it can also exert the greatest effect at moments that no one can imagine. Because most people are betting on the strong man. The odds of the little man are very high. Reaching 157. The 57 bags of crystal nuclei that Tang Emo won were put in an oversized bag and handed over. The poor people have become rich and well off. Looking at the big bag of crystal cores in his hand, Tang Emo almost burst into tears. Tang Emo made a lot of money this time. But there were dozens of games played every day in the arena. And the winning or losing of a game did not cause a huge sensation. The big screen displayed information about the betting on this game. Tang Emo was the third person who placed the most bets on the little man in this game. That bag of crystal nuclei is not a small amount. There are actually two people taller than her in front. One must be the little man himself. Could the other be Qin Ling? Tang Emo still remembered that she reminded Qin Ling about this when she came down from upstairs. If she had listened to her, then this time, she would not only return the money, but also make a lot of money for Qin Ling. This matter did not last long. And soon the end of Tang Dynasty knew how much Qin Ling had earned. Stopping when he was ready, Tang Emo did not continue to place bets in the next few games, but found a seat to watch one game after another on the field. In the late Tang Dynasty, there were quite a lot of battles with strange beasts, even with mid-level beasts twice. But she rarely fought against anyone. And Tang Emo learned a lot from the fighting arena. Not only how to fight with others, but also the reactions and moves that you can use. And learn from your strengths to offset your weaknesses. This stay lasted for half a day. And it was not until the end of Tang Dynasty that I felt hungry before I was ready to go home. When Tang returned to Wen's house at the end of Tang Dynasty. Wen Jianchu, Lin Yi and Jima were all watching TV on the sofa. There is also a cardboard box placed in the living room that is too huge to be ignored. Mo Mo, when you returned to the base, did you leave anything on the plane that you didn't pick up? This was just sent from the Qin family, saying it was yours? Wen Jianchu said. Although the relationship between the Wen family and the Qin family is not as close as that of their partners in the Li family, it is not an enmity relationship either. There is actually quite a lot of ordinary contact between them. My stuff? Tang Mo was confused. Just when he was about to take it apart, a message came from his ID watch. Open it and take a look. Qi Ling, these are my treasures. And my wife is the best. Behind him was a little cheerleader holding flowers to celebrate. There was a dark line on Tang Mo's face. And she seemed to know what was inside. Uncle Wen, do you think the Qin family is rich? Tang Mo suddenly asked a question. The entire alliance exchange is owned by him. He collects things from the people at low prices and sells them at high prices. So far, there are 78 bases 
and 78 alliance exchanges in the country. The daily transaction volume is about several million crystals. Seriously, is this considered rich? When Jianchu found the question at the end of the Tang Dynasty a bit funny. This silly boy. Isn't this equivalent to asking the richest man in the country if he is short of money? Ah, I understand. Uncle Wen, Mom, I'm going upstairs first and will come down for dinner later. After getting the answer, Tang Mo picked up the big box and moved slowly on the stairs like a snail with a SH. L on its back. Finally moving the box up, Tang Mo closed the door to the room, then turned on his watch, clicked on the dialog box, and gave Qin Ling a smile back. Originally, she thought these things were too valuable and it would be bad for her to accept them. But knowing that everyone in the Qin family has great achievements, these are nothing to them. Right? Tang Mo opened the box, which was packed with bags containing crystal nuclei. Tang Mo already knew about these bags. They were all of the same configuration. The number inside was not a thousand but at least eight hundred. I will definitely get some good things for Qin Ling in the future. Tang Mo put all the crystal cores and boxes into the space, thinking silently in his heart. Chapter 77 Vitality Upgrade With money, Tang Mo began to plan a lot of things. The resources of S base were the richest in the country. She had a lot of things to prepare, but she had no choice but to take action due to the limitations of her wallet. Now that she has money, she should make good preparations. After all, she won't stay here for long. Even if the training camp is complete, there is no wild jungle that can inspire people's fighting spirit. As for the fighting platform, if she is really short of money, she can give it a try once in a while. If she always wins, the fact that she has mental powers will probably be known to everyone soon. She is only the 100th in China, and there are too many strong people ahead of her. After sorting out his things, Tang Mo thought carefully about what he still lacked and what he needed to make up for. After loading this large box of crystal cores, there is not much free space left. You have to quickly go to the Alliance Exchange to trade the wolf meat. The exotic animal meat exchange all collects raw materials for making energy bars. But the price is very low. As for the exotic treasure, in addition to her own space jade pendant, she now also has a vitality short sleeve to give herself defense. There is also the pot of flowers obtained from Taoyuan village. It has been tested in the late Tang dynasty. If the flowers are placed in the space, the rich spiritual power cannot be emitted. They can only be taken out of the space. Although this is a little troublesome, it also avoids a lot of trouble. Otherwise, only mentally strong people would notice something strange when passing by Tang Mo, which would be too dangerous. Nowadays, in the late Tang Dynasty, people usually only start to concentrate on cultivating their mental power at night. They place flower pots next to themselves and let the rich mental power molecules fill their surroundings. The speed of their mental power continues to increase at a terrifying speed. It will take about a month for the flower to fully bloom. And by then its only use will be for food. Pafong was still the most suitable weapon for Tang Mo. And Tang Mo also used the armor and poison quenching dagger very easily. There is still the pistol given by Qin Ling in the space. Thinking of the pistol, Tang Mo suddenly remembered that all the bullets had been used up in Taoyuan village. And it was time to replenish some ammunition. The alliance now has an open attitude towards guns and ammunition. As long as you have money, you can buy them. But the price is very expensive and most people still can't afford it. If a teen can raise funds to own a gun, it is already considered very powerful. Just as he said, Tang Mo turned on his ID watch, called up the Alliance Store page, and browsed the options for guns and ammunition. The Alliance Store is a derivative product of the Alliance Exchange and can only be used online. As long as you are at the base, the order will be delivered to you soon. A gun has to be so expensive? Tang Mo saw the pistol Qin Ling gave him. The price was 10 mid-level crystal cores. Even Tang Mo, who had become rich in one day, really felt that the price was too exaggerated. Fortunately, the price of ammunition was still barely acceptable at the end of Tang Dynasty, with 10 primary crystal cores per round. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he gritted his teeth and stamped his feet, and ruthlessly placed an order for 100 rounds. 100 shots are 1,000 primary crystal cores. Sure enough, it is not easy to make money but easy to spend money. After replenishing his bullets, Tang Mo thought about his current strengths and weaknesses. Mental power was his biggest advantage. And his agility points were also very high. There was nothing wrong with saying that he was an agility user. The power is not high. But the late Tang Dynasty did not follow the power flow. So it doesn't matter. 
judging from her overall attribute value. Her vitality is very low. Among supernatural beings with the same combat power, Tang Mo is considered a weakling. This won't work. Crispy skin will die early. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he thought about it and felt that his vitality was really low. Tang Mo turned out two green intermediate crystal nuclei with vitality attributes in his own crystal core. Tang Mo held them in his hand and quickly absorbed them. Two intermediate crystal cores are the limit of what my body can bear. After patting the crystal core dust in his hand, Tang Mo still felt unsatisfied. Life force is so important. If you can't beat it, at least don't let anyone beat it to death. But there was no way to train this. It could only grow little by little. But if that didn't work, she still had to think of a way. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he once opened the ID watch, clicked on the exotic treasure option, and looked for the exotic treasure in the direction of vitality. After looking around, Tang Mo had only one idea in his mind. Expensive. Really expensive. There are two types of exotic treasures in the Alliance store. One is one that can be taken to directly increase attribute values. But the disadvantage is that, like the crystal core, it will be limited according to your body's endurance. There is also the type of external items which need to be carried with you. For example, clothes, jade pendants, flowers, etc. from the late Tang Dynasty all belong to this type. Although edible exotic treasures are also expensive, they are not too expensive. Although it also contains attribute values, the burden on the body of exotic treasures is much smaller than that of crystal nuclei. And it can also improve physical fitness to a certain extent. Therefore, the price of exotic treasures is far beyond the value of crystal cores. External item type exotic treasures are even more expensive because there are no restrictions. The prices have been sky high. Tang Mo took a look and found that her money could only buy a rare treasure with 20 attributes at most. It's a wristband, which is quite convenient to wear on a daily basis. The price is 30 mid-level crystal cores, 30 intermediate crystal nuclei, and 300 primary crystal nuclei are no longer a concept. Everyone knows the importance of physical fitness. As for the intermediate crystal core that can improve physical fitness in the future, it is no longer the same item as the primary crystal core, and there is no way to convert and exchange it with attribute values. 30. Rich woman Tang Mo's heart ached again. Forget it. Money has to be spent. She was cruel and placed an order for a pair of wrist guards. A pair of wrist guards equals 40 points of vitality, which is equivalent to 60 intermediate crystal cores. In fact, there was no need to be so frugal in the late Tang Dynasty. She was just used to being poor, so she would not spend money lavishly. In fact, the crystal cores that Tang Dynasty currently possesses are comparable to all the wealth of a small base. However, Anyone with a clear mind will know that it will be difficult for one to stand firm in the apocalypse if one relies purely on external forces for improvement. A truly strong person still needs to baptize his strength through repeated battles and training. The wristbands were quickly delivered to Tang Mo's hands. And Tang Mo wore one on each wrist. Well, it's expensive and very comfortable. His vitality suddenly increased by 60 points today, which made Tang Mo feel very secure about himself. What does this mean? It used to be that you might die after being stabbed but now you can still stand upright. And if you are in good condition, you can still fight back. This is really important in combat. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he went out to the Alliance Exchange and replaced all the wolf meat in his hands with energy bars that did not take up space. Then he went home and slept peacefully, ending this tiring day. Chapter 78 Alien Beast Contract Tang Emo really couldn't stand the days of lying at home and sleeping every day. Even if she had food, drink, Warmth and happiness. She would have the illusion of being stuck in a swamp. The only thing left in the training camp was the Alliance Coliseum, an area Tang Mo had not been to yet. On the second day, she got up early and went to the training camp. Chinchin people seemed to have unlimited energy. Now that Tang Dynasty was rich, he naturally went to the cold weapon training ground to find a teacher to guide him. The price of the training ground is 10 primary crystal nuclei per hour while the price of the teacher is 100 primary crystal nuclei per hour. The teacher may not be as strong as Tang Emo, but he is definitely professional in swordsmanship. What Tang Emo lacks most now is professional guidance, although her current sword is sufficient for fighting against the queen. Many times the lack of professional skills will still make her feel powerless. Three hours passed in the blink of an eye, and Tang Emo practiced sword skills for three hours in a separate large room. But she didn't feel tired at all. Just like a person who had been thirsty for a long time and finally found water. 
She had no time to think about anything other than taking a gulp of water. Her current swordsmanship has gone through many actual battles. And it is completely different from the embroidery skill she showed Qin Ling in the cave. And now the teacher's guidance has allowed every loophole in her to be filled quickly and completely. And the entire network of sword skills has become complete and coherent. After coming out of the training ground, Tang Mo barely rested and turned directly into the Alliance Coliseum. The overall layout and area of the Alliance Coliseum is similar to that of a 1v1 Coliseum. The only difference is that the objects in the ring have changed from humans to alien beasts. Surrounding the ring are also platforms for spectators to place bets. The battle process of alien beasts is different from that of humans. It lacks the thinking process, logical judgment, and facial expressions. Regarding the battle between two alien beasts, even the mentally sensitive Tang Mo found it almost difficult to accurately judge. So she was not prepared to bet on the crystal core on the betting table of the Colosseum. If the battles watched on the fighting platform can be used to learn fighting skills with others, then the battles watched in the Colosseum are to prepare for future battles with alien beasts and provide a great help for the predators to accumulate passive experience. Know yourself and your enemy, and you will never be in danger of a hundred battles. This word is applicable to any era. At this time, there were two strange beasts dueling in the ring. One was a little fox with erect ears, and the other was a standing marmot with his mouth open and roaring angrily. The Colosseum for alien beasts is different from the human arena. The arena is surrounded by large cages, preventing the two alien beasts from escaping threatening the safety of the audience. The two alien beasts were smeared with blood, so as to stimulate their instincts as alien beasts, allowing them to attack each other as quickly as possible in the cage. This little fox was quite interesting. Tang Mo leaned against the wall and looked at the little white-eared fox on the ring. It was obviously a fox cub. The hair all over its body was still fluffy and not fully developed. The fox seemed to have its own consciousness and was generally unwilling to attack the prairie dog. Instead, it was dodging in all directions. The fox had already received many wounds from the prairie dog and was bleeding gurglingly. What a stupid fox! Tang Mo complained. Do you think it's stupid? I think so! A male voice from the side suddenly interrupted. Tang Mo turned around and saw that the boy was very tall and very cleanly dressed. His aura made people know at a glance that his family background was not simple. But the wounds on his exposed arm showed that he was a man who had gone through countless battles rather than a pampered rich second generation. Although the fox is hiding, every time he hides, the prairie dog will inadvertently leave a wound on his body. The fox cub's nails should be milky white, but the fox's nails were black. If I guess correctly, they should be poisonous. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he did not observe as carefully as the man. Now that he looked carefully, the nails on the fox's two front paws were indeed black, but the nails on the two back paws were still milky white. If even alien beasts have evolved to the point where they can think about using poison on their own, then this world would really be a bit too scary. This is just a battle between elementary beasts. If you want to see something more exciting, come on Sunday, when there will be battles for intermediate and above. Today's alien beasts are much more complex than humans imagine. Maybe you don't know that humans have reached the point where they can tame exotic animals, the man said familiarly. And regardless of whether Tang Emo replied, he leaned against the wall next to her. Can it be tamed? If the alien beast can be allowed to fight for him, his combat power will probably be doubled. Theoretically, it is possible, as long as your spirit is high enough. But so far, no one has been able to succeed, and no one has sufficient mental strength to form a pact with a strange beast. Maybe someone will be able to do it in the future. After listening to the man's words, Tang Emo lowered his head and didn't know what he was thinking. Sheen what? Tang Emo asked. How do you know my surname is Qin? I think I haven't told you. Have you seen me? The boy was surprised. There were some indescribable colors flashing in his eyes. He originally thought that there was only one person named Qin in their family who was well known to everyone. And he would always live in that person's shadow. Just a wild guess, Tang Emo said casually. This boy looks to be only a year or two older than me. An ordinary person from a wealthy family should not have such a temperament. In the late Tang Dynasty, the Wen family knew that there was no such person. Song Qing of the Li family also said last time that his brother was the only boy of the right age. That only the Qin family is left. Maybe they are cousins of Qin Ling or something. Tang Mo might not really pay attention to a stranger talking to him so suddenly. But when he thought that these might be Qin Ling's brothers, Tang Mo's tone slowed down a bit. Qin Fen. My name. 
seeing that the girl next to him didn't respond to his words. The boy said, Oh! Tang Emo responded and turned around and walked out. The Alliance Coliseum was not as interesting as she thought. She might as well continue practicing her sword during this time. There has been no fighting in the recent period. If her body doesn't move, it won't be as flexible next time. Aren't you going to tell me your name? As Tang Emo was about to walk away, the boy called her from behind. He has always been courted by girls. Although he is not as popular as Qin Ling, he has never encountered such a cold reception. You'll find out later. Tang Emo waved his hand behind him without looking back. Sooner or later, she will be open to Qin Ling. By then, she may have gotten to know everyone in the Qin family. Chapter 79 Grey Monkey War This trip to the Alliance Coliseum was not without success for Tang Emo. At least she heard some useful news from Qin Fen. That is, alien animals can be tamed. To be honest, Tang Emo was not used to team fighting. She was very defensive and could not hand over her back to anyone she was not familiar with. It would be great if a tamed beast could be her fighting partner. However, Qin Fen was very vague about the requirements for contracting alien beasts. And when Tang Emo returned home, he was ready to take a closer look. Such information can be found online. But the latest news from the Research Institute is charged. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he paid to enter the authoritative forum page of the Institute and found relevant content about domesticating exotic beasts. After carefully reading the 28-page paper several times, Tang Emo finally understood what was going on. It turns out that alien beasts, like humans, are born with spiritual power in their bodies. However, their mental power and autonomous consciousness are not as strong as humans. So as long as humans can use their own mental power to surround the opponent's mental power in the body of the alien beast and make it completely surrender, they can tame the alien beast. Taming means to let the other person obey you wholeheartedly and treat you as their master. It's just that the backlash caused by the confrontation of mental power is also huge. This requires the active party to complete the domestication not only to have strong mental power, but also to have strong comprehensive attribute values and physical fitness. Domestication is only a theoretical conclusion. And in fact no one has completed it yet. Can mental power still be used like this? Tang Emo murmured. Tang Mo's mind was spinning very quickly. If mental power could be used to fight and conquer, then it would theoretically be effective not only for alien beasts, but also for humans. It's just that the mental and physical requirements required are greater. But what if the human beings are not conquered, but temporarily controlled? That should be much easier. But that's all a story for another day. Now the main thing is to think about how to tame a strange beast. Regarding the requirements for domestication too. Although Tang Emo was not 100% confident in herself. She felt that she could still give it a try. She had just increased her vitality. Her mental attributes were extremely high. And she also had countless crystal nuclei and several rare treasures on her body. If her overall ranking only ranks 100th in China. Then she is confident that she can reach the top 10 in terms of mental strength. There is always someone who will be the first to eat crabs. Why can't you give it a try yourself? Once an idea arises in a person's mind, the next step is impatient, with almost no preparation or waiting. Tang Emo got up and left the S base and went to a jungle in the wild. The jungle is a place with the most exotic beasts. In the late Tang Dynasty, she didn't dare to care about her. It was impossible for her to tame mature and middle-level exotic beasts. But if it was the cub of a junior alien beast, she would be more confident. This was her goal this time. As if sensing Tang Mo's powerful spiritual power, the individual junior beasts did not come forward, but instead evaded one after another. The intelligence of the alien beasts is now getting higher and higher, which is not a good thing in the late Tang dynasty. After wandering in the jungle for more than half an hour and killing a silly roe deer and a little rabbit, Tang Mo still couldn't find his target. Not even mammals that are too weak. If it doesn't help you in future battles, conquering them will be in vain. Maybe she was too impatient. Suitable exotic beasts were hard to come by. Tang Emo sighed and walked towards the edge of the jungle. She was going to go back first. She would discuss the domestication matter later when she encountered a suitable opportunity. But fate was really a coincidence. Just when she was about to walk out of the edge of the jungle, she saw a little monkey on the ground with blood on it. The monkey was so small. It looked like it was only a few days old. It was still injured and was shaking on the ground. It should look like he has just been attacked by something. That's it. At the end of Tang Dynasty, I felt happy. What more suitable person could there be? No longer hesitating, Tang Emo made up his mind and approached the little monkey to release his mental power. 
The mental power gradually approached the little monkey's head until all of it was inserted. Tang Emo clearly saw a small spot of light in the little monkey's brain, which was the mental power she was all too familiar with. The light spot was not large in size and a little dim. At this time, it seemed that it was facing the foreign invader in the late Tang dynasty with open teeth and claws. There should be drama. Tang Emo weighed his own and the opponent's mental strength and felt that this domestication should be successful. He used his mental strength to get closer to the opponent's light spot. But when he was about to touch it, Tang Emo suddenly felt a pain in his leg. She looked down and saw that the adult gray cat monkey attacked her at a very fast speed. And then quickly blocked the little monkey. That must be the little monkey's mother. Seeing her child covered in blood, she must have regarded Tang Emo as the attacker. The monkey cannot see the existence of mental power. But it can sense that the human is trying to control his child. It cannot see this happening. It was almost successful. Tang Emo was not ready to give up. And it was not easy for her to withdraw her mental power immediately at this time. It's better to go all out and complete the domestication first. But the gray monkey is obviously not that easy for this human to achieve her goal so easily. It quickly picked up the little monkey and jumped up to the big tree next to it. After settling the little monkey, it quickly flew down and prepared to attack Tang Emo. The gray monkey series of actions completely interrupted Tang Mo's domestication. Because he failed to control the direction of his mental power in time. Tang Mo's mental power was severed from the little monkey. Before he could completely retract it, he hit the gray monkey head on. The mental power that had no direction and was exposed crashed into the gray monkey's body uncontrollably. It was a halo that was much more powerful than a little monkey. No, we have to retreat. Tang Emo, who saw clearly the mental power in the gray monkey's body, waited and immediately prepared to withdraw his mental power. The monkey's mental power is considered to be very strong among animals. And this gray monkey is in its prime. So she can't subdue it at all. But how could the riding monkeys make Tang Emo withdraw so easily at this time? The violent molecules in his body subconsciously pushed the mental power in his body to attack Tang Emo. It was too late. So I had to bite the bullet. The situation at this time was no longer up to Tang Emo to make a choice. He could only cheer up and prepare for this spiritual battle. If you succeed, the harvest will be huge. If she fails, she may not be able to leave this forest today. Chapter 80 Failure at a Critical Moment The aperture of mental power in the gray monkey's brain was smaller than that of Tang Emo Tang Mo's mental power approached cautiously and divided into two streams, trying to surround the gray monkey's mental power. But the gray monkey's mental power was so ferocious that Tang Mo's mental power was no longer enough even before half of the circle was around him in an instant. When this didn't work, Tang Emo took out the intermediate mental cores and controlled the mental power while continuously absorbing the intermediate mental cores. She had used this method when fusing two spatial treasures. And it was very useful in times of crisis. But at this time, taming alien beasts is obviously much more difficult than fusing space alien treasures. And requires greater mental power. At this time, the primary crystal cores cannot be consumed at all. But there are only so many intermediate mental power crystal cores. At the end of Tang Dynasty, his heart changed. And he simply did not absorb them one by one. But absorbed them in large quantities. A large amount of spiritual power flashed into Tang Mo's body instantly. The couch used the peony. And the spiritual power absorbed in this way is only rapid but not complete. An intermediate crystal core has 10 attribute points. And she can only absorb 2 or 3. But at this time, she could only use the crystal core in this way. And could not take out the flower of spiritual power. Because if you take it out, not only she will be able to feel the abundant spiritual power, but also the gray monkey. Providing mental energy indiscriminately was of no use to her at this time. But now such an accelerated speed made Tang Mo's mental energy instantly full. Giving her an extra point of strength in the battle in Grey Monkey's mind. The Grey Monkey did not show any weakness. And struggled in all directions to resist after being surrounded by Tang Mo. Tang Mo's mental strength was almost sufficient at this time. But the huge backlash caused by Grey Monkey's resistance made her unable to bear it. No. My comprehensive attribute values are still not enough for taming alien beasts. I am too weak and cannot withstand the pressure of backlash. But it was impossible to quit at this time. Once Tang Emo showed signs of fatigue, the gray monkey's mental power over there would pursue the victory and defeat Tang Emo. If you cannot tame an alien beast, you will be tamed by an alien beast. How could Tang Emo accept such a human humiliation? She couldn't back down even if she died here today. In order to save some energy, Tang Emo simply sat down on the ground, pushing all the intermediate crystal nuclei next to him and absorbing them one by one, regardless of their color 
or attributes. Isn't the attribute value insufficient? Isn't it too weak? She immediately strengthened herself. She didn't believe that she couldn't defeat a monkey today. The backlash became more and more powerful. In order to resist such backlash, Tang Mo's attribute values became higher and higher. Five bucks. Ten bucks. Twenty bucks. One hundred dollars. Tang Mo was getting stronger at a speed visible to the naked eye. Fighting against the huge backlash, her body also reached the limit of endurance and began to collapse. Just hold on a little longer, and it'll be fine in no time. Tang Mo gritted her teeth, and the huge pain made her sweat all over her head. Her body could no longer bear the power of the crystal core. But for the invisible battle, Tang Mo still gritted his teeth and absorbed it. The power of the backlash will instantly break her brain and turn her into a fool. And the strengthening of the body's ability to withstand the breakthrough will make her feel that every cell in her body is rapidly expanding. Every blood vessel becomes stronger in an instant. And her body seems to it feels like it's being torn apart. Compared to becoming a fool in an instant. Or defeating the gray monkey and becoming a slave. It was more acceptable to her to endure pain. It's almost there. Just a little bit away. At the end of Tang Dynasty. He used his last willpower to surround the gray monkey's mental power with his own mental power. Done! At that moment, Tang Mo's mental power was divided into two and tightly surrounded the gray monkey's mental power. At this time, the gray monkey's mental power is like a captive. In the next few seconds, it will be guided by Tang Mo's mental power to form a contract. At that time, it is announced that it has been domesticated. Tang Mo felt happy. But just when she was about to take the next step, suddenly his eyesight went dark. His brain felt like a bang. And he fell backwards involuntarily. The moment he closed his eyes, Tang Mo thought to himself, It's over. Everything is over. It's just a few seconds past the limit of what the body can bear. At the moment of falling, the last thing Tang Mo did was to withdraw his mental power from the gray monkey's brain and then protect his own brain. Overburdening the body with a large amount of energy in a short period of time will have a huge impact on the human brain and body. Tang Mo's brain was originally extremely high in mental power. And now it has absorbed a lot of mental power crystal nuclei crazily and stored a lot of mental power. Therefore, her brain should not be destroyed instantly. And a lot of pain will be relieved. Energy. Maybe it can be saved. But the body is different. Tang Mo's body was originally not very strong and relatively fragile. Now after it completely collapsed under the huge energy, it is almost difficult to repair it. Even repairing it would take a long time. Now that she was lying in a forest where strange beasts were roaming, it was almost like a meat bun beating a dog. The world was plunged into darkness. For an unknown period of time, Tang Mo lost even his own consciousness and fell into a complete sleep. When Tang Mo opened his eyes again, the sky was already black. The bright moonlight shining on the treetops is not romantic. And the screams of wild beasts in the jungle are like filming a horror movie. Sure enough, my last action was correct. My brain was fine. And I still had consciousness. Thinking at the end of Tang Dynasty, but when she wanted to make any move, she found that there was no part of her body that she could control. Not even blinking. Just as she thought, her body completely collapsed. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he didn't panic too much. At this moment, he had to calm down more and more. His mental power was still usable. Tang Mo controlled his mental power to circulate in his body, checking various functions of his body while recovering and healing himself. The situation is very bad. Most of the blood vessels in her body were ruptured, although the outer skin tissue was not broken. There was congestion everywhere in her body, including her internal organs. Everything was damaged. That is to say, her vitality has been increased relatively high. If her vitality were lower, the person would not be able to breathe the moment her body collapsed. There are more than 800 crystal core bags, and she has a total of more than 1,600 intermediate crystal nuclei. In just a short while, she absorbed handfuls to the last pile, using almost two-thirds of it. Although not all of that energy is absorbed into the body, it is still very huge. Tang Mo can still open her eyes now. She really feels that the world has been kind to her. The mental power is constantly swimming in the body, repairing his damaged blood vessels one by one. At this rate, she would be able to regain control of her body as long as she lay here for a month. Tang Mo thought optimistically. Isn't it just one month? Just one month. One month. Well, she really won't survive this time. Not to mention how many strange beasts would trample around her this month. Even if she wasn't eaten by the strange beasts, her body couldn't bear the hunger and thirst for a month. 